Alright guys, hope you're all doing well. It's time. It's been a few days. Age Vampires FFA stream. We are going to be playing the Byzantines and uh, trying to find some relics to help us sustain in the late game against the dreaded Japanese and the other civs that have those infinite, infinite juicy resources. So Eagle says, how do I play Mongols so I can tower rush phone? Oh my god, the villainy, dude. The villainy. Alright, so make sure to set no teams. He's the only one who doesn't have it. We are going to be doing mega random. Let me get this and observe on elimination. Looks good to me. I think we're all good. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Japanese spring biome. That one is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, let's get it, man. Good luck I found all these players. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Byzantines have rapidly become my favorite Civ. I've been having so much fun playing them. Uh, granted, I don't think they're the strongest FFA Civ in the world, but nor do I think they're terrible. Olive oil, in a way, kind of does give you good quality units in the late game, depending on what mercenaries you go for, so. It's go time, man. <clears throat> yeah, so we do have a couple Japanese players. Professor Pwn, um, Eight Man Prime. So those are the ones you really got to watch out for in FFA. Also on top of that, um, you know, Joan of Arc is insanely powerful too. Because they still have the guild hall that the French have. On top of that, they have a hero character. So uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Should be fun. Yeah, trying to start the streams a little bit earlier. I know we uh, have been starting late in the past couple months, but... Uh, yeah, Olive Gar I, I do enjoy Olive Garden. Yeah, I, I'm, I really like their mechanics. The mercenaries, the Varangian Guard, their berserking is super fun. Still haven't quite optimized, like, you know, the best build orders for them and whatnot. I think in FFA, though, you have to go past Castle because you need to get those relics. Uh, that's going to be pretty important. Granted, yeah, no Jushi's Legacy here. Uh, one HRE player, so they're going to be the biggest competition for relics. So hopefully we don't spawn near Smeagol. That's, that's got to be the big thing. <clears throat> Don't worry, there's going to be multiple games. Probably do two or three games today. The next one's going to be an island game. So, um, might be a 2v2v2. Two two. I'll see if Pwn wants to play another one if he has time, and then we could do a island FFA. First time catching a turn stream. Hey, it's been a while. Ash, hope you're doing well. Yes. All right, so who's still loading here? Looks like everybody is about loaded in. It is Nanu on the Byzantines, my fellow Byzantine enjoyer. We'll, we shall connect our aqueducts and uh, share all that we have here with the, uh, the glorious olive oil. <clears throat> yeah, this is fun though. I love the mercenaries and being able to get the foreign engineering company is really cool too and build like hui hui pows in the late game and stuff. It's, uh, it's very fun. All right, so we have a semi-corner spot. I don't know if there's going to be somebody like right here, for example, but overall it's not like the worst start. Um, I'm not going to be doing the berry bushes right away because I'm going to be building my grand winery on top of the berry bushes to get the 60% more olive oil from that. So I need to go scout my uh, position here. Hopefully nobody's behind me. That's uh, that's that's gonna be big. I don't want anybody kind of creeping up in the shadows here. And gold is down here. Is it just me or does this map seem way bigger? Yeah, Japan is is hands down. I think the strongest FFA seven in the game. They have like just a busted Imperial Age with their gunsmith being able to get like Ozutsu and just like one shot your keeps. Um, some of the best men at arms in the game. Really good spear units that have the Yari upgrade. There's just so many things that they do incredibly well that I think uh, they don't have too many glaring weaknesses here. Alright, so nice little corner spot. Uh, potentially. We see one relic so far, so that's good. And we're getting our cistern. It's going to hit the berry bushes, hit the trees, and hit the gold initially. So it's going to be hitting all of our primary resources. Let's go back here, see what we got. And uh, totally forgot to build a house because I am a potato and I am just getting my, uh, my day started here. Alright. Should be okay. With double building that house, I think we'll be fine. And the cistern is now up. House should be finished before the supply block actually kicks in, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah, this looks like a gigantic map, maybe, but I don't know if it is. Um, usually just two on there is going to be enough. Then you can slap everybody else down on sheep. Yeah, kill the deer. Is there a roost player in the game? No, there's not. He's just trolling. Okay, I was like... He's like, guys, we have to deny the bounty. There's a roost player in the match, but no, there's no roost player. Yeah, we're typically on large. I don't know. This this could be gigantic, which is fine. You know, more more uh, glorious and... Uh... <laughs> Pone is like begging to be spared already. Oh, that's funny, dude. He's, he's, he's calling for the mercy of the people. All right, so let's go here and here and here. We'll do two TC winery build, or one TC winery um, fast castle to try and get relics. Normally, I would go two TC, but... Like, you really, really need relics as um, as a Civ, I think, in FFA to kind of keep you sustainable and going into the later ages, right? Well, probably one more in gold here. It's going to be fine. All right. That's a lot of food being had. The sheep are in the base, and it is all good. Yeah, usually we do gigantic. Or not gigantic, large. 
Okay, it's an interesting little corner spot. I still don't know who my neighbors are. So let's get you here. That's gonna be enough. And you can switch onto the straggler trees now. We can grab one of you and switch onto the straggler trees. And the Grand Winery is going to be plopped down next to those berry bushes. So we can get some, uh, probably going to go for Western Mercenaries and get the, I like, Longbows just give you so much good defensive utility that I think we got to, we got to maybe consider that. All right. So the Grand Winery is going to go right there. Cool. And let's go ahead and just get three Vills. Usually in 1v1 I'll do two, but I want to be a little bit, a little bit quicker here to get that going. Yes. All is well. And going to keep creeping around here, seeing what we can find. Um, we got four on there, which I suppose is probably too much. Let's get you down on gold now. And uh, we'll get another cistern up soon-ish. Again, uh, we need to get relics. That's going to be the most important thing. So, yeah, that looks like this could be a nice spot for a landmark. I'll definitely set something up back there. I don't know what yet, but something will go there. Maybe I'll like our foreign engineering company. You know, that's a good, rel uh, good wonder spot, right? Not like top tier wonder spot, but certainly respectable. All right, so we got some sheep here, and looking good. These guys are going to hit the berry bushes. Let's go to the middle of the map and see. We only see one relic at this point, so a little bit shady. What's cool about the Grand Winery is it acts as a monastery, so you can build your religious character out of that landmark very, um, very quickly here. All right, so let's build another house here. Yes, yes. Hopefully you don't get rushed. Granted, Byzantine's defenses aren't terrible early. I will have a mercenary building, so I'm hoping that will be enough to fend off any early aggression. It does happen, though. Sometimes people get really, really aggro on you. And, uh, okay, Smeagol... Oh, he's playing HRE. Okay. <clears throat> so, he's clearly going to be going for some early relics and whatnot. I don't know where he is yet. Haven't been able to find anyone. So, we are kind of potentially in an isolated spot here. We'll have to see. Okay, relics and relics and relics. Yeah, I have a good spot. This is way better than the last stream where I was, like, sandwiched between a couple players. That was, that was a rough one. I could also go for 2TC and then, like, conquer somebody who's getting the relics, but I don't know. I think I think we're going to try and do it. So heading up to the north. <clears throat> looking fine. Mercenary camp will be the first building I build. Maybe, actually, probably just a barracks to get some spears. Okay, so two relics have been spotted. I'd like to get those. So you guys can finish this and jump on the berry bushes here, and then we can try and turbo up to the next age. Let's go ahead and build the mercenary building, and we can build that down here. Like so. Yes. Get the mercenary contract going. And the olive oil is now uh, in full effect. <clears throat> so they're going to be collecting it from those berry bushes. Let's take you up here. Let's wall these relics. I'm going to wall them just to try and guarantee. Like, I want to get at least two. I need some source of infinite gold, right? Otherwise, we're going to be in some danger here. Probably should get, like, at least one or two on stone now to get the cisterns. But I'm really going for, like, kind of a fast-ish castle here. Hopefully that'll work out. All right, onto the berry bushes. You go, buddy. And um, gold is going well. Mercenary camp is coming here. And we're going. Someone's calling me here. Let me make sure it's not the lady. No, we're okay. So still seeing two relics. And uh, heading up here is the villager. So let's get the wall off going on this relic. Yes. Yes. And uh, we can finish the rest of the walls in a second here. Get you back to the berry bushes, and uh, there's a third relic right there. All right. So we're starting to discover it. We're working our way to the next age. Um, let's get another one on gold. It's going to be important here. I see I see Professor Pone. Oh, the Dark Lord himself has arrived. He's arrived. All right, that's going to be one relic, hopefully secure. And the mercenary contract. Let's see, what mercs do I want to go for? So Streltsy are really good. Grenadiers are also nice, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually try the Grenadier. Let's try that Mercenary Contract, see how that goes. Age of Empires 4, it's it's a relatively hard game to play, but, you know, it will it has a good ELO system, so it's not going to, like, put you against Terminators. Unless you choose to play in these FFA um, streams here. <laughs> you know, then you might run into some Terminators. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's Witching End down here. This is uh, Joan of Arc, so we don't want to be fighting any early uh, action against Joan. That is for damn sure. All right, so get this, head down this way, head back to the base, drop these off, and going to be heading down to those berry bushes, which is going to slightly slow my castle age, but it is all good. We're still going to age up in a reasonable amount of time here. Yeah, it'd be cool to get the Grenadiers. Javelin throwers are also neat. You know, they're a decent counter against, like, archers and whatnot, so maybe, maybe that's going to be something. All right, so heading over this way, let's go wall this relic here. We can. Oh, it's kind of a tricky one. Trixie Hobbitses. All right. 
<laughs> bone, please. <laughs> They're already begging for mercy against bone, huh? All right, gonna grab some of those berry bushes down there. Um, probably save up. Do we want to get some mercs? We could pop some down out of the gates here. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. And uh, let's get the sheep to go on to the base. Do this, and uh, you guys can jump onto that. And then we will get our second cistern here in a second. So let's go ahead and plop that down over here. Since there's two stone nodes, which I'm inevitably going to be hitting, uh, I would like to get the cistern over there. So doing a very slow cistern build, but um, this is not a 1v1 build, just a disclaimer. This is like pure, I want castle, I want relics. Give it to me now, precious. All right. Almost there. One more food turn in, and we can go ahead and get some mercs. So let's get these mercenaries out. Free units are free. And cool. So now we can grab berry workers, do this, and we can build the uh, golden. Yeah, we can build this back here. A little bit safer. All right, so let's do that and grab some of you gold workers and do this, head up here. And uh, that that's a great landmark, gives you free units. The other one is good too, but yeah, I want the freebies. I want the freebies. Oh, hello. Okay, so here's eight man. So another very solid player here. And uh, we just need to get those relics if we can. The cistern can be connected here, perhaps. Let's see. How far can we go? Yeah, we need to start getting a little bit as well here. So let's do this and here and here. All right, so we got nine aging up. So it should be a pretty uh, pretty rapid age up here. We're gonna move you guys out and then we can go and secure this relic here. Yes, good. So that's gonna be two relics that are secured. We can get our scout to sit on this one and get our javelin throwers heading out that way. And immediately we're gonna build a religious character out of this. And we need to start focusing on that too. Any sort of wall off that we want to do down here. Ah, it's all a little bit janky, but you know, that wall off actually doesn't look bad to me. Let's do that just to prevent some sort of early trolling and or raiding. So our first mer mercenaries have arrived. They're going to head over to the middle. And um, we can make, uh, probably save up for, we can get a second batch of mercs there. No problem. Tower's about to finish. And uh, we can go ahead and head down here. And perfect. Alright, so you guys head over to the tree line because now we need to start getting that Olive Garden economy going. And let's get the Monk coming up. So he is going to go here and bring this back. We can put the Relics in there to get Olive Oil for now, which isn't a terrible idea. And now we can, you know, go to TC. We can do any number of things. Merc Contract uh, would need 250 to get that upgraded. Alright. So this is a very, very greedy build, by the way. This is like turbo greedy what we're doing. But um, hopefully it'll work out. All right, so the wall is being built on the south. People are already politicking against one another. Let's slap down the wheelbarrow. Always a good upgrade. Yeah, we've been streaming a little bit earlier. It's been good, man. It's been good. All right, so the monk is out. So we probably cancel the wheelbarrow tech just so we can get another monk, actually. I think that's going to be more important. And let's have you go over here and grab this relic over there and bring it back. Oh, hello. Okay, well, that's that totally screws up our plans. Jeez. All right, so we need to go get this relic and come back here. Um, Joan of Arc is still in the second age, so I think we can probably still get some barracks out and maybe get that relic. We'll see. Unfortunately, these mercs aren't like super useful here because they're javelin throwers, so they're going to get wrecked by the French calf. Okay, so let's get a couple of these. Uh, power build those, do this, get you guys down here. And now, thankfully, we did wall a couple of those, so we are good, but that definitely screws our business up. Yeah, let's go down here and then like see if we can creep around the back and get that one. All right. So free units on the way. Let's get the Lima Tanai to fight. Joan of Arc getting that early experience, wiping one of my units. Very, very, very evil, mind you. Very evil for sure. We got some trees down here, so let's get this and get these cisterns all sauced out. Perfect. And uh, Lima Tanai time and uh, some more houses. One, two, three. That was very villainous. I have to say, that was super villainous there. And we don't have quite enough olive oil yet to get any uh, more mercs, so we're just going to get some more spear boys. You come back, drop that off here. And uh, you are going to go ahead and creep up and around. So let's go get this, come back down here, and then get this. We'll, we'll keep trying to grab those relics. It ain't going to be easy, though, that's for sure. Not with, like, those French knights running around. That was, like, a big-ass feudal army, too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, like, pretty decent, decently-sized feudal force. All right, we're going to have to, like, rearrange our base layout later. It's, like, super ugly right now, but it's okay. So let's switch you guys onto wood for now, and then we can take our spear army and hopefully go grab that relic here. And it uh, looks like we are being scouted. And I don't know, can we take that army? We upgraded to the next age of spears yet? Probably not. Um, Joan of Arc is still age two. So we're going to get this and take you guys over to the front here. Grab that. We got one relic, so that's outstanding. And now we can move here and grab this and then bring it back. Cool. I think with our spears here, we might be able to beat that force. We'll have to see. 
All right, let's get some crossies and we can get that. I don't know if they're still going to be camping that. Homie's coming, so he was able to get the relic. And excellent. So we chase that character off. We're going to get this and bring it back here. That's good. Yeah, it's going well so far. And uh, then we can head here and get ready to grab that last one. Head back to the base. And now it's time to just establish the um, Olive Gardens. We have to take our opponent to the Olive Garden. Yeah, because now we're going to be getting a lot. We need to get the mercenary contracts upgraded, which costs 100 food. So it should have the turn in there in a second. All right, so let's get the mercenary contracts and uh, go from there. All right, so what we do is we delete the wall, grab that relic and bring it back. And then we're going to have to make a regular monastery here. So we can just slap that down back there. This, uh, If you put them in this building, it gives you olive oil, which is obviously pretty useful. Okay, so let's do this. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, start surrounding, getting those sweet farms going. And we want to get you guys here and build another cistern up here if possible. So we'll build one out front and uh, connect that as well with the old olive, olive party. Okay, let's get that. Good, so that's going to be a, a good cistern level. We have another one being connected here. Let's go ahead and build that. Looks like we got a little bit lazy with that. Um, do you want javelin throwers? Probably not. So let's drop that off, get all the olive oil. Eventually, we're going to switch those to gold. We'll take them out and put them in the gold building. But yeah, the fact that we got so many relics is great. Let's send you over there just to kind of scout that out. And now I need to start working on stone. Uh, the reason why is because I want to get another TC to kind of help counter... Um, the quality of our eco, which is poor, and also get a keep out front to help defend against any sort of aggression and whatnot. All right, so yeah, let's do this. Start on that. We got three relics here. Let's go drop this off in the back. And um, yes, let's update our lumber here. Cistern's being connected, and we should be at cistern level four here. We're bathing in olive oil pretty hard tonight, for sure. So now we want to get more Merc buildings. Um, we can build them out front here, since this is going to be kind of our beachhead of aggression. Although I suppose that's going to be the Olive Garden land as well. All right. Set that up. Let's get some Varangians, and um, we'll definitely consider some pressure here soon. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about the aggro. Because now we do have a lot of free units coming out. So our army quality is going to be quite good. And we have camels against the French. Um, I don't know why they're doing that. But you guys go there, please. Thank you. All right. So let's set up a market in the corner. So we can maybe consider trading somewhere. I need to do a little bit better scouting on the map. So I'll build a scout. Yeah, I got four relics, which is good. That's like a very, very ideal start for us. Um, they're all in olive oil right now. So this is generating how much olive oil? I don't know if it'll say, but it's generating quite a bit. And now we can just get all these free units. So we're going for like a mercenary build, more or less. Um, that house is going to finish. And let's go ahead and build a blacksmith back here. And we can get these speedy upgrades with the Dialectus. So we switch this to Dialectus. And then we're going to be getting uh, turbo fast upgrades. All right, so camels are there. We have a good army. We could probably go say hello to Joan of Arc. I think we could. Let's get on stone. Keep on wood here. And now it's time to slap down the wheelbarrow, if possible. I believe I had a mill somewhere, didn't I? Didn't I have one? Maybe not. All right, let's have one up right here. All right. Didn't I? I could have sworn I had more houses built. I guess not. Okay. One, two, three. Just keep, you get supply block really easy with these guys. Let's head over, over to Joan of Arc, which is still in age two here. We're going to grab this sacred site on the far side and uh, hopefully be able to slap down a keep here in a minute. And where else would we want you? Yeah, that that's not a bad spot for a cistern. Uh, it obviously is going to be touching that. So let's head over to this Joan base, see what they're up to. Taking out Joan of Arc is always a good call. And we're going to get turbo upgrades. They're going to happen really quickly because of our tech. So we're going to try and take out one neighbor, although he kind of is a buffer of sorts. Although, do I, like, you know, it's obviously very big to not let the French cackle too hard on you. You're going to have a bad time if you do. So I could go after the French, although I'm pretty happy with my kind of slow eco here. All right, so let's go over to the middle and grab that sacred site too. Just be as greedy as possible right now. Cistern is on the way and we're going to need more military tech here in a minute so let's get another one of these merc buildings and then we can go ahead i'm going to go mostly like infantry style here yeah i think i think infantry will be pretty good considering how much uh you know we're not we don't have like triumph or other things like this right yes all right so upgrades upgrades yep 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 let's get all those upgrades coming out we have our dreaded camel mercs which is so cool we're getting a lot of olive oil per minute and it's soon going to be maxed out pretty hard all right, wheelbarrow food gathering, you guys. Um, let's go find another stone outcropping, which is near a cistern, which means the production's going to be good. Um, do we want to get real aggro? Yeah, you know what? Let's go test the waters against Joan. 
you can't I, I can't let a French player just just like do what they want I don't know about his experience level I, I feel a little bit he might he's in age two still which makes me think maybe he might be newer but also might be involved in um in, in a what's it called in a feudal conflict here so let's get our camels back away from the spears and then engage and now we just come for blood yeah all right so we've moved in uh, all right let's get more upgrades and uh, looking pretty good here so let's get you guys on the archers and that's pretty much a steamroll there so we can move in and oh jones does have a secondary army all right let's pull back get the javelin thirst to try and pick off joan which would be pretty funny and uh, do this upgrade our lumber here and yeah dude the camels are such a nice tech though too because they give you yeah jones down for the count all right so let's go <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't give me the i'm too weak thing dude come on man come on man all right so yeah, we're gonna try and just end this. I, I don't want a French neighbor. I don't want somebody building a wonder, you know. And like in the last FFA, I was like, I was peaceful with my neighbors and uh, you know, one of them, you know, it, it, they just popped off because of it, right? And so I need to take advantage of that. Soon we'll, we'll for sure be going for Japan soon. So let's go set up a keep here if possible. Yes, we can do it like right here and then come back. And okay, he just got Castle Age. There we go. All right. So that had to happen. You know, it's it's French. There's there's no um you can't you can't let Guildhall get going, or else you're gonna have a bad time. It looks like Castle Age was just reached. Um, we're setting up more olive uh, olive party, and eventually we are gonna get grenadiers, which is gonna be very fun. All right. So the TC is getting torched down. Um, we can start on walls up north. Probably not a bad idea, although our stone is a little bit low at this point. Um, looking good. Peace was never an option. Yeah, no, no, definitely wasn't. Let's get some Brangians in there. And, uh, yeah, the Olive Gardens are going. Let's get some more on the other side. Do this. And then this. And that is going to be the end, probably, of yellow, I suspect. And then we need to probably consider trying to take down a Japanese player before endgame. Granted, they're going to reach Imp, but, um... Okay. Uh, GG. Actually, I'm not going to say, uh, well played. Yeah, I don't want to let them know that I'm the one who did it, but I'm just gonna say it. I, I can't, I can't resist, because now they're gonna know I was the one who did the deliver the the death blow here, right? So, okay, so let's head up north here, do this, and uh, we're going. So one player down. And now we're gonna head over to the Japanese base and see what kind of havoc we can uh, wreak on them. We do not have siege workshops, so probably would want to get some do hosting going. So let's go ahead and set up a little do host here. We can have our military infrastructure be out front. And uh, let's do that, set up two of you guys. And they're gonna have 100% faster production. So that's essentially the equivalent of four uh, siege workshops. Could wait for M2, wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, let's get another TC. Where do we wanna build that? Um, we can build it down. We can build it like right here is probably an okay spot. Yeah, probably not bad. All right. Could have sworn I built some more houses. Did I not just like shift build a bunch of houses down here? Huh, weird. Okay. I guess not, man. I guess not. All right, so we're hanging out. All is good. Um, we have another TC coming up, which will hopefully help us uh, get that eco going. Let's get some more camel mercs. Let's head up to the Japanese lands and see what's going on. We do have the four relics, so feeling adequately confident. Yeah, look how quickly your supply jumps with this sieve because of the fact that you have all these mercs just popping out all the time and they come in batches of five. That explains a lot. All right, so are they... Ooh, eight man is actually age four. Yeah, I should probably wait till I get Imperial myself. Let's get some towers here, keep walling off in our lovely little corner. Um, eventually, the relics will need to be switched here. For some reason, they're letting me hold two sacred sites, which is good. Um, and we're going to go see what... We're going to go send some camel riders out on the map to just scout. Yeah, somebody's now taking all the sacreds from me, so... All right, camels are going to go scouting. And uh, we're just going to hang out with the rest of the army and take it a little bit easy here. Probably try and get Imperial Age ourselves. All right, so heading there, looking good. And the Dialectus is going off in full effect. Let's go grab some of this here, and we can set up another cistern if we want to. Connect it to the main base and have, like, a little forward outpost of sorts. All right, good job, team. You guys have done good. And let's get more military here. So one, two, and one, two. And so it's all scaling. 
Uh, that's being decapped by Dark Age Rush. All right, very scary. And uh, this wall never got finished. A little bit potato, but it's all good. We have our Manganel Tower. We have a hell of a lot of olive oil. And for our last landmark, we're going to do the Foreign Engineering Company. So I need to grab all of you guys, uh, go to the back corner here, and um, we are going to build the Foreign Engineering Company, like right here. Matter of fact, we could probably cancel that forward cistern and build one back there instead and just connect it to the Great Empire. It's a it's a safe spot, you know, back there. I think it's going to be good. All right, so let's do this. Jump on wood. The second TC is about to finish, and then they can do this. Okay, let's cancel the queue, and now we can get bills going that way. We see green expanding towards us. I don't know what those guys are doing. All right, camels. Uh, I could have sworn I sent someone to scout down there, but I think I might have misclicked or done something funny. Yeah, we do have the evil the evil Japanese corner player. So we got to watch out for that. Uh, the, us getting a wonder, we need we need to get trade going. Like that's uh, that's gonna be uber important here. And uh, the cistern here will, yeah, I guess it will increase the uh, production efficiency. So we can set up a cistern back here too. Holy shit, what's going on over here? So it looks like uh, there's uh, mortal combat between Prime and somebody else. We're just gonna go scout the maps with our camels at this point. And uh, yeah, we have great great olive oil, so we're gonna be able to bank and make good quality armies and. You know, people are not going to expect the dreaded, um, let's go push them off the middle here. Okay, there's a trade post right in the middle. Okay, so that pretty much, um, you know, solves that. You know, that whole conundrum of what we're going to do. This trade is is everything for us here. That is going to be really, really big. All right, so let's go to the middle. Um, let's take our army over there and see what we can do. I don't know if we can fight like an Imperial Japanese army, but we're going to, we're sure as hell going to try. All right, so heading to the middle. And our camel has arrived. Let's go ahead and get the Varangians uh, elite. And we can get the Spears elite too in a second. Cool. So those two units are going to be elite. Mercenary contracts will cost 700. So we can actually sell some olive oil, which is, you know, it's got some good trade value. Get our Mercs elite too. And that's going to be a nice little push for us here. Uh, can we slap down a keep? Doesn't look like it. So let's make some towers here. So one, two, three. We need to get that trade like stat. That's going to be very, very important for us. And uh, we can go grab some of that stone as well. And uh, I assume a Japanese army will be coming shortly. Don't know how scary it will be, but it certainly will be uh, Will be here. So we got three of our core units becoming elite. Um, let's go ahead and get the... Yeah, Grenadiers will certainly help us against Japanese uh, Imperial armies, right? Okay, so we see the Japanese here trying to set up walls, perhaps. We're not sure. Um, we need to get more markets going, so let's just keep pumping bills on the wood. Fear the camels. Fear them. They come in great numbers, and we'll get a keep set up in the middle and hopefully be okay. All right, Rangians are elite, and we're about to get elite mercenary contracts. Good, good. Um, just keep chasing these bills down. I don't know what he's up to, but obviously it's going to be no good. And we'll set up some more uh, markets back here. All right. So we've chased Jap Japan away for now, but it doesn't matter. They have infinite relics, so the longer we let this go, the worse it's going to be. 100%. Um, here comes the Japanese army of elite spearmen. Okay, so they'll probably wreck our army. We need to get some uh, grenades mixed into our force like stat. Yeah, because our army is uh, its mostly javelin throwers. There are some Brangians in there, which would be pretty chad, obviously. But aside from that, I don't know. It's a little bit tricksy. Is there any way through this mountain pass? It looks like there might be. Let's go back there and see what we can find. The Japanese army stands at the ready. Um, we can get the Greek fire. It's a that's one of the big weaknesses of Byzantines and FFA is the fact that their um their freaking what's it called costs uh their battering rams cost gold. It's it's a big, big downside. Okay, I don't know why that didn't build, but it's all good. Villagers here, let's set up a tower and we can get our army to go attack this for now, and it looks like blue is creeping in here. We have a lot of olive oil, so we're just going to spam out grenade launchers, which is awesome, and make some more merc camps. Yeah, we're going to have to attack green at some point or other. I don't know when, but let's start getting some trade into the middle. It's got to be very obvious, but um, yeah, blue is here. Okay, so that is Nanu. Nanu might shut down our trade. We do have these little mango towers, which maybe maybe can help defend here. Okay, so let's set up a keep here. And you guys can help set up a keep. Uh, man, like I, what is Nanu playing? Nanu is playing uh, Byzantines. My fellow Byzantine homie, we need to we need to be allies against all these dread OP civs. 
All right. What's that trade? 15? Nah, I'd say it's respectable. It's definitely respectable. Um, olive oil is flowing. That's for sure. And we got the foreign engineering company now too. So we can go ahead and get some... Uh, we can get some uh, nest of bees moving in. Good. And I would like to get a cistern back there. Um, not only for damage reduction, but also for... Oh, hello. Okay. Look at this. Evil. Us Byzantines need to stick together. I'm trying to do some haggard politics here to see if we can, you know, rat our way back here. <laughs> trying my best. But we do have access to the middle trade now, which is going to be something. And uh, let's get some walls coming here. So walls. Uh, yes. All right. And start securing our empire. So more upgrades. We need to get some food upgrades. Get our food eco nice and good. So get that maxed out. Our olive garden is going well. And tithe barns, I do not believe it affects relics. Yeah. Relics placed in a monastery. So... But this counts as a monastery? Let's see if it actually works. I'm gonna get tithe barns here. It kinda, you know, it's unfortunate the cost, but. All right. So the foreign engineering company should be doing its thing. We're gonna make a little bit of a ram here against the Japanese and just kinda poke and see if they wanna fight. Um, we haven't gotten any uni upgrades yet, I don't believe. Yeah, no uni upgrades at this point. So let's go ahead and just slap that down here and uh, see if we can pop some of those out. We're gonna kinda poke the walls. You know, we do have grenades in this army now, so that's going to be some really, really nice DPS that we're hopefully getting. Trade is going in the middle, so we do have a source of infinite gold, so if we can maintain that, that's pretty big. All right, let's get those upgrades here, and you guys in the meantime will come build another keep up here in a minute. And, uh, yes, keep walling. And securing the old empire. Oh, those hand cannoneers? They are. Okay. So those are hand cannoneers. There's probably not too many other ways into the Japanese base. We do see villagers heading to the middle, but they are going to get popped by my keep as they're doing it. Yes. And the great part is if the, J the Japanese player starts talking about, um, you know, this or that, I can always be like... He says fighting turn already. Sort of. You're not like really full on fighting me. It's not like full on Mortal Kombat yet, but you know. All right. So we mow down that Japanese army. Good. Uh, we need to cut some supply somewhere. So let's go ahead here and do this and then maybe delete a handful of you guys. Get that siege equipment coming. Let's get the foreign engineering company, get some cannons. Hell yeah, dude, we're building cannons now. All right, that's awesome. And uh, we can get the sister network extending back here. So we're going to do this. And uh, yeah, perfect. Just like so, like so. And do the aesthetic of Byzantine bases is just so incredibly rad. It's very, very cool. All right, how's the middle looking? Oh my god, my evil Byzantine uh, twin here appears to be raiding my lands, so that's unfortunate. All right, let's get you in here. And uh, Blue does not want to does not want to be friends at all. All right, so we're pulling back to the base to deal with this. That's a pretty sizable raid, and uh, yeah, we just need to resecure this trade somehow. It's gonna take a minute, but we might have to fight Nanu. Like as much as I I want to fight the infinite gold sieves. But if our Byzantine homie is going to be, you know, screwing with us here, then that's going to not work out. All right, so this horseman going to get shut down. He's going to kill a couple traders, but, you know, that's pretty much it. And uh, we need to focus. We need to focus infinite gold sieves. All right. I'm trying to talk to the Byzantine player and, 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 you know, talk some reason into him. We'll see. We'll see if we can make any progress. Um, all right, so let's get some cannons. We, you can't let Japan live till late game. If you do, you're basically throwing. Um, all right, so let's get some walls here. Okay. And okay. And uh, then we need to get one more set of walls up, up to here. I think that should kind of secure us for now. We'll keep standing trade to the mid. Even if it doesn't make it every time. We do have a tower there. I mean, I could probably go kill Nanu. I think my army looked a lot stronger than what I saw, but it ain't worth it. You got, you can't let Jap Japan players just cackle in the corner, right? You can't. You're just going to lose. Um, all right. So let's get army tactics and uh, do battle with the Japanese with all of our, our foreign technology, which is super fun. Need to get more Olive Gardens too. So uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Cool. And here we go. Who is in corner? He says he's fighting somebody in the corner, but I don't know who it is. 
Okay, so we're moving in. He's got all these keeps and stuff, but we have the dreaded Greek fire rams. Japan with an ally. Okay, uh... If he's going after Prime... Goddamn, this is a stupid menu out of here. Okay, in the middle, we're getting poked a little bit, but trade is still going. Who are you fighting? I'm trying to find out who he's fighting, because then I'll, 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 if he's actually fighting another Japanese player, I'll happily let them Mortal Kombat each other, you know? Happily. Alright, so let's grab you guys, do this. Oh, he's fighting. He's talking about how he's fighting Pwn? Pwn's just learning this game. He doesn't probably even know how to abuse the infinite stuff. Okay, now we're going to keep attacking. Yeah. There's. Look, Pwn is very new. He was like talking like. He was talking like there's some Dark Lord in the corner. Like, I'm dealing with the, the Dread King of Japan, but he's fighting somebody who literally has like eight games played. He is brand new. You are not. All right, so we're gonna keep going, dude. Come on now. What is this? <laughs> what is that? He's like, he's like talking about the phone. All right. So look at our horde of javelin throwers we have, man. Isn't that funny? Holy shit. All right. So army tactics is done. We've got a lot of javelin boys thrown away. In a way, they will counter the ozutsu. Uh, I think because they count as range units. So that's cool. Let's get that keep down. Do that. We're probably going to have to switch into some sort of stable tech here soon. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the Ozutsu are getting wrecked, which is good. You see, we can't let Japan go to the late game, dude. Saving saving Private Pwn, that's what's happening right now, dude. Uh, is our trade being allowed to go? It doesn't look like it. Okay, he's not going to He's not gonna have that. Nanu, still trolling. It's barely any trade, dude. Oh, it's so evil. All right, let's, uh, let's finish the wall if we can. Okay, so let's keep uh, plowing into the Japanese here. Um, Nanu, I need it to stop Japanese. Nanu just can't help themselves. They just cannot. It's just always, always got to be this. It's always got to be this way. All right, so we might have to fight Japanese with just olive oil, which we can do, thankfully. I don't know why I just built camels. It's just, it's just instinct, really. Um, foreign engineering company, our olive oil production is pretty good. Let's do this. Our eco is at 90 at this point. We are defeating the Japanese. It's, it's because we've caught them before they've reached their final form. Like, if we let Japan reach its final form, then we're doomed. Okay. Nanu, I'm dead. He is tricking you. You ain't dead yet. All right. So we keep pushing here. The olive oil is going to be flowing. I don't know if I can get markets back there. Yeah, I'm, I should probably actually, you know what? This actually brings up an idea to me. So we are going to keep moving into the Japanese base. Okay. Um, keep this trade going because we need the olive oil. We have a lot of stone being gathered. So let's go ahead here and plop down. We, we're tired of the horseman raiding. So we're going to do this. And uh, then we're going to throw down a second keep here. All right, that looks fine. So it's it, the most important thing for us is securing the relic. We're about to get the Shogunate Castle down, but we are kind of out of, um, yeah, let's get some more cannons going. Do this. Great, so the Shogunate Castle is down. Let's get the other TC and have the Vrankian Chads. It's berserk in time, baby. Get those two-handed axes. Let's go. All right. So we're getting a second keep here, but now he's pushing us. Oh my god, dude. He just won't, won't stop. All right, so we need to get back and uh, do this. And go for the Kura storehouse. Okay, Garrison, all of you guys. We're going to lose a ton of bills here, but it is what it is. Let's gather you guys, set that up. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, Japan is probably going to live. He's, he's politics his way out of this one, it would seem. All right, because Blue's coming in with a big old army. Um, and yeah, I guess he's going to get that. So I think it's time to switch the relics into the Tithe Barns. Now, let's see if this is generating us. I don't think it is. All right, so we have been able to clear out Japan. I'm doing you a favor. Japan is basically cheating in FFA. We have to, we have to, we have to take him out. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this here. I think is an okay spot. Uh, we need a little bit more space. And let's get this. And then here we can get a bunch of that. Because eventually we're going to need some stables. Japan gathering up another Dread Legion. So we're just going to have to yield the middle. Dude, I can't believe they're teaming up on Pwn. Just pure villains, dude. Although, to be fair, I don't know about the experience level of the person I took out early. But, um... Yeah, no, we gotta, we gotta, gotta clear this out here. Can't let the, let the Japanese just cackle. The Byzantines, they can have the middle for now. With their elite cataphract chads. Um, alright, so that's going down. We're gonna get another high-powered cistern production. Okay, so let's just start taking out buildings so they can't produce units anymore. Um, yeah, let's go after houses here to wear those down. And, uh, let's get some more grenades as well. Yeah, so still a little bit of trade is going on. Not too much, but it's something. We're going to lose these cannons for sure. Thank you, Dark Age. And the trade is officially offline. The Japanese armies are looking a little bit worse for wear. Let's get more grenades coming. And the houses are being torched. So I think they're going to start running out of steam here in a second. I do lose my cannons, like a Bronze Odia Lord. And now we literally have zero gold income. So that's uh, not the best for us. But I think it's worth it. You know, we are taking out a OP Civ. And um, keeping them from, you know, coming back to haunt us later. We're going to keep trying to send some sneaky, sneaky trade to the middle. We did lose a lot of bills there, it looks like. Nah, it's a shame. All right. So let's get you guys do this. How are the eco upgrades looking? Japan looking like they're pretty much toast. And um, I, that's got to be a policy that I think most competitive FFA players will... Smeagol died early? Holy shit. Yeah, it's probably, probably Prime. You know, Prime's probably just cackling in the corner. Although, yeah, how did Spiegel die? He was on HRE. He had relics and stuff. It's weird. All right, so let's keep grooving. Keep looking for landmarks. We need to take them out. There's a couple of Zutsu here. Um, let's send you guys up here, here, and here, and here. All right, there's the Tanigashima gunsmith. So let's go there and there. And um, is there anything else I need to look for? So we got the Shogun Castle, the Kura Storehouse, and the middle is now unfortunately out of our control. Looks like it's not being fully patrolled, so we're going to keep sending traders there and seeing what we can find. All right, so the Tanigashima gunsmith is looking to die here. And we have the Shogunate Castle, which is not a landmark, obviously. And uh, do we want to do any walls on our northern border here? He's trying to build some infrastructure. Let's go take those guys down. He's trying to build houses. That's how, how desperate they are here. Okay. So let's get some uh, olive oil cannons. We got the eco being rebuilt slowly but surely. We have the cistern network. Um, yeah, so I don't know where their last landmark is. It's clearly hiding somewhere around here. But let's uh, keep working down this way. And yeah, man, not having gold sucks, dude. It majorly sucks. All right, let's sell, sell, sell. I need to get the horseman upgraded so I can just spam some kind of cheap units here. Look at the villager. Oh, there's the last landmark. Okay, that's going to be the end of Japan. And then we can go back to focusing on securing the middle, which hopefully will be possible. Yeah, can see these little things? These things are infinite. All right, so that has been dealt with. And um, yeah, now we just have to hope that like the rest of the lobby is doing the same thing and kind of keeping the uh, keeping the infinite relics in check. Let's head down here, get back to our base. I believe, is there an actual relic in there? I think those are fake relics. Yeah, I don't think those... It appears as a relic on the map, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I saw the Dune update. We're going to be streaming it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm super excited. Super excited. All right, so let's get you here. And we can set up a, another cistern. Do we need to? I don't think so. I think it's fine. And uh, we definitely need to get more military production. But it's like I want to get everything around a cistern, but it's like Trixie Hobbits' in terms of space. All right, let's do that. Get these going. Good. And then we can set up another cistern to make sure the production speed is maxed out. Yeah, we are trading in the middle. I mean, it's not like amazing trade, but it's certainly better than nothing. The olive oil is banking, but I'm starting to think we can probably um, probably move the relics. So let's grab you and take it back here and then grab you and take it back here. Just to get the tithe barns going, you know. Oh, Dark Age Rush is now there. Okay, so we need to fully wall the side here, if possible. I'm trying to trade. And now we're going to be switching it up. All right, so yeah. Several big threats. 
Yeah, I mean, corner positions are very powerful, obviously. Like, Yellow got one of the worst positions. I feel bad for Yellow. That was that was rough. Granted, it's not that they were, like, 2v1 or anything, but they would have inevitably be two, uh, have been 2v1. So we're moving our relics here. We can leave one in the Olive Garden building. Um, securing the center trade is going to be big. It looks like the fallen Japanese are here. So let's get some camels. Clearly, somebody's enjoying cap here. And I have good counters against, like, the Cataphracts and the Byzantine, like, cab action, which is great. Um, let's get Rally, and we need to get Biology as well for the boys. Yeah, it looks like a couple people are trying to trade. Where is the other Japanese player? Pwn attacked me with a full army because his neighbor was dead at the same time. Turn pushed me, rough times. Yeah, you know. It's it's the it's the burden of the of the of playing them. I'm always gonna attack that because last time I did it, I ended up playing like a three hour misery, misery grind against Smeagol with like four thousand gold a minute for free. I'm like never again. The trauma. Yeah. So um, that is part of that. All right, let's grab you guys. Uh, turn in and come out here. Looks like Pwn might be toast. He might have met his uh, his end here. Up on the top, we are walling here, and I don't think that's an actual relic. Let's go set up a tower here and check. And do this, and go set up some towers here. One, 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 yes. Just so we can see what's kind of going on in that neighborhood, right? Yeah, I know. That's why I moved all my relics over to the monastery to get the gold from it, because I want the uh, tithe barns. <laughs> Nanu, Nanu appears now. Seeking my friendship. Alright, let's go down here. And we can set up some... Uh, let's do some palisades. Yes. And then we can also do some more palisades. We're just going to do like a couple layers of those bad boys. Just to be kind of annoying here. While we have the resources. Alright, so then let's drop a keep here. Do we want to drop a keep? I think just building towers is going to be adequate for now. We're not getting that much trade. It's, it's certainly good. Hey, Pone, you did great, dude. You weren't you you. I think Smeagol died before you, dude. Yeah, I think uh, I think you're doing all right, man. All right, so let's do this. Let's just chill out, secure that. Um, what is our eco at right now? One nineteen, and uh, we're just gonna get towers, and we can go and push this back too. Actually, yeah, he might roll up with a big cataphract army, but. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully be able to punish that. Man, our gold right now is rough. It's very rough. It is very rough indeed. Well played, Pwn. So we get the bounty for taking down villagers, I believe, if it's horsemen only. Although it looks like some of the camels, are they actually getting bounties for killing bills? Huh, it's interesting. We have a lot of olive oil, so we can produce um, quite a bit of olive garden action if we want to. Uh, let's go ahead and make more mercenary camps. Can we fit them anywhere around here? Uh, we will just make more merc camps here. So we can build a ton of free units at once. And I'm just going to kind of put, start pushing all this back here. Alright, and then you guys can get here. So I don't want to fight my my Byzantine brother. But he's repeatedly repeatedly turned down my requests for, for friendship. Um, is there, yeah, those are the Japanese relics. Okay, so they're not the real ones. You could have had peace with me. And you may yet. <laughs> we are biz olive bros. I I would be down to make peace with my olive garden friend, but I'm just going to be pushing back a lot of a lot of this for now. All right, so let's grab that gold. I will leave you be. Extend the olive branch. <laughs> All right was like 40 gold trade. No, I'm extending the olive branch here, guys. Yeah, elephants, he can make elephants, yeah. Which I guess in theory are good against my, although elephants I think count as cavalry, right? So I think they still suffer against uh, those units. All right, so our army is pretty good. I don't care too much for the javelin throwers. I think I'm gonna cut a bunch of those guys. And um, let's go ahead and delete a por portion of these. Um, let's cut this, do this. And then we just want to pop out more traders, basically. Yeah. Grab the gold while we can. Uh, how are the palisade walls coming? Good. Looks like they're going. Going to continue setting up towers over here. Um, uh, who's up in that corner? That was eight man. Yeah. That was the fallen Japanese champion. My <laughs> oh, did he base snipe you, Pwn? Did he get to your base? Oh no. The pure villainy, dude. 
All right. Um, so let's get another. Uh, let's get a gatehouse here. And then we can do this. We go there. Yes and yes. Pretty nice little spot back here for sure. Very cozy. Plus, I can build any you know big buildings near. Uh, yeah, we need to get you back and uh, lumberjacking here. All right, so our economy is fat now. We have a bunch of uh, towers here. We have 5,000 olive oil. And we can make a uh, mass artillery nest of bees. I'm now friends with our... Uh, I've extended the olive branch. So we are, we're friends once again. All my old enemy are Balkans. Who's he, who are you fighting? Who are you fighting? I need some intel right now. I'm trying to bank resources, but my stone isn't, isn't great. Um, I don't think there's going to be too much stone on the map. What Civ? What Civ is Dark Age Rush? Dark Age Rush is playing um, Ottomans. I mean, pretty good late game, but not as scary as uh, Japan. <laughs> it's a me, Dark Age Rush. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, that gatehouse was not optimally built, so let's do that. And uh, looking good. We got the banded rams coming out. Uh, what other upgrades do we want to get? The Greek fire on trebuchets is cool, dealing area damage. Extend the, the breadsticks. The breadsticks are being extended. Now check this out. So this is a little bit of an interesting tech. I don't know if it's worth it, but I wanted to try this. So see how much um, stone. We have 239 stone right now, okay? I'm going to spend a bunch of wood to just build these and see how much stone I get. Because with the Byzantines, you get uh, you get stone for building buildings, right? So yeah, I'm thinking like maybe there's something here. I am going to have the olive gardens. Let's go ahead and get the... Do we have a lot of gunpowder units? I guess the Grenadiers would count as that. Siege engines. Yeah, let's just get all these. Let's just max it out. So 32 stone per building here. Um, it is... So I'm exchanging 100 wood for 32 stone. That's not the worst trade in the world, honestly. It's not, like, great, but it's also not terrible. All right, so let's go here. Um, we can set up some palisade walls. Yes and yes. We have the double palisade coming here. I believe it's just one villager working on it, so it's going to take him a while to get there and do all that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, it's a little bit. I think if you're in, like, a pinch, it might be okay. Yeah, so the bigger the building, the more stone you get. And then what you do is you just delete all these. So if you had, like, um, a good wood economy, maybe, maybe it would be worth. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, the trade is coming in, and the trade does return olive oil, too. Oh, we need to make sure they're going to the furthest back one. They're currently not. All right. That should make our trade slightly better. And, um, yeah. It's a little bit, you know. So then we just delete these, and we just, like, you know, rebuild in that same space. It does take a bit of wood, though, like I said. So, Trixie Hobbitses. Let's go over here and see if we can find any more resources. And um, this region is being walled, slowly but surely. Looking good. Let's keep that up. And uh, we can also start on this. All right. It's going to take a while to get there, but we will eventually. Cool. Deleted my protective keep butter. Oh, no. Cone, I'm sorry. What happened to you, man? Was it a, was it a, a, a violent fight on the other side? I suspect Prime is probably going to cackle because he's playing late game Japan. I, I could go, like, knock on his door. Let's go, like, build some... See what's going on over here, at least. All right, so we're going to kind of cruise this way. Is anyone fighting Prime? Or is he just Inf Gold in corner? Got to see how this is going. So we're moving up this way. Let's head, like, right here. Prime might just be infinite golding in the corner. <laughs> Sorry, Constantinople will become insanable. Oh, man, okay. I could sell olive oil, too, for money. That's another idea. I do have tithe barns, which is nice. And um, I think we have most of the upgrades. We don't have the broad axes. Relics. Dude, look at Prime act acting as if... Okay, I don't want to start a war with Dark Age Rush. I do not want a war with him. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on this. He's dead, bro. Look at that. He's, he's trying to say Chris has them. Oh my god, this guy is just a pure villainous schemer. Alright, so we're going to set up more markets here. They're literally... We're in his Regnant's Cathedral. Prime is lying super, super hard, but I don't want to... Um, 
I don't want to go start Mortal Kombat there right now. I do not want that. Okay, so that's fine. We got 15 on gold here, and any other gold in the realm, there's actually a full gold node up there, which is really good. I am weak. Uh, we're going to sell Please some food. Don't kill me. Just going to kind of hold down the Z button for a hot minute. The olive oil is, is sweet, though. We're going to be able to make, like, mercs, like, out, like, super hard in the paint over here. So let's go ahead and set this up um, right here, yes. And then we can set up the mercenary camps around this. Because that's how we're going to get, like, you know, good defensive units there in the late game for free. And um, then we can set up a, uh, potentially, I think the towers will be adequate in our armies, you know, fighting on the uh, on the shores here. It's going to be a while before any of that actually comes to fruition. Cataphracts are too expensive, I think. It's too much of a gold sink for what we're doing, especially since we don't have Triumph. So, yeah, look at this. Save your wood. Well, the wood I can, I can get back pretty quickly by just reallocating my uh, economy here. And let's just keep selling food. I've been playing Byzantines a lot in ranked. Yeah, they're very, very fun. Okay, so we have another gold node up there. This gold node's about to be hammered down. It's getting 50 a pop, so it's decent trade. Um, I don't think I saw anything over here that was, like, great either. You know what? I should be scouting the top. Let's, like, not get com like rela too relaxed here. Let's go see what we can find here. And uh, there's certainly a fallen empire down here, too. How goes it, my biz brother? All right. So this is good, and then when you finish that, you can connect the cistern here to get the good goodies going. Good. I'm about to die. Okay. <laughs> I have 11,000 olive oil. I have 11,000 olive oil right now. Um, I think we can probably delete a lot of the units that aren't like super good here. Get Mew, and um, we can get these guys going and get more wood harvesting towards the back to clear space out. And now you guys can head up here, grab this. Okay, so he's dying, which um, is rough. You know, I do I do empathize with him. So if Turin had a Wolo Lo, I had a fat army he could blob steal. Oh yeah, samurai army too. Uh, that's no joke. That is no joke, my friend. Alright, so let's get you. The olive gardens are going well. Let's keep selling. Keep doing this, and um, all right. So now we delete this again. I really wonder genuinely like how much we're getting out of this. Like, is it worth it? I think it is, because stone is way more valuable than wood on this particular situation. So that's gonna like help us get there quicker. Our Byzantine brother is in trouble, he is. Okay, what do we got down here? With a French guild hall, um, we have a pretty good buffering. So it's myself, Prime, and Dark Age Rush right now. Yeah, that's uh, it's quite a quite a row of killers for sure. All right, so these are ready, and uh, we can go ahead and do more palisade walls here. Yes, and let's do you and you. And uh, yeah, all right. So that's it. We're just chilling now, guys. We're just hanging out. It's uh, basically going to be you know I assume one of these players will build a wonder. Super glad to catch a live stream. May the 50 go to the snacks. And hey, thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys are having fun. This has been uh, this has been a wild one so far. So, so now we have Japan. I have to do some light politicking here, guys. As much as I am not the lord of politics, um, we are getting resources here. So let's get you guys to help out. Yeah, see, we're it gives us the, it's it's actually adding up. It's actually adding up. This is so funny, dude. <laughs> oh man, okay. Yes, go minions, go. Rise, rise. <laughs> Give me that stone. It's like the jankiest way to get stone, dude. Should not should have just tower rushed pwn. I know, that's always the right answer. Um, alright. So I don't think the manganel is gonna yeah, it only helps with our mangoes. And we're gonna be building um nest of bees with olive oil here. So we'll start queuing those up. That's gonna be our like holding piece. Uh, maybe we can kind of hang tight on that, actually. We do have the faster production, and um, let's go ahead and get a cistern up here. And that one can then connect back here. All right, cool. Because olive oil is going to be the last thing to go. Somebody's trying to trade there in the middle. Okay, and now we are almost there. Once this finishes, we should have enough. 
Teal's trying to trade. Who's Teal? Dark Age Rush? Ooh, we're not. Yeah, he's going to come in with like 500 Ottoman Bombard Cannons and be very, very scary. Sorry, you can trade. See, I have to be, I have to be diplomatic here. I can't be, I can't be a foolish potato. And uh, let's move up there, grab that gold. Did I not have guys going over there? Uh, we'll delete towers. Deleting towers. I think he's just starting to trade. So I'm trying to do some politics here. Japan is real threat. Okay, so the politicking is going um, adequately. These guys are going to run around and do their thing. Uh, do we still have a couple to build markets here in the middle? We do. Okay, so let's get some markets going. And there actually is a gold node here, so let's grab that. Good. And we are pretty close. Tithe Barn should be getting us there. Let's do this. And we want to get a religious building back here, if possible. We want the Wolo Lows to be available uh, on the defense here. Okay. Gonna need some room for the wonder too. I guess it's just gonna go like right here. And um, if we do plop one down. We don't have like an amazing bank. We have 16,000 olive oil, which is good. I I know when to when to politic. You know, I'm not that, that foolish. All right, so let's grab these relics. Take them back here. All right, let's go team. Who do you think? See, I'm politicking. You guys like it? We're getting there. Prime actually gets the wonder up. Okay, so we got to go for Japan now. Shit, I didn't think they would be that quick. We we didn't quite have the time, so we gotta we gotta push. Let's push. All right, so this is gonna be fun. Classic evil uh, evil evilness. Um, we have the trade going. We have the olive oil of the gods. Okay, let's pull you guys. Go mid. And now we attack. So we need to delete some eco here. Um, in terms of that, let's see. You can put that back in here. So we knew Japan would be, you know, the cackle monsters. I did my duty of taking out my Japanese neighbor, but it looks like nobody else did theirs. Although Pwn did die, so there's that. All right, so let's get the cannons, knock down the walls. We have uh, infrastructure coming. So we will start setting up uh, keeps here on the aggressive. Yeah, Japan's probably going to win this. He's been entrenching the entire game. I don't think anybody's been messing with him at all. The Dark Age Rush is a very good player, though. So we will have, like, good pushing potential. But I just didn't quite... I was going to drop wonder as soon as I had the resources. But I didn't have enough myself. Okay, so that looks fine. Um, we are back here. We're going to keep cruising. Uh, try to delete that wall. Which one? But too close, I guess. Oh, okay. He's talking uh, about something else. Getting the sacred sites probably would have been doable. Um, we can get some religious characters over here to grab them. Okay, let's get you over here. And you can set up this to make sure he can't wall here. I was hoping I could beat him to a wonder, but it wasn't the case. Same. All right, so the Vils have arrived. Um, we're going to go set up our infrastructure over here. I don't know when we're going to meet the Imperial Japanese armies, but probably soon. All right. Ottomans are really good at sieging. They are very good at sieging, so there is that. So we're clearing out a little bit of space. And let's bring you guys up. And the Wonder is pretty far over here. Yeah, he's fleeing with his villagers. So let's keep cruising. And um, we do have our religious characters coming. They might be able to make it in time to actually like do something with that, with the Sacreds. Because Japan might just be turtling too hard. We'll have to see. Um... But, yeah, I'll explore that option. All right. So the Vils, uh, we want to get as close as possible. Because this is a gigantic map, I think. So he is just in the corner here. Um, all right. So I think this is going to be okay. This, like, open field here. So let's keep pushing. Yes, yes, good. Progress is progress. A little bit of trade coming in. Uh, that is a keep that I did not mean to drop. So let's get that stone back. So it looks like I get the bounty even when the camels uh, get the kills here. Some elite samurai have now arrived. So I think they're a little unsupported, so should be fine. All right, so let's actually drop down and keep first. To make sure we don't lose the ground. And take down the samurai, keep pushing. And thankfully we got here pretty damn quick. We got here real, real quick. All right, there is still a lot of gold over here. Wow. On the way. Uh, what? The sacred? 
Okay, so let's set this up. Get all of you guys here. And um, it's an option to try... Uh, let's see. You have my word. I will let you cap if it works. Alright, so we're making good progress here, I would say. Five and seven, and then this is going to go to five now. And uh, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. So be it. Alright, so we're making uh, in way here. And we have our new infrastructure being developed. So let's get another cistern and set that up here. And we can go ahead and start connecting him. The good old, uh, good old uh, complicated faction here. So that's going to give us a lot of mercs that we can make for free. And we're actually getting making a dent in his base. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't really care too much about the sacred. If if, if my partner isn't going to be allowing it, I would I would legitimately honor my word though. Um, all right, so this is a little scary here. Here comes the Japan, and let's get some Varangians popping out. And they should have fast production speed, so we're going to let our army fight here. And now we've run into our first wave of resistance, so that is a little bit thunderbolts and lightning, very very frightening here. All right. So Grenadiers should counter their army, like, re reasonably well. We're going to be just going through olive oil super, super hard here, though. Very, very hard. Yeah, so we get pushed back. We got a little bit of time. Focus on him. Yeah, so he, you know, when people, like, say they're not going to delete, I think I think it's totally worth it to try and punish him, you know? They're like, all right, you're not going to delete. You lose the game. Have fun. Then eventually next time, I think people learn that they're going to want to delete. Um, all right, so let's get this and uh, let's go here and we can set up stables All right, so that should be an adequate pushing force and then we just need some siege workshops and we can get some uh, some do host rams over um, Over in the front. Yeah, so he might try and stop us here. Oh, but he's got Ozutsu. Shit He's gonna be able to push us back. We do have the uh, grenadiers coming. Yeah, let's uh, delete some of these guys and um, I might need to delete some of my trade well, Maybe we hold here. Maybe yeah, we do have we do have a lot of mercs popping out in a second. And the Chinese grenadiers are pretty mean. All right, let's start targeting these guys down. Do a little bit of berserking. Grenades keep attacking. If I can like hold my ground here, that's gonna be pretty uh, pretty big. Ozutsu are going to keep sniping. Let's see if we can repair it. Come on, keep that thing up. We don't we don't want to give any ground here. Oh, they're so nasty. Riflemen killing keeps. It's unheard of. Okay, killed many Ozutsu, same. He's fighting on two fronts, clearly. Um, Alright, so let's just plop down another keep here. So why the hell not? Okay, cavalry probably want to make some uh, siege infrastructure here, but let's go build this. And he is just, like, sending units out. Dude, he's probably just been gold cackling for so long. This is going to be rough. Alright, he's going for the keep again. Let's see if we can snipe the Ozutsu and have a couple of you guys go for them, too. Chinese Grenadiers, hopefully will carry us into the sunset here. Help us clear. Um, yeah, we just have to grind and hope the Ottomans are uh, making progress because this is not going to be easy. All right, so another keep is up. Let's go ahead and get the Mangonel placement. And now we have the Merc Wave coming. Um, probably need to delete a lot of my traders as much as I don't want to. I think, uh, I think we're going to need the supply for the fight. All right, so we drove him back here, which is good. And then next up, uh, we, build a, uh, we could build another cistern here. Uh, we could build it, like, probably back a little ways. We need some siege workshops is what we really need. Because all we have are these three cannons right now. All right, so we're able to stop them, sort of. And you guys, we want to get siege workshops, so let's do this. And now we're moving up to do battle with the Japanese once again. So Vrangians, it's basically going to be Vrangians, Horsemen, and all of Mercenaries. Because we can make, um, we can make freaking you know, grenades all day. Our economy is still way too fat, though. It's way too fat. What is what is our yeah you know, this even doing? I mean, I could cut the trade off for now. Let's actually yeah, we'll cut it off for now. It's fine. I need to get more um, more military, or else there's no chances here. And the Rams are coming. Uh, we can get the yeah, man. Our Rams cost gold too. Oh, it's rough. All right, so troopers are on the way. This cistern did not get fully connected, so we're missing out on the production speed here. Like Byzantine production speed is pretty nuts. It's pretty insane how quickly you can produce units with them. All right, let's make some rams. And the grenade launcher should help us win this fight in this choke point here. Let's keep making the olive boys. Any progress? 
I am slowly going. He's gonna run out of steam eventually. But you can see how the olives can, um, the olives can be very good. Like, you can definitely do some work with them. Uh, can we get this here? Perfect, perfect. And that's gonna, um, that's gonna give us exactly what we need. All right, so let's blast down this wall. We have the royal cannons from before. Okay, let's get you guys to blast these. Oh, it's the the rocket from the from the keep. Okay, it's fine. And uh, let's knock down this palisade here. Move up, keep fighting. Palisade wall is down, and we can knock this down for good measure. And yeah, Chinese grenades, dude. I think this might be the way to go for the Chinese grenade spam with your olive oil in late game. That gives like you some crazy good armies. Um, all right, so let's keep cruising up. We're both making progress, but we're rapidly running out of time here. Uh, we do have a little bit of gold left, so let's take that. Move this way. Yeah, like the Japanese armies are folding up to our grenades, and we, we have plenty of olive oil, too. Um, the issue being, though, is that... Uh, I don't know. The, the, the Ottoman gentleman, he might still be trading. He might have stopped his trade. I don't know. Okay, we can easily get through this. Having the French Royal Cannons is cool, too. And there is the Japanese keep, so let's knock this down. Keep that progress going. Let's get you. Grenades and Brangians and Spears. Let's move you up. Looks like there's another keep up on the hill here. We can knock this down. All right. So going for the keep. Looks like he's reamassing an army. Hopefully I can get this down here. And the rams should be coming. Yeah, there they are. All right. And we do have a couple of relics laying around, so I should probably try and grab those if I can. And that keep has fallen. Great. Do we have any religious characters left? Uh, we do not, so let's grab some of you. And uh, we can come down and plop like a forward keep like right here. And progress is being made, slowly but surely, man. He's diving my cannons, which is smart. Let's run away with those if we can. Try and drag him through the mud a little bit. Attack here. See if we can save one of these cannons. Villagers coming to drop that keep down, and then one of them can also get a religious building so we can grab those relics, just in case we manage to, you know, win this. And, uh, yeah, progress is happening. Dude, I, I am starting to really, really like the, um... Well, I need the olive oil production. I, my army size is okay. I could cut some off food, I guess, but I'm trying not to be, like, all in here. But I guess we could delete that. Alright, and then you guys get that gold. You guys do this. Like, we're making adequate progress. Our army now is going to be 102. Let's get horsemen. Let's get some bombards and some rams. And, uh, yeah, let's keep having fun, man. He's diving through, but it's like a weird choke point where he can't get to my cannons easy. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, let's repair this. Oh, hello. Keep that cannon alive. And uh, the old rams. Yeah, just keep knocking down gates. You're all good. Relic and Relic. You guys jump on the gold here, which is outstanding. Getting that gold here at this point in the game is huge. And let's just keep moving in. He might he might struggle to hold this. I don't know. I don't know about his situation in his base. Uh, let's grab the bills here. Do this. Pull them up and do another keep drop. I think it's going to be nice. Yeah, he's got a lot of like natural choke points here. This is a little frightening for sure. Okay, Spring Alt's coming. Not too worried about that. Horseman, Brangy and Chads. Knock this down with the Greek fire. I feel like the Greek fire doesn't really do a whole lot that's like super good. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. We're gonna do another keep here to keep him from, you know, re regaining ground on us. All right, so then we move down here. Uh, what's the best way? Probably this way looks better, actually. Hopefully our, uh, our pal is making a little bit of progress too. The Japanese defenders are withering in numbers. You see a couple coming out here every now and then. We're gonna get another keep here and we have a relic. And uh, let's grab this too. All right. So we push here. All right. Are they attacking? Yeah, they are. Great. You guys keep battling at the gate. We got three minutes left. Yeah, he's got a really good deployment for a wonder here. Clearly, I, I think Smeagol tried to stop him and Smeagol died, um, is what I think happened. Because Smeagol's a very, very solid player, obviously. But, um, you know, so is Prime. I think Prime is also Conqueror 1v1. So, um, yeah, he's, he's clearly going to be very scary. Dude, this olive oil bank, though, is huge. I can just literally spam Grenadiers all day. It's, it's pretty nuts. Okay, so we're into his base. We're into the cookie jar now. Uh-huh, let's make rams and bombards and all that sort of good stuff. You guys take down this keep here real quick while we move forward with everything else. All right, so let's start torching infrastructure, make it a little bit harder. We have a tiny bit of time left. I suspect the back, back is very, very entrenched, though. Come on, knock it down. These guys are getting in. 
We've got to be closing in on the wonder. Two minutes left, though. It's pretty tight. I think he's probably... He's likely going to get it, but... We have some chances of, uh, of stopping him here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm seeing the... I'm seeing what Byzantines can do now. In the old FFA. No more Ozutsu. That's nice. I am close. But he's he's fighting valiantly. He clearly clearly had a ton of relics. All right, so let's dive these if we can. Keep these going here. Let's just go hunting landmarks a little bit. We need to send some back here too, because we don't have that much time. So horsemen, let's go. And um, we're gonna send the relics back. So we're diving all these. I don't know if like trying to landmark snipe him is gonna yield much, but you know it could. All right, so how are we looking here? So this is his final hold here. Okay, so we see it. We see homies very close. All right, so we need to just force path. Yeah, screw the landmarks. We got a minute 24. Come on, pathing. Get me there, precious. So how can we get there best? Um, probably just like here. This is a good push, though. You know, this is a good push. Hopefully the autos will have some goodness here. So the Greek fire is going to be on its way. We still have those two cannons from before, which is massive. If we didn't have those two cannons, he would probably get in really efficient. Uh, we wouldn't be super efficient at getting in. All right, so now we move towards the Wonder. Let's see what it looks like here. Let's keep moving. A couple Japanese uh, units there trolling. Okay, let's keep moving this way. And we got the single cannon. And, yep, looks like a wall here. A couple of you guys. I think he just barely holds. We're going to try, but, yeah, I think he's just barely going to get it, unfortunately. Well played. Yeah, Japan's just super busted in FFA. Man, the, like... He probably has, like, 4,000-plus free gold at this point. Well, no, it's only been an hour, so maybe not. All right, so we're going to get to the, the last wall here, but the Ottoman Great Bombards are nearby, but I don't think it's going to be enough. GG, well played, though. Yeah, still a very, very good defense here. I think that was, like, one of those games where um, whoever just got the Wonder down first is probably going to get it, considering there's only three of us left. Pop Relics and the... yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got his free gifts up here, but he hasn't claimed those. It's basically just on the Ottoman Bombard. GG, well played. Good game. That was a good match. Let's see how much freebies he had. I'm curious. Maybe he didn't have a lot. Because, like, the whole... We actually got some good pushing in there. We got some good pushing. So I'm starting to like Byzantines more and more in FFA. I That olive... Like, if you can bank a lot of... Um, you could have killed my floating gate. Oh, that's right. We could have killed this floating gate and that would have just ended him, right? Yeah, we should have landmark sniped. Well played though. You know, it was hidden. It was well hidden. Uh, yeah, so this is all free relics here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, 11. <laughs> oh my God. He had the equivalent of like, like 13 or 14 relics, probably, and then two more up here too. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so nasty. Yeah, really, really nasty, like, maze here. Holy shit. Yeah, GG, well played. Good game, man. He, he had a good hold there. We were both, we were close to getting it. We were close to getting it. The uh, Ottomans seem to have made some good progress, too. But this is really good. The fact that this was a natural wall, if the Ottomans could have gone straight through here, they for sure get it. But um, that terrain was very good. Glad we could team up again. Did nobody attack you? Or did you kill Smeagol? I'm curious about his story here. I do, I, I do know about the Japanese relic bug, but it requires water to do that as well. I killed Chris and Pone. Got it. Yeah, so Smeagol was the chosen one. He needed to keep, he needed to keep Japan in check, but he clearly didn't work out for him. <laughs> it didn't work out for him. Next 1v1 tournament will be soon. Uh, sometime, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. I might put something up today. Or tomorrow's Dune, and then probably the day after will be um, Age. Uh, Japanese forges are not free relics. This landmark spawns a relic every couple minutes, every four minutes, and you can put it inside of a forge, which it counts as a relic, basically. Yeah. FFA games are just first come, first serve. Um, so we are going to do an island one now, because I've been kind of craving some sweet island FFAs. With the new sieves, I want to see, you know, who the lords of the seven seas are going to be. Uh, all right, so let me check here. Pone, did you want to play in the next one? Let me know. Um, all right, so hold on. I can go back and we can check this. I know you might be getting dinner soon because it's going to be long, potentially. So Pone's base. Pone, oh, oh, look at, holy shit, you had a good army. Damn, son, you're getting better at this game. Look at that. So apparently Pwn got landmark sniped and his army was out of position. So I think that's what happened here.
Dark Age Rush shaved Prime from Smeagol at the start. Did he? Oh, why would you do that? Smeagol's playing HRE. HRE is a, fa a fair sieve. They're not going to like pop off too crazy in FFA. Japan, on the other hand, is a dark lord. Like when my Japanese neighbor was begging for, uh, when they were, you know, asking for mercy, I was just like, no, I, you can't have it. Yeah. All right. Prone's about to go pick up some dinner. All right, well, uh, we'll play with an island FFA. And in, if you get back uh, and are done with dinner and stuff, we can then do a, a team FFA. We'll do something fun. All right. Turn islands is super fun. Got to warn people about biz. Uh, yeah, so don't abuse the bug with relics. That's that's all we're going to say on the island because Japan can do it. Byzantine can also make... Yeah, we're not going to do that, obviously. They teamed me. Dude, why would they team the Holy Roman Empire when a Conqueror-level Japan player is sitting in the corner? What is the potato logic in that? Oh, my God. All right. Turn FFA. Let's get it. And um, so this is islands. Join at your own risk. This is going to be an island one. I know some people like them, some don't. Um, but we are going to be doing the islands. All right. Many of the familiar faces. We're going to be continuing our Byzantine uh, play. I want to see how they fare on water with the uh, dreaded olives. All right, no team. And uh, yeah, man, this is going to really change the landmarks, isn't it? Also, I gave Good Chris luck. a chance to be friends, but he Have chose fun. death. Chris Smeagol chose wisely, though. You can't, you can't. Uh, go for it. Go for it. Thank you guys for joining. Two years of uh, two years of memberships, man. It's a long time. Thank you. And thank you guys for your donations earlier, by the way. I know we had a couple come in. Let me uh, check those. We had one from Austin. Super glad to catch us. Yes, Austin. Thank you, man. Really, really appreciate it, brother. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep the good time rolling. All right. So looks fine. Everybody's set on no teams. We have Zhu oh, Zhushi's Legacy is probably really good here. Roos and two Holy Roman with a one Order of the Dragon and one HRE. And then Ezra going really sweaty, going with French. French are like top tier in Island because they can just guild hall whatever they need. Okay, lads. French Treat and Japanese time. Treat. Let's get them. Let's fire it up. <laughs> Let's fire it up. No, it's on invite. Anybody is welcome to join. Uh, Observer is up and reveal on elimination is up. Cool. Fish oil, yes. The fish oil is coming this time. Yes. Turn the 1v1 match was good. Hope you upload some... Slow push at some point. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going to pl start playing English again. Jushi's bonuses apply to their ships. Oh my god, are you serious? The ones where they get the AoE cannon shots? Oh dear god. Okay, so yeah, French is really the arch enemy here. With the guild hall, especially since Ezra is really good. It's going to be a menace. We'll see how this all goes. And, uh, oh, finally guys, we get to use Varangians with building boats. Yeah, that's right. So Byzantine uh, men-at-arms can build boats. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Oh, yeah, baby. Can you buy ships with oil? I actually don't know. Let's see if we can do that. Fish gives olive oil, which is crazy. Oh, that's actually really good for us, right? Yeah, okay. I think I like the uh, Grenadier tech. I think that's probably the way. Although, oh, wait, elephants. Because I could spam mass elephants and like, okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. I don't know why, uh, Sigurder, why it wouldn't pop up. Add me as a friend in uh, in in this game in Age. And from there, we should be able to, you know, get you in lobbies easier. I see a lot of new players, some old players too here. Roos are very good on uh, water too because of the fact that they uh, have the, uh, the trading. They can use the trade at the uh, Golden Gate. And, uh, yeah, good wood economy too. Yeah, the Dramans. Yeah, we're going to use them. I don't, I don't know how good they are. I haven't really played Biz on water, but it should be fun. Uh, after this, if Pwn gets back, we'll do a 2v2v2. Kind of random, but yeah, we'll do that. And uh, FFA tournament sometime in the near future. I don't know when, but yeah. I think I might wait for them. I know there's a balancing pass coming very soon. I think they're going to nerf some of the really busted stuff. I, I don't know if it'll apply to um, FFA, like the FFA issues, but... I have a feeling there's going to be some nerfs to um, Jushis and Japan and a few other civs as well. All right. So where is our gold? Our gold is up here, and our other gold is over there. All right, so that's going to be a good spot for the cistern. 
And uh, we have a very decent island spot. Very, very decent. For the Empire is what he says. I love it. Okay. He's getting into character here. Okay. So three on food is going to be enough to keep a steady villager flow for now. And small island, though. Uh, we need to make sure that our landmarks are, like, not snipeable from the shore. That would be rough. That would be very, very rough. And um, let's come down here, set up some houses on the bottom. I'll try and have, like, a nice-looking base layout this time around. Pwn did really good, actually, in his last match. Yeah, he's learning quickly. I mean, he, he's been playing ranked and shit, you know? I'm, I'm very happy with that, you know? Um, yeah, and he, I think he's almost gold. I think he's, like, silver three or gold or something, and he's just started. Like, it's, it's good. Very solid. All right, so, yes, we can move you back up here for now. It's going to be tricky fitting all the cisterns on the island. It's bad because I can see all water on all sides of my TC. I almost can, yeah. I mean, I think we're all in the same boat, more or less. Nice, safe fishing in the back, so we're going to go do that. And, yeah, fishing gives us olive oil. And I wonder, so you can buy mercenaries from neutral, like, trade posts and stuff. I wonder if it, on, like, coastal trade, you can buy boats. Yeah, this island's good for a wonder. You just pop it down here and then, like, build some cannon towers on the back. It's still not easy to defend, but it's, uh, it's very, very doable. All right, let's get another one of you here. We have the Dock of the Gods going up back there. And we can just kind of chill out, drop these sheep off for now. One relic on the island. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, this, so we have a very, very... I would say this is a solid starting position. Like, very solid. We had a good one last game, too, though. No excuses. It was it was good. But he just beat us to that wonder race. I, I think Prime was able to kill two neighbors very effectively. And uh, and that gave him the freedom to just cackle and save resources. Dude, the fish oil is coming. Yeah, Biz, Biz are my favorite, Sib, though. They're my favorite. Uh, it's so rewarding. So fun to play. All right, so let's get you just hanging tight for a minute. And once we get another turn in here, we should be able to set that up. Um, we could go for the Dark Age Cistern build. Do we have any stone on the island? We do. So I think that would actually be decent. So let's set up another dock here, first and foremost. Yes. And uh, do we have enough for that? Not yet. Okay. So the next villager should. And we'll do some Dark Age Cistern play. We don't need to age up super quickly. So I haven't seen neutral docks produce ships. Okay. So it sounds like somebody has checked it. wonder if we have to worry about being invaded early. Some evil villainous plays. Could be the case. So let's see how much olive oil the ship brings back. Okay, look at that. Yeah, it gathers olive oil. Wow, that's really nice. It's really, really nice. Okay. So the second dock is about to finish. Let's do this. So that, man, you know what? There could actually be some really, really nasty... Um, there could be some really, really nasty uh, olive oil rushes. Like, we just get a bunch of mercenaries because fishing gives us olive oil, and then we can um, we can potentially, like, rush people, like, pretty hard. I'm not going to do that because I think it's still suboptimal, but, um, yeah, that's actually an idea. All right, so give me the turn in. Give it to me, precious. Yes, good. Let's get you down here. Should have a house coming up in just a second, so we should be okay. Uh, docks are in full effect. And, uh, yeah, we're all right. Well, all right. How's life treating you guys? What are your favorite sibs? Let me know in chat who you've been playing in ranked. What rank have you achieved this season? Have you guys achieved your goal? If you want to cheese your way to, to conk, just play Joan of Arc and Ayubids. Or Jujis. <laughs> Those are definitely the best ways to do it. I remember I was on my, my last game before I got um, conquered this season. And um, I was like, I just was like, went to the dark side. I was like, I'm going to play Joan of Arc. <laughs> just, just end me, bro. All right, so let's see how close can we get this without going like right up on the shoreline. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, but it is what it is. All right. Do they gather food and olive oil or uh, the boats? Yeah, both. They get olive oil and food. So it looks like it's eight of olive oil and um, 40 food per run there. Okay, let's do that. I wonder if that would, would this affect my fishing boats if I had a cistern near them? Gather it. No, it's only villagers, so I don't think it would affect my fishing boats. That would be kind of funny if you could, like, park them along the, the shore. Do you do coaching? I'm not good enough for coaching. I'm, like, uh, I, a lot of my fundamentals in this game are not the best. I don't really know the meta. Um, I'm learning it. I wouldn't say I would make a... Like, I could coach on very basic things, but there's way better people you could find for that. Like, way better. Like, find someone who's, like, Conqueror 3 and is, like, a meta master and just go for that. You know, that, that, that would be my advice to you. All right. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we got the double cistern, and uh, we're just gonna set up one more back here. 
Uh, I think that gold is already being affected, so we're going to start jumping on gold now. So we should be able to age up. I got a little bit greedy on the boats. Should have switched over to gold a little bit sooner. But now we have the double sister network, which is great. And um, well, maybe one more on the north side. We can grab those berry bushes to clear off some space. Just bought it last night and played uh, into quest. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that evil, dude. I'm not that evil in this game. I mean, I think it's it's smart to be aggressive in FFA, depending on the circumstances and what sieve you're playing too. Some sieves you just want to mouth breathe in the corner. Like if you're playing French, like yeah, it's a very viable strategy to just mouth breathe in the corner um, and let everybody else kill each other and then just plop down a wonder with your guild hall. Like yes, but yeah, some sieves you need to be aggressive. You know, it really there's there's a lot of variants with it. All right. So we do have the fire ships. What unique text do we have? Yeah, the heavy drum on. So leave Greek fire on the surface of the ground, they attack. Oh, that's cool. All right, so next up, landmark-wise, Hippodrome is cool. Um, I think we're going to go for the Grand Winery, though. Yeah, I want I want to be the Olive King. I want to be the King of Olives. Although that, that like, there's nowhere, like, really safe here. I think I'm going to go back here. Um, even though it's not next to the berry bushes, it's safer. Yeah, I want to I wanna be the, the Lord of Olives in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and get this upgraded when we can. So we need Feudal Age for that. So people are now reaching Feudal. Yeah, Triumph, the, the Hippodrome would be good, but like, yeah, I think just getting the augmented olive income on our island is going to be nice because, you know, there could come a point where fishing is going to be a little bit ugly for us. So I think, uh, yeah. If, if you're, like, looking into coaching, I could probably, like, f hunt down some top-level players I know and see if they're interested. So you could shoot me a message. I know some of those guys, so... Um, yeah, that would be a little bit better. I do have fishing, yes. But this, um, if I can also snag some relics, I can drop them in there. Um, the Hippodrome, I mean, Triumph is good and all. I'm going to go Cistern, uh, this one, the first Cistern. The one that gives me, um, I should probably be expanding onto an island too. I've just like been such in like a turtle mindset here. All right. So we're going to go like see if we can put a foothold down on an island. And we'll keep the houses going here on the bottom, looking good. And we'll go see if we can get this. Castle Age, uh, obviously, is on the horizon, too. We can go Castle. I'll take a bet that you never need that food landmark. Yeah, you could be right. You will find out on today's episode. All right, let's go jump here and get the scout going there, too. You guys keep doing wood. Let's update that and uh, call it a day. All right, so you head there. We have level 3 sister network. Um, yeah, this would be the wonder spot. Although, man, the boats could really press that pretty hard. Yeah, once we lumberjack this, like, I think a wonder, like, right here, when that gold's gone, would also be very good. Yeah, we, we're not going to have too many cav. We're going to be going for Angians. We're going to be role-playing the uh, Vikings here. All right. So we're already about ready to go to the next age, which is funny. But now let's go see if we can settle on the island. Uh, I'm probably going to do the sister into the first hill, just so I can get the healing on my um, Varangians when they're doing their invasions and stuff, which is going to be super fun. And uh, yeah, I should be scouting. I was having too much fun chatting with you guys. Sorry. Um, all right. So sister into the first hill. Um, could go back here. Yeah, that's an okay spot. Okay, so we see one neighbor. Um, we have docks near us. And um, yes, I think we're, we're all set. So we're going to be getting a very fast castle here. And as far as base defenses go, we can immediately grab this relic too. And uh, probably going to want to get a priest from the base. Yeah, so let's get a lot of wood. I need to colonize one of these middle islands. At, at least get a foothold here. And then we have another cistern, so let's grab this. That's going to be a level 4 cistern, and let's run onto the island. You in the meantime, I think I accidentally did another gigantic map. Alright, so let's set up a tower here. That relic is nice. Any relics we can get are going to be much appreciated, obviously. Get the food going. Olive oil is popping off, and um, we can get some mercs down here. So let's go ahead and slap you down there. Get some free mercenary units. You guys are going to get that relic, which is great. And the age up is coming. So we're not going to be the fastest age up, obviously, but we will be in good shape. What is Doc's playing? Our neighbor? He's Roos. Okay. So it could be some sort of funny business. Could be an invasion for sure. You never know. All right. So relic. Let's grab that and that. And then the transport ship. We're going to need another one. So let's get a transport ship here. And uh, cool. So now we just kind of keep producing. We do have the... Uh, is that not connected yet? It will be in a second. So we're going to have the Good Sister Network. And from here, we're going to go with the Varangians because they're my favorite unit on the roster. So, and guys, Varangians can build transport ships. So when they like land and conquer, they can um, they can definitely live it up. All right, so one relic is going to be grabbed. This transport ship is going to come down here. Perfect. And that's one. So the olive oil is going to start flowing. Like the Salmon of Capistrano. 
yes. Uh, upgrades, yes. And mercs, what do we want to go? So Grenadiers, I'm going to go for the elephant contract. Because <laughs> I think that's going to be really fun if we can get that. Um, we do have you, so let's go scout this island here. We see yellow, we see a trade post. Okay, so I can't get any aquatics mercenaries there. Yeah, I think I accidentally have the map settings on Gigantic today, which is tricksy, tricksy. So one relic here. Let's go ahead and get a little arrow slit, because why not? And um, you guys get back on that. Start making some Brangians, and let's get you guys upgraded. Ghulams aren't bad either. We can do, like, Ghulams, like, hanging out with the Brangian boys. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Get spears, because we are battling potentially Rus. And, uh, yes, the great exploration is underway. All right, so a lot of food at this point, which is to be expected. Lumber is going to be a priority here soon. Could go 2 TC, but I think we're all right. I think we're all right with it. And we're going to grab this relic. And we see purple here. We see some big islands. Is this scout? Like, what is this island? Is there, like... You guys seeing this? This is like the weirdest shit, man. All right, so the mercenaries should be popping out soon. We can make some Kashyyyks um, out of the gates. They ain't bad. This is... Are you guys seeing this very strange island here? It's like there's there's like a... It's just like all all wood. I don't know, man. It's strange. Lima tonight. Let's start getting some of those bad boys. And um, also our docks. We want to get the basic upgrades here and here. Do we want to do the flamethrower ships for now? I think we're all right. Okay, I legitimately think this island is just all wood. I'm starting to starting to feel that way. Yeah, it's very weird. I'm going to appear. Let's go ahead and get some of you and a couple of you. And then get a Merc 10. All right, that should be enough military for this island, I think. And then we can hotkey this and it should be all set. So the Brangians being able to make, uh, make uh, boats is really fun. Okay, so there's some stone on the outcropping of this island, but I think this is just legit like a wood island, guys. Okay, so I'm, I'm rapidly going to run out of space here, I think. Supply block of the gods, my favorite. Okay, we need to come down here. Let's do this, and then this, this, this. Got a lot of villagers here, and uh, as far as gold, we are going to run out on our island soonish. Probably will perpetually drop villagers over there. Rangians are coming, and uh, we'll be out of our supply block of the gods in a second. Okay. Do this, and we can build a cistern up here. And connect it just to get level 5 on our island. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, you run, you, uh, with these guys, man, you gotta, you gotta really, really watch it. Okay, so let's get some ghouloms. Let's get some olive oil going. Let's get that. You guys do your thing. Transport ship. Priest is uh, here, so let's go there, do this, and then we'll go try and ninja some more relics from other islands. Um, holy shit, dude, this map is colossal. Yeah, we're going to build a second TC once we have room here on this island, I think. But for now, we certainly do not. Okay, so that is going. Good. Let's go ahead and get some dramas, the fire ships, because they're just super cool. And um, I think we definitely maybe... Go for some aggression here in a minute. Okay, they're not building this because I'm a potato. And let's go up here and set up another one of you. Yes. Okay, so Dox has reached Imperial Age, which is very, very scary. That's our neighbor here. So he's getting real crunk. The Brangians are here. And uh, they can build transport ships if we want to. We have a couple of the flamethrower ships. Ouch. Uh, gold is being hit hard. Let's go ahead and grab some of you guys and jump on gold here. Okay. So, Vrangians, uh, we have you guys. Can they not build boats? Wait, I thought Vrangian Guard could build boats. Did they change that in some sort of a patch or something? Oh, there they are. Okay, that was weird. I was like, it was not able to do it. Oh, yes, this is so cool. This is so cool. If I, I don't care if I lose this game now. Everything is worth all right, so we've discovered this, and uh, yeah, we have this this weird island here, and Yellow's going to take that down. Okay, so yeah, we've spent a lot of resources there. I think it's going to be worth, though. We got two relics, and um, the Roos are now coming to corral us, so we need to do this. All right, so let's pull back, get the fire ships here, get the dock upgrades, and uh, yeah, the Roos Dread Fleet is on its way. So we might have just, like, definitely done the wrong strategy. Let's get the flamethrower boats coming and get you guys peeling down here. 
In the meantime, you guys can go set up some lumber there, and, um, cool. So you guys load up into these boats. Perfect, and perfect. The flamethrower boats tried their best, but, yeah, we've just been overwhelmed on the shore. It's pretty hard. So probably need to build some siege workshops just to get some, like, spring alds and stuff. And you guys hit load here. Get in there, and let's go. All right. So he went for coastal punishment, and I am going to go for, uh, I'm going to go for some land action. And see, see how this exchange of uh, ideas works between us. The cultural exchange that's about to happen. He is imperial, though, so he probably has Spaskaya on his island, which is going to be very nasty. You can see him coming back here, but we are going to land with a lot. All right, so let's get up here. Uh, this boat is doing the dreaded humping animation instead of dropping its troopers off. Let's run up into the base, run up into the base, run up into the base, and uh, you guys should be safe on the shores. So let's start making some rams. And uh, yeah, we can just start going after buildings and houses and all that sort of good stuff. So we are we are now officially an island rat. Um, so we're gonna just hit wood however we can. And we can make rams, so let's do that. And go after houses. So we will go to supply block houses here. So we do get a weird invasion, but it, it came at a great cost because we didn't build a navy to defend, right? So that was unfortunate. That is going to be going down. We're on houses, and um, yeah, we're getting punished aside from that. So let's go supply block all of his houses here, see if that will work out. He's camping our shores, just cackling super hard. Whoever said the Olive Garden landmark wasn't going to matter was wrong, huh? All right. So yeah, torch all the houses, try and supply block them a little bit, and uh, yeah, and then we go from there. Cool, man. It's ugly, but it's going. All right, so let's get you on the TC here. Try and inhibit the villager production. We did lose a full ship. The mighty, uh, they, will be, they will be remembered in the halls of Valhalla. That is for sure. Uh, all right, so we do have the healing on these guys. He's probably going to have some Streltsy out soon, I would imagine. Yeah, I would wager that is going to be the case. Let's go down here, make sure he's not building too much. We do see his boats. We are very, very behind now, but it's okay because, you know, such is life. We're going to set up the Olive Gardens, and let's go down here. Start drinking the big gulps. So charge that. Yeah, look at them. They're, they're all gulping. Okay, so he's got the mangoes there. So he's trying to lure us to the shores. My guys have passive healing, which is really funny. So I can definitely do some devastating damage. And let's get on the bills with some of these guys. Let's go berserking. So that will cleave villagers. Yes. So he's getting, uh, you know, hit pretty hard here, too. It's, it's not a one-way street, that's for sure. All right, so these guys need to run back, and we just need to make sure we don't lose all of our troopers so we can build more rams and stuff. But his TC is going to go down here, and then we can pull back up here and build some more rams. And the Olive Gardens are going, so that's good. The farms are going to be really ugly because I'm kind of building them in a bit of a panic here, to be honest. But, um, yeah, we're going to build more rams. And, uh, yeah, do we have any gold on the island we can grab that's in, like, kind of a safe spot? All right. This is pretty funny for sure. He's going to lose his TC here. So the TC is going to go down. Yeah, that was a weird, weird exchange that we had. He's definitely ahead of me because water is just so much more powerful, right? But, um, yeah, and our eco is like in the pits of hell at the moment. All right. So let's go here and here and pop the uh, cistern. So all these guys are going to heal up. He's like literally missing half of his island. He does have the Imperial Armory there. So we're going to go here and build another ram. Good. He's camping that side. E extra evil. Um, we need to get like find a way to get some spring alts if we can. That would be ideal. Okay, let's fan out. Let's fan out. He'll, he'll, he'll keep battling it out. Let's move this this way. And uh, you guys can head down here. Maybe he thinks he's safe now, so we'll, we'll dive on these. If we kill his, his mangoes here, he's in, he's in huge danger. Yeah, he's, he's running for the shores. All right, let's take down some bills. Dude, the Varangian, the Viking invasion is here. All right, uh, we'll start gulping to heal our boys. And yeah, he's just trolling my coast, as expected. Uh, we need to get some, like, anti-boat tech, so I guess we'll just get some springs if we can. Okay, so let's get that. Start getting some spring alts coming out. That has been taken down, so let's go get the Golden Gate now and just kind of keep poking back in. Let's use the uh, healing. It's so funny. Okay, come on, boys. This is actually kind of working. Like, look at this. 
We might actually be able to just landmark Snipe Homeboy here. Let's make some more of these. And this uh, Spearman here can uh, hopefully keep poking away. Let's split up so the uh, AoE doesn't hit all these things. And I think he's finally shut down my gold. So that's not going to happen for much longer. Okay, so that's another ram. We still have our Vrangians on the island, which is all we need. This is hurting pretty bad, though. This is hurting real bad. We have a spring ald? We do. So the spring ald can come and shoot at the coast here. And uh, can we make another one of these? I don't know. We need to make sure nothing nothing comfortable is happening here. All right. So still being trolled. Two more to kill, I know. If only our freaking things didn't cost gold, we would be fine. We would, we would have killed them already. That's like one big downside of these guys. It requires at least one flask. Okay. Okay. So he's running. We got the Greek fire. He's he's fleeing. Oh, yeah, we're going to get one of these. So let's go for the houses here. And he's going to go. So let's pull back. We want to keep these guys alive on the island. His eco is sucking pretty bad right now, too. We're grabbing a lot of gold here. We could set up a keep, maybe, on one side. This is just, like, the most haggard shit. Do you know how strong the other people are in the game right now? They're probably just, like, dark wizards at this point. All right, so can we make any uh, mercs? Yeah, we can, I guess, but it doesn't even... I feel, I feel like saving the olive oil is just going to be more important here. All right. So let's grab you guys. We still have the wood on this island, which is funny. Um, he's got some Streltsy out. He may have stabilized here. Okay, I think he's stable. So now we need to just focus on stabilizing ourselves. We got our lumber economy back online. We have a couple springs. Um, so let's get those. Move them over here. Yeah, like both of our bases are in shambles now. Like hardcore. All right. So do we have enough for a keep? Not yet. Let's build this. Try and secure the gold. Um, we have the olives. So I guess we just start making mercs now. Let's just make some ghouloms and stuff. All right. So blast here and here. Get the TC going. Trade into a second TC, likely. Should be able to do it. Villagers are tanking those shots like champs. Prepare that. See if we can. One boat's going to go down. Just one. Those roost boats are no joke, dude. Can you reach me? I don't think so. Cool. All right, pulling back. We have our little island outpost. The Frankians tried their best. We're going to have to hire the mercenaries now. The mercenaries are going to have to deal with most of these threats. And uh, let's grab you and you. And is there any big gold we want to secure? Hmm, maybe like right here would be good. Yeah, let's go down here and see if we can secure that. But it's going to be hard, though. He does have a couple boats camping down there. All right, so that is going to be most of our stone, although ooh, he sees it right now. Okay. How much stone do we have on this node? We still have 6,000, so I guess building the keep here is going to be worth. Yeah. All right, let's pop that down. Hopefully it'll be enough, and we can get our uh, get our business back online. We have the two, the two relics, which is cute. You guys get on gold, and now we need to sell some olive oil. Um, buy some stone and get a second TC up here. It's like we're getting real, real desperate. All right, so these are fishing boats. We just need to survive. I mean, we did good damage, but he definitely came out ahead. Our haggard Vrangian invasion wasn't uh, everything that I thought it would be. Um, we're still at sister in level three, which is great. So now we have this. And uh, we should be able to mine gold adequately, but we probably need to focus on lumber. You guys do this and this. And we're just going to chill. Yeah, the winery ended up being good, but that's just because we went for a haggard land invasion. <laughs> and it failed. Um, we're still castle age. Everybody else is imp. So let's just start selling and, you know, build our imp landmark here. We're going to have to build it probably in the base. I'm just going to sell olive oil too. He's got an attack ship. I think our keep should be able to fend it off if he gets close. Let's see. Oh, sprint, wild spring all down the coast. Okay. Let's keep shooting here. Looks like it's going to go down. Let's get our spring all there. And for our Imperial Landmark, I don't know what we do. I'm definitely a potato here. I could die, like, very soon. If somebody, like, who's strong and hasn't been, like, in combat the entire time attacks me, dude... Just dead. Straight up dead. Um, Alright, foreign engineering company all day, because that will give us good artillery. But the problem is, where the hell do I build it that isn't going to have problems here? I think we got to delete these and then build it a little bit tighter into the base. Okay. And you set that up. I am but an island creature now, dude. I am just the goblin on the island. But we have infinite, um, we have infinite olive oil. So there is that. 
you know, that's going to be nice for us. I'm deaf and island rat now. Yeah, I'm I'm not having a good time here. I mean, I'm having fun, but this is this is not good for us in the game. Uh, all right, sell some more olive oil. Buy this and this. Buy some stone. I think I'm gonna go triple TC here. Try and grab that. And uh, no, like I getting there's I I don't know the other islands like are all being contested. I just have to be like helms deep on my island and hope I can survive. The Rus economy. I mean, we did a little damage, but it wasn't that much. The foreign engineering company is now up, so that means we can start getting some uh, some royal cannons for free, basically. Uh, some olive oil. So the olive garden is is back in business, baby. And let's see if we can resecure some navy. Yeah, his base got hammered too. He's he's talking about it. Yeah. Certainly good times all around. All right. So going to get another TC here. Um, we need to reconnect our aqueduct system. So that one is offline. This one is possible to build. And we can also get another one up top too. And try and rebuild our good old cistern network. Yeah, not the best spots, but you know, it is what it is. All right. So five, and we get you and you. Let's go to the foreign company, build nest of bees. We're just going to spam out a bunch of our artillery, yeah. The water is being rebuilt, yes. The great empire is, is going to be back on its feet soon. Yeah, and we have olive oil, right? Like, we're good. We can just we can just kind of bask in the olives for a while and uh, hang out. Get some more olive economy going. But we're going to get, hopefully, some boats back here in a minute. Let's move our artillery up to the coast. Um, mercenaries, I can't quite get the elite contract yet, which is okay. We do have a keep here. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, he's got cannon ships though, so I feel like he's just gonna like own us here. Let's blast these if we can. That those royal cannons like one shot that boat, which is great. There's another one down. Those are just fishing boats though, so yeah, obviously it's it's gonna be. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's do this and this. Yeah, so we are we are in very very tough position. I need somebody else to maybe attack him and take advantage of the fact that I'm a corner rat. We did have this happen before. Okay, he's got his his boats there still. So let's pull you guys back here. Take you down to this side. Where is he attacking from? Dear God, dear God in heaven, I'm being banished back to the island. All right, so that keep is not going to hold, and we need to just retreat straight up. So let's get you guys back. Um, you can come down here and just clear out this deer camp for now. Sure, why not? And our cannon can just hopefully uh, range those. Okay, it does one-shot his ships. And we just need to stay out of range and keep a couple of bills to repair. Okay, so foreign engineering company does not have enough quite yet. He's going to come with his fleet. He's clearly, his, he clearly didn't get damaged that badly by all of those engagements we had. Uh, foreign engineering company, cannon is 900. There's another boat down, so we got two boats. And um, we'll get another one here. There's another one. I think each of these shots is like killing a boat. Okay, we didn't lose a, any eco, which is good. And we do have a lot going there. And uh, wood needs to needs to be prioritized, though, for sure. All right, let's do this. And get you guys back on wood. The Dread Legion is here. But eventually, you know, we're going to have we're going to have infinite free armies in a way. What the hell happened? Are these all of these olive fields are not being worked. Okay. Well, it's good to clear off the deer anyways, right? Okay, so let's get the docks. Um, probably need to build another cistern in a safer area. Uh, I don't need a truce because he's going to get attacked by somebody else eventually. And people will arrive to my island and be like, oh, oh, it's like that here. This isn't good. And they'll probably won't attack me, I don't think. I have nothing to provide anybody, like literally nothing. So I think we're fine. All right, let's do this. Try a little sneaky sneaky. I have some fun ideas here. Um, docks are coming back. Cool. So let's get the fishing boats. All right. And we have the double royal cannons. Yeah. So his early gambit worked way better than mine. <laughs> his, uh, his naval rush was definitely uh, a bullying play compared to mine. My Varangian invasion almost worked, but it wasn't quite up to par. On the bright side, we still have a ton of gold on our island. So... We're going to try and grab that if we can. All right. Let's get this dock here. Get you guys um, to come down here. And we're going to we're gonna do this. Yeah, we do have a boar, but like I'd rather just go for the other stuff here. All right. So the foreign engineering company um, is not at the ready. We'll have a transport ship popping out in a moment. Looking good. Let's grab some stone while we can. Probably 
like a really like tight keep to our base would be smart. I don't know. All right, let's mark you guys and get you guys in here. So get in, get in. We're going on an adventure, boys. Holy shit, what's this? Okay, the, the Dread Roos have returned. And we're going to head across here and uh, try and get a little something going there. All right, so let's get the cannons and the artillery to move up and go see if we can hammer that. Eventually, you know, we will be the thorn in, in the side of the entire world. You just wait. You heard it here first. All right. So let's do this. Have you guys go there, which is great. And the artillery is good. So we look at that. It's, it's just, you guys remember that one Ottoman game I won that was like three hours long where I was just this rat? I feel like I'm getting those vibes from this game. You know, like we're just going to be this like island gremlin that just like finds a way to live. All right, let's get into the Royal Cannon. And uh, let's take our military, gather up here. This is great. Hopefully they'll make some progress and let's go do a little bit of scouting. Yes, we do have the boar. We have the, we have the pity boar. All right, so hopefully our artillery corps will get it done here. We basically have no military production. This island's very small. It's very, very small. Okay, so he's fleeing. He's bravely fleeing. Um, let's go here. We need to like extend our olive branch to all these different islands here and see what can get done. I don't suspect we're going to be able to get like a good navy again anytime soon, but we just need to survive. That's basically it. We're we're in for full survival mode now. Man, I have like nowhere to build infrastructure. This is rough. All right, so cannons start shooting away. I'm gonna target my cannon, he might, but we'll repair it because we have repairs. And look at this. I can do this all day. <laughs> I can do it all day, baby. That's right. He's gonna have to land and uh, attack me if he want if he really really wants it. All right. So just so we don't get killed by a land invasion, I'm gonna set that down there. And uh, let's start getting some of these. You guys can set up some more docks. So we'll do a couple and um, just get you guys. Yeah. Sending the old fishing boats. Rude tower. Yes. Okay, so it looks like our, our scout ship didn't do too well. We got that, which is outstanding. You guys can polish this off. We are Imperial Age, so maybe I should get the upgrade on my gunpowder units. <laughs> Man, my eco is so bad. Hard countered, I know. Definitely not. No, he's in a he's in a much more commanding position. All right, team. We're here. If he wants to come over here, you know, he's going to have to work for it. It ain't going to be free. Let's make some Varangians just in case, you know, that shit gets wild on the island. Maybe he'll realize I'm not too much of a threat. I don't know. Maybe he'll he'll keep coming here. Well, you don't want to, like, leave someone sitting, though, too. All right, let's get a uni here. We're going to get some fishing boats. We got this in the middle, which is great. So that gives us some sustainable wood. Like, having a presence on this island is super important. All right, foreign engineering company. Let's get another royal cannon. Could start getting some hui hui pals. Let's get a manganel emplacement because it's awesome. And um, you guys need to go and let's clear these berry bushes off. You know, that's going to be, I think, something nice. Um, transport ship. Do we have one on the far side? We do not. So let's go ahead and go down here, build a dock, and do this. I'm just like sweating bullets that a land invasion is going to come. Let's get our Vrangians elite because they can always build their little boats and, and go party, right? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. That's right. Yeah, I can do the outpost buildings. I, that, you see, I play Byzantines all the time in 1v1, but I always neglect to get that. Yeah, so you can build houses super uh, quick with the Byzantines, and they work as, like, outposts. It's really fun. So you'll see the upgrade coming through in a second. Oh, no, I destroyed all of, all of gardens. You know what's really funny, actually? So I'm allergic to a couple things in life. Um, legitimate allergies. I'm allergic to dairy products, apples, and um, olive trees. I'm allergic to olive trees in real life. It's hilarious, even though my ancestry is Italian. Um, Mediterranean. I have some Mediterranean ancestry as well. Um, all right, so let's get all this. Get those olive gardens going nice and strong. And uh, looks good. So yeah, we're, we're happily fishing here, and we got the cannons so we can defend from the shore. Let's get another royal cannon here. This is looking good. Wood is like spice, you know, if we can just control this, we're going to be good. Uh, huh. 
So uni upgrades, let's get army tactics. Uh, so our Vrangians can be cool. We want to get probably some more military buildings here. And I'm mainly going to be going for Vrangians. We're doing like a very flavorful build here, which, you know, I think could be good too. Let's get the artillery movement speed. And I think the Roost player is busy with other things. He might come back and just kind of like stomp me. Every so often, I think that's like how he likes to play. Like if I poke him, he comes back. He's like, all right, Turin. We got, we got to show you this again. No, no. The thing is, I can still eat dairy. I don't have any life-threatening allergies. If, if I eat dairy, it's just like for like a day, I'm just going to like have a stuff. I'll have a stuff he knows for like two or three days if I eat dairy. Like it, it just, oh, look at the outpost giving me the vision. Yeah, I can like see the boats coming. That's really cool. Uh, allergic to dairy. Yeah, I'm not lactose intolerant. My stomach can handle it. Yeah. Um, all right. So we need to get you. Let's build this. We need to start getting all the upgrades. So let's go ahead and do dialectus here. We have level five cistern, including the first cistern. And uh, let's just kind of keep getting the free artillery, man. Those free French cannons. Uh oh. The roosts. The roosts are coming back for their uh, for their, their 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 seasonal punishment of the Byzantines down here. How dare he, dude? We're gonna we're gonna show him that these Byzantines have teeth now. You know. Uh oh, what's this? Yeah, we need to we need to avoid that. We ain't we ain't going down easy. Okay. Let's get the bombards. That's right. Look, you better run now. We we can fight back. We're not helpless unless we get attacked from the other side, in which we are helpless. Okay, he might be able to get us here. Hopefully our villagers are okay. Okay, so we're gonna cannonball him. It looks like most of his fleet's on the other side, or at least a portion of it. Which is fine. And upgrades, did we get that? Dialectus. Yeah, we want to get all the upgrades, basically. So hopefully those will happen quickly. Let's go get on the olive farms. And um, we can get some more nest of bees in there, too. Okay, here he comes. So we're going to move to the shore. We, we don't want to lose that fishing economy that's giving us a ton of olive oil. Probably want to get the uni upgrade for gunpowder. Cannons, let's go. Oh, yes. We will fight from the shores. Okay, he's going this way. It's fine. The cannons should be able to trace with him here. Get you guys online. And, uh, yeah, we got we got our little tree patch, which is great. If he doesn't have one of those, then we're, we're okay. Let's go over here. Cool. So I feel like we're kind of, like, okay now to an extent. Not the worst thing in the world. You know, we're, we're hanging in there. Let's get some more Vrangians. And uh, we can go ahead and get our boats here. Could build some towers, but his cannon ships destroy them so quickly that it just doesn't feel like it's worth. We're going to start getting naval upgrades, so eventually we can do a big naval switch and start pressing that way. All right. Let's get our boats. Let's do this. Attack up this way. He killed a couple docks on the south side. It's fine. Upgrades. We've taken down his fishing ships. <laughs> All right, cool. So you guys get that, and then eventually we're going to try and transport them over to another island. So let's get another dock here. Hey, how's it going? We're playing a little Byzantine island action, which has been really fun, actually. I'm having a blast with this. We have the Olive Gardens of the Gods. If we get a little bit deeper in, we can eventually build, like, a keep and a TC in there. And hopefully be okay. And, like, have that nice and secure. Hell yeah, Varangians, let's go. And uh, let's get some more royal cannons. We're spending all of our olive oil on artillery, which is going to make it very hard to invade us. Okay, transport ships. Get on gold in the meantime. Purge the gold off the island so we can move on and go somewhere else. No, I'm good. We're, we're really not in the worst shape. We're, not, we're probably not in the worst shape in the entire game. I feel like there's someone who's probably worse off. Like, we have wood on a secondary island, which is very, very cost-effective, right? So we are going to grab you guys, turn in, and uh, perfect, let's head this way, and we are pop -capped. lovely. All right, let's set up another house here so we can keep vision on him. Come on, give me the transport ship. All right, so heading over here, we're going to go keep chopping our way in. Hopefully it'll be nice and secret, nice and safe. Uh, Roost boat's coming again, so we're going to go demolish them with our royal cannons, which is hilarious, and drop here and here. <laughs> and you guys just get the last of the wood off the main top land here. Have fun. This is, this is what they get for coming to my shores. The olive oil is flowing. It's flowing hard. Uh, we need to go scout more and see. Is there any, like, ways we could trade? Probably not. Um, down here. Maybe, like, otters will be my homie. 
Otters. You must unite. <laughs> Just the janky politics here. All right, let's go ahead and get Siege health because that's really big for us. And if he decides to, like, cut me off wood, he can. That's the problem here. And then that's going to suck pretty bad. So we're just going to get as much as we possibly can and just hope for the best. Uh, we are purging the gold off this island. Let's grab a bunch of you villagers. What is our eco right now? 112? Is he really going to invade me? Oh, shit. Look at that. What has he got there? Strelzi and Mangos? Okay. Well, we actually have a land-based army here, so we can uh, we can go ahead and do this and this. Uh, let's get the Brangians going here. You guys can go here and here. Uh, dive back. We do get a big nest of bees shot, and yeah, so we are getting good damage so far. So we need to do this. Keep the nest of bees shooting in these guys. Do that. All right. Let's go berserking and do the uh, sister under the first flask. All right, or whatever the hell it's called. We will drive them from our shores. No, be gone, spawn of darkness. That's right. Go back to the pits from whence you came. <laughs> All right. I was a little, I was sweating bullets there, for sure. That was looking to be a little bit scary. Alright, so the Brangians were able to hold successfully. Um, looks like there's still a random ass spring back there. We gulped that water super hard. We did. It's a good thing I built like a standing army, because if I didn't, man, that would have been just awful. Alright, so let's uh, delete these ghouloms. They keep screwing- Oh no, I deleted all the troopers! Oh, that was a big misclick. Oh well. I was trying to delete the ghouloms, but... The bronze plays. Okay, they'll be back in a second, though. And you guys, in the meantime, um, what do we want to do with all these idle bills? Let's just load them up and try and get onto the islands here. And let's get some more transport ships. Um, as far as this goes, somebody is trolling us there. So we are in. We've gotten, like, deeper in here. Let's do that. I don't know why he's going after me. Maybe he wants blood. I don't know. That was a solid invasion force too, but invading is always very difficult. Alright, so how are we looking here? No! Why are you like this? Why are you like this, otters? I'm an island rat, leave me be! Alright, so we need merc shops. Otters, I am trapped in corner with nothing. I'm trying to let him know what's going down here, but um, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to buy it. Okay, you guys go here. Let's drop this. Maybe we can get... You can get some peace here. I don't know. And um, in the meantime, I think we just have to go like all in on the Olive Garden here, guys. And just get like only olive oil units, because that's all we're going to get. We just got to watch out for invasions as well. Um, we do have, like, temporary peace of sorts. Yeah, villager count is l super low now after we lost them there. No surprises. Um, do we have any more wood on the map? We do. Uh, Tithe Barns? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go for olive oil right now. And we need to get the elite contracts too, so let's just sell this. Sell some resources, sell some resources, and get the elite contracts. So we can get the elite mercs, and, um, we can then, uh... Just have you guys butcher whatever trees are left on the island, which isn't much. If I get shut out of the middle, dude, we're, like, just done for. Probably. That's, like, the one thing that's going to keep us afloat. All right, so we got the mercenaries. Uh, going to definitely spam out some elephants. And let's see this. Is he going to try and land on me again? I don't think so. So we need to repair all this. Let's get the uh, engineering company to make some nest bees and some of these. And we do have fishing in the back, too. A little bit of cute fishing. Always fun. Uh, what do the Dromons cost? Yeah, only 60. We could make flamethrower ships. I don't know how good they are. Never really, like, played around with them. But let's actually try and make a bunch. Okay, demolition ships, uh, archer ships, and shipwrights would just be increasing the health of those. Okay. And you guys are ready, and the elite contracts are coming soon. All right. Limits and I, we could make spears, but he's mainly on um, units that will not care about that. We have been able to keep to the middle. The olive oil is still flowing well. Um, oh, it's elephant in time, dude. Tithe, Tithe Barnes works with those relics, does it? Okay, if that's the case, then yeah, I should I should definitely do that. I wasn't sure if it did. Alright, almost enough. Let's do this. Cool. So the Brangy and Chads are here. Um, upgrades were more or less fully upgraded. We got 35 idle bills who are hanging out and enjoying each other's company. Don't know what that base looks like. I assume it's pretty jacked. And um, we do have the Dromons now, which are really cool. Let's sell some food. Hope we can get enough. 
We need to get a transport ship too and get some more bills over to the middle. Although we already have two ships here, so let's grab these bills and do this and this. Alright, so we have elephants coming, and I think that is going to be the fear of everyone here. It looks like there's some battling going on in the middle, but we're just like, whatever. Let's just see if we can keep our little rat scrap here. And uh, if we want to make some more olive gardens, I don't think we have much room. Sure, we can just go there. Why not? It's, it's ugly, but it'll do, pig. It'll do. You don't talk... You got to believe in the elephants. You got to believe in it. Or else it's not going to work. All right. Hell yeah. Let's go. All right. We got a lot of bills. We need to cut the numbers on them a little bit. Let's get textiles. Why the hell not? And cool. So the Vrangians. This is like the most Viking thing. They're like building battle sh like ships. That's so cool. Oh, I love that mechanic. It's so fun. Obviously not the strongest or anything, but it's uh, it's not terrible either. Just look at these beautiful, beautiful ships appearing here. Alright. So that's going. And uh, we can go ahead and stop this one. And uh, that last one should be finishing here in a second. <laughs> the Greek fire ships are pretty rad too. Hello. All right, he's coming for a little bit of a raid. Always fun. So we're going to send these ships up north to pull in the full navy. Let's see if it does. And then you guys can load up here. Let's watch how terribly this is going to go. And you guys do this. All right. So let's go there. The flamethrower ships are fighting the roo ships with some efficiency. Very, very fortuitous timing for him, for sure. Just like randomly decides to appear there. Let's see if he can like squeak along the side. The Drummond ships are definitely getting their roasting on. Okay, perfect. So let's attack here, and that should draw them the other way. Okay, so we're just going to land here then, because we're not going to make it anywhere else. All right, let's get in there. Hey, you know, it wasn't the invasion we wanted, but it's going to it's gonna do. Because now we are here, and we can start trolling pretty good. Oh, yeah, dude. We're going to get that wood eco. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, so we managed to get in. One keeps going down. He's, he's coming to torch these. Oh, yeah. Talk about a actual good play. That ended up being decent. I mean, he might get one cannon here, but we still have elephants. So we're going to be able to butcher all these bills. Oh, yeah. We just shut down his whole wood eco. Nice, dude. Hey, I'll take it. All right. Let's do the big gulp. Get these bad boys drinking. Gulping and healing. And, uh, yeah, the foreign engineering company. We just need to keep gathering up our olive oil and doing our thing. All right. That is outstanding, actually. That was really good. Yeah, we got a lot of bills, too. But, yeah, we're going to get this keep down, and then from there, it's not going to matter if he gets a cannon. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. The last laugh is on him. All right, let's get our drum on chips in there. And um, we have, like, no gold income, but, yeah, now he's, he's forced off this, like, wood island, which means his wood is going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good, homie. Thanks for the heads up. That ended up being a good drop. That was a good one right there. So now we clear all this off. He is no longer going to be a resident of Wood Island. Frangian guards are just non-existent at this point. We're not going to be able to make much of anything. So we need to get our um, Haggard Sphere units updated. The Lima Tanai. So a little bit of everything. If he lands on my base now, I'm basically dead. Um, but I don't think he's got much in that way. Elephants are going to keep clearing. We have the Dromons, the dreaded, uh, barely upgraded Dromons. Okay. Let's get this Royal Cannon to keep poking here. He's definitely not happy. All right, let's repair this keep if we can. Hey, look at my flamethrower ships. They're trying. His navy is getting worn down a little bit. We have, we have the, the sneaky cannon back there. All right, come on, boys. Uh, let's actually do the uh, the damage reduction and the damage reduction. So that's going to make our keep take 25% less damage. And we do actually uh, kill his entire navy, just about. The Byzantines shall endure. The rat on the island will live. All right, let's make Lemitz and I. Uh, let's make some Kashyyyks, because why the hell not? 
get you guys going here. That's cool how we can switch to whatever we need, right, in that, that given moment. And they've been completely forced off this spot, which is great. So we just kind of keep lumberjacking here. Let's delete this so they have no reason to go over there. And then you guys can pull back this way. All right. Oh, uh, your game against Shushi? Yeah, I will. I'll keep putting up my replays from 1v1, absolutely. Yeah, so obviously no sort of trade going. Um, I've attempted to scout the map multiple times, but every time I do, my force gets harried and just absolutely bullied off the map. So Olive Gardens are going. He's going to shut this down. Nothing we can do about that. All right, let's go up here. We need to make a full army of just troopers and whatever we can. Okay. The Rangians will not be trapped in an island. These men, they will not be marooned. They know how to do it. All right, let's go get a cannon over here. Let's do this. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, the French Royal Cannons are really good. They're they're awesome. All right, team. This is the, the dread invasion you've all been waiting for. The, the elephants. They come. Um, I wish we had more space. But alas, it is the nature of the island FFA. Uh, we did lose that, so it's very Bronzodia. Looks like somebody's attacking him, too. All right. The elephants can do the big gulp, by the way. Check it out. <laughs> Healing elephants. <laughs> yes. Fear my invasion force. Let's go berserking. All right. That invasion did not last long, nor did it go well. Um, but we do have a lot of spears now, which is great. So we got spears. It's cute. Um, 18 bills here. I would love to get gold somehow. It's just not going to happen. We do have a lot of uh, the primaries, though, which is good. Um, down here, we need to get another cistern. We can, so we should have enough stone in a second. And we can rebuild that. We'll make some brain games with what little money we have. What's going on here? Yeah, let's go scout up here, see if we can find anything. All right, so we got some elephants. Um, we did use the fire ships a little bit, but the problem is, is that I went for a land invasion very early, and I then gave up all my naval power. So we kind of paid the troll toll with that. We're very fortunate, though, that we're being allowed to... Um, oh, shit. Jushi bow chads. Yeah, like the Roost player, we might actually straight up outlast this Roost player because he's probably going to get attacked and be perceived as a threat, whereas I'm not. You know, so there is that. Do we have any Brangians in here? Yes, we do. Yeah, we can make some transport ships. It's weird how it doesn't let you do it unless you um, get them out there. Okay, then there's Red up there, RPG zombie. We need to find a way to get some, like, trade. That's, like, the big, big problem here. Okay. This one Brangian Chad is going to build a bunch of transport ships for the army. We are bathing in oil. Yeah, absolutely. The, the oil flows like the salmon of Capistrano. We're going to make some kashiks and uh, see what happens. All right. Okay, so he is coming. Let's go loose formation and attack in. We have a big army. I think we should drive him back to the water. Could be wrong, though. All right, so we've activated the shield wall. Let's do the, uh, the first cistern here and just start torching all this artillery here. Okay, elephant's doing good, so we need you guys, and let's grab these bills and screw it, why not? We're going to need all hands on deck here. And yeah, we do get a good envelop on him. He's losing a lot of artillery, but he may be able to hold just because of the... Um... Yeah, we got villagers being pulled to torch all the artillery. Maybe, maybe we break him back here and see if we can get that. I think all the cannons are gone. We just threw some bills, but I don't think that matters too much. We're mainly olive oil here, so... All right. So let's get some more spears at 100% uh, efficiency. It should be. Probably going to need to start getting some archery ranges if we want to try and actually like fight properly here. So that would be like the equivalent of six archery ranges. He's got, yeah, a couple mangoes left. We could be, we're probably dead here. Um, all right. So I might need to start calling for some help because he's just has full naval haggardness. He's just partying hard. He's got, thankfully, just one bombard. So you can always just fall back to the shore, right? That's, like, really, really hard to deal with. All right. Let's get you out. Like this. We've lost a little bit. I think we can amass an army here to drive him back. We'll see. Archers, let's get you updated. This war sucks. Tell me about it, dude. I've been an island goblin for, like, the past, like, two hours. Um, 
Okay, we're gathering a big army. I think we can probably overwhelm his artillery position now. So let's go try and do that. And then we're fine. Let's get you, you guys kind of circling around. Let's go shield wall attack. That's going to reduce their range damage. And here we are. All right. So let's get the artillery. As long as the bombard dies, we're fine. You guys get this. Perfect. And the bombard, we need to just dive that with pretty much everything we got. There's plenty more. Homie's got a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, Streltsy are going down. We do get the bombard. Now let's get this piece. And he's trying to get some uh, siege of his own. Do we have enough for a Hui Hui Pao? We do. All right, that's going to be really funny. The Hui Hui Pao will uh, definitely put some hurt on. Okay, so we need to get the archers elited. So let's just sell. Let's sell stone, too. Okay, so let's get the archers elite. And then we can get archers and spearmen and fight all day. He's probably going to get us eventually, I suspect. We are just so freaking haggard, this game. Um, that actually did not finish. Okay. But we can produce a lot of, like, low-tier units, that's for sure. Um, but his boats are just so bullying against me that I can't really do a whole lot against it. Thankfully, he's running some Streltsy to uh, Mango Towers. All right. Start shooting the Hui Hui Pao into those. Has crazy good range. So we can use the Hui Hui Pao to attack. And let's go ahead and pop the uh, shield wall. And just knock these down. He's going to run to the coast. It's all right. Let's run back and keep this game going. And um, we need to get some more houses down here too. He might still be there. I'm not sure. The Hui Hui Pao is shooting. As long as he doesn't have like bombards, I think we're going to be okay. Not sure what he's shooting at now. I think he's shooting at my farms. How's that looking? All right, we need to get you guys doing it. Come on now. Come on. We just have to endure. It ain't going to be easy. He's probably trading at water. How is, like, nobody uh, else dying also? This is very strange. All right, so the Hui Hui Pao needs to shoot here. We could move in. Thankfully, he gets in range of the keep, so let's repair that if we can. We're going to move up. Oh, he, oh, he just deleted it. Oh, he's getting attacked at home. Yes, the time of the rat is now! Rise, Skaven, rise! Yes, my pretties. That's what you get for being such a villain. I almost finished him, but it was... it was. Uh... I am terrible at the moment. I have zero. Literally mass spears. He's trying to politic as if I'm some threat. In this case, that that's it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, all right. Okay, he's making rams. The Byzantines will endure. <laughs> oh, that's that's what you get, dude. The rat will survive. The cockroach will survive the nuclear bombs. <laughs> oh yes, dude. All right. So what do we got heading into the base here? You think we're going to miss out on this fun? We're going to make some Brangians and do our own coastal invasion. All right, so let's get you guys to do this. We can get the archers to move up here and here, shoot those down. Definitely got to keep torching these buildings. And um, yes. Okay, the wood is getting a little bit scary, though. It's getting a little freaky over here. Let's run up there so you can get some. And um, you know what? Let's actually like build some military on this island. Just some um, basics, yeah, and then we can uh, we can go and try and grab some resources there. That's so funny that it went down like that. All right, so we're the rat apocalypse, dude. We're surviving. Uh, let's get these cisterns. We need to get the water flowing once again. Can you reach my TC? What is this, really? I didn't think you reached my TC from the uh, corner there. All right, so we're gonna make some. Uh... I am weak. Please don't kill me. Let's see who's who's the who's suffering now. The rat the rat will will inherit the earth here. Thankfully I'm not perceived as much of a threat, see, so that's good. Let's take that boat down and then we can go ahead and get our olive uh, olive oil economy going once again. We need it. We need it precious. It's literally the only way we're gonna be able to play here. All right, so a couple of these guys are going to go protect our boys. I don't think green has anything here. Yes, kill them. Berserkers! Oh. I'm sorry, it was a joke. We're going to delete these. 
I'm deleting them as a goodwill. He's been letting me mine wood, so I need to like keep his, his goodwill. You know what I'm saying? All right, so the cistern has been rebuilt. It looks like it is leaking a little bit of water here. Blue preparing wonder? Hell yeah, dude. Let's go. Maybe I can take his old island. It, it would appear he's still alive. Okay, and then let's get some royal cannons. It's so awesome that I can build a Hui Hui Pao. It's so awesome. Okay, so we're like full goblin mode right now. Um, we do have that. We have that cistern, that cistern, and this one has been destroyed down here. So we need to get that. He has been eliminated. Okay, we got our wood. The Roost Navy is probably still terrifying. I would wager. It's probably very good. Frangians are building transport ships, just doing their thing. I'd like to get some fishing back online if possible. Certainly easier said than done. Wood is going to be running out in the middle, so the lords of the um, Olive Garden will, will inherit the earth. All right. Yes. The shield wall upgrade is really cool, too. I love that one. Okay, get in there. Let's go here. Oh, okay. Hold on. Somebody's having a, a fun time at his expense. So you guys can chill. It's going to be hard to sneak past him here. I want to make sure he dies, because he's had he's had a very clear hard-on for me this game. So, I have to be the one that... No, 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 no. No, bad, bad, bad ships, bad ships. Okay, drop on the dock, drop on the shore, drop on the shore, and drop on the shore. I have to make sure he goes. Yes, the rat will slip in the final dagger with my wooden armies. <laughs> yes, evil. All right, let's go see if we can discover some trade. Yeah, he says, <laughs> oh my god, dude, he says, no, John, it was his last landmark. Oh, he says, his last words, famous, holy shit, dude. That was, that was so funny. Turin, no, don't. GG, man. That was so... Oh, man, all right. Well, now we, what the hell is this? Some other, now we have a new oppressor here. Somebody is here to oppress us. Yeah. All right. Um, looks like it's yellow up here. We got the wood. Um, trade is like very far away. There might be trade here. And uh, let's get these Vrangians. Now we can go to new shores, right? Because the Vrangians will just build the boats. Alright. <laughs> he just turned down and I was like, do it. Do it. Oh no, what is this? Come on. Have you guys had enough fun with this? I'm so sick of being raided by Roos, I have to say. <laughs> Oh, there's a relic back there too, isn't there? Okay, too bad we... Somebody's coming for the relic here. Who's that, Otters? Dude, you don't get this. Do you think you're gonna get that relic? It's for me. It's for... Actually, you know what? Maybe I should let him have it just so he doesn't like come and attack me. Yeah, it's fine. We're gonna do that. I, I don't want to make more enemies. Dude, what is with this? Why are you even here? God, dude. I get a, I, I take one down and another one takes its place. And just for this, um, whose base is this? This is, uh, we're going to go on a bit of an invasion here. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We're used to this. It's, it's not the first time our people have endured such. We're going to sail with our little fleet. Have some fun. Let's do this. Get the last of this Holy shit. Okay. No, no, no. I don't even know where his base is. Um, yeah, so that just like demolished all of our shit there. And um, we are low-level cistern. He'll probably leave because I'm not near him, so I suspect it's not worth. Oh, I forgot a cannon. No. And um, I need to get some villagers, like, yeah, back, back here. Okay. Still looking good. And we see a fallen empire here. Trade could become possible, depending on if people decide to leave. Um, those villas should be going to build that, so we're going to go keep looking around. Oh, we see Yellow with the base here? What is this? Yellow's got one of his landmarks here? Okay. Is, is that his high trade house? It would appear it is. So I want to see what else is going on. We have like a huge army just sailing around here. Um, the olive oil count is growing, so let's just keep making uh, the great cannons. These are awesome. Okay, we see some of Yellow's galleys. Uh, let's go see who's down here in the meantime. 
Yeah, okay, so that, he's, he's maybe just gonna push our rats off. Blue and orange are in a bit of a stalemate, okay. Let's go here and here and see. Oh, the fish are gonna flow like the salmon of Capistrano once again. Wololo's going down, holy shit. Okay, so it looks like Tron is dying in the corner with Wololo's. Um, trying to get this trade secured is gonna be tough. All right. Yes! Yes! This is revenge on the roost for raiding us, dude. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Oh. Oh, God. Just completely undefended, too. All right. Let's get you guys in. He's probably like, where the hell did that army come from, dude? All right. So let's get the Chad Sky Tower quickly, if we can. Try and knock down the keep so we can tango with the rest of the base. It's getting knocked down. Let's get the archers back into the farms and have them just start doing a little bit of raiding. And uh, I wish I had a religious character to grab these relics, jeez. Or like some bills over there. Let's see if we can get a transport ship there. It's going to be incredibly hard to do, but we're going to see if we can squeeze it. All right, so the Chad Sky is down for the count. And that's good. So let's get this and this. Move you guys in because his boats are going to be here soon, I would wager. I know where his last landmark is, too. It's over hidden on this island, so that is uh, something to think about. So we have more navy or more military here. Not that much more, but a little bit more. And then we can load up. Actually, we should probably keep these, although the Varangians are still here and they can make another transport ship. Nobody expected the Hagrid Inquisition, although it looks like Wenda is kind of giving them the dirty already, too. We're going to try and get the kill. Um, let's go ahead and get you guys. And do this and do oh no those are trade ships they're fishing ships i was like oh man okay so where's our market do we still have it all right so those relics <laughs> look at them on the shore it's pretty unfortunate aren't i helping you he says turn no but i'm like i'm kind of helping you here a little bit Okay, so we got you guys. Um, do we have any Varangians in this army? We do not. Let's do this. And in the meantime, you guys need to rebuild our military eco in the front. And um, yes, and then we can also drop like a keep here to make it a little bit less easy to bully us. Bully us. I do want those two relics though. Kern, how many landmarks you got? What kind of a question is that? I'm, I, I, I have the normal amount. Okay, so we're just gonna like camp on these relics for now and just hang out here and see if we can get some uh, some bills over there to go grab them. So let's get you guys into the ship. We'll try and do a little, little bit of a mission impossible over here um, and get those relics. All right, so how are we looking here? So these, do we have any gold? We literally have zero gold right now. Very pitiful. Um, let's get this. I have had nothing for like one hour. My space car, my space bar key is broken on my keyboard. It's very annoying. I like how we're just like amicably sharing that. It's very fun. All right. So probably going to be a hard land here. Um, going to be a very difficult land. You can see he's hanging out. So let's keep kind of plowing through all these. In the meantime, let's see if you can like get this and do that. We can have the villagers torch his last landmark, which would be very funny actually. All right. So trade ships are coming. I mean, it's a very good trade route if I can maintain that, but that's not going to be easy. Okay, so that army is being cleared by his boats. I just want to get these relics if I can. If I can get those, that's going to be pretty hot. Let's keep making royal cannons in the main base. And um, these bills are going to set up on this island and uh, then come and try and grab the relics. Okay, looks like they've been taken care of. So now we can come over here and over here and grab these, and uh, we'll guard this while we can. We'll guard, guard this while we can. I don't think there's too much more wood on this island. Let's go see. So now wood is going to become an issue. Um, let's set up a keep here. Keep you guys back. We're guarding the relics. So we're going to come and try and like ninja those. It's going to be really difficult to do. Yeah, no, not going to happen. Okay. So the trade is also going, but yeah, purple. Is he like in the middle? There's no way. Okay, so he's going to get those relics, unfortunately. Now we have to deal with, like, a super jacked China. Um, I don't think there's any wood left on this island, so probably deleting these vills is prudent. And our eco is the dreaded 62 now. So we can still make some vills in the base and continue the olive uh, gardens. 
Okay, so we're just literally going to do spear and archer. It looks like somebody destroyed our archer ranges. So we need to make those. Okay, let's get fishing. And the reason why we do that is for the olive oil. Um, yeah, so we got two relics. You meant yellow landmarks. Yeah, it makes sense to me now. Um, all right, so these trade ships, let's go see who's up here. And that's not going to fly. Okay, so yeah, we need to use these just to scout them. Maybe there's some trade here that I wasn't able to find earlier. So let's go see if we can. And uh, I think like the French player probably just drops a wonder. If the relics are lost at sea, they're gone forever. That's what's supposed to happen, at least. I think there might be a bug with that currently. Um, all right, let's do this. And can we build another cistern here? Uh, it's like, so troll. Are there any spots? Yes. Outstanding. And we need to get the cistern economy going again. And that one is not fully connected, so let's grab you and do this. All right. So we need merc camps too, although we're spending pretty much all of our resources on these royal cannons, which is hilarious. Um, let's get some more mercenary camps down here. So we can do that. Okay, there is trade here. So that's that's got to be our uh, our breadwinner. So, although it is being camped a little bit, I don't know where his base is. It looks like his base might be up there. We see a sacred site in the corner. I think there's a, a base here. I see some buildings. That must be his base. It must be. All right, let's get some Brangians. Uh, we are going to be fully sauced out here on the olive. About as good as it gets. We got relics, giving us the uh, olive oil there, which is always fun. And let's set you up, and we can do a couple more olive gardens here, and hopefully we don't get coastal raided. Oh, speak of the devil. All right. If you want, if you want some, I got the cannons. Many have met my cannons on their shores. We have no coral otters. Many have tried to kill me. Many have tried. <laughs> One almost succeeded. All right. So we got a lot of royal cannons here. Let's get them back here. There's a bug. Yeah, I know about the bug with the relics, but hopefully hopefully nobody's abusing that. And we, we, we would check afterwards anyways. Um, Port Architects is not a bad one. Um, olive farming is going great. Kirk is gone. GG, Kirk. You played like a champ. Let's get some trade ships going here. Um, and do we have any Brangians in the army? We do. All right. One, two, three, four. God, I love that. Being able to just build transport ships with your armies is so nice. Look, we don't have like free infinite gold like some civs, but there are some things that the old Byzantines do very, very well. We got the Merc Center. So you could also just mass elephants for free, like with your olive oil. Just get like a elephant legion. I'm sure Allied would like that, you know, being able to get the uh, get the old uh, elephant legions going. Yeah, that'd be rad. Okay. Let's get some Kashyyyks coming out. Do this. And uh, then we can do another invasion as well. Let's see how this trade route goes. I suspect it's not going to go too well. This trade route is 44 and 44. Um, Otters does have control of the middle. So there's that. We'll see if he's going to kind of, you know, allow me to have my trade here. Because we need it. Otherwise, we're pretty much toast. Aye, aye, aye. And there uh, appears to be a military ship here. All right. So let's get our trade ships. Do this. Um, is there any dead players docks we can trade with here? Man, we have like no money. All we can make is like straight up galleys, dude. It's so potato. And I want to do like a landing force, but um, can you move those otters? If he doesn't, it's going to have to be war. Because otherwise I'm trapped in the base. Alright. Because, yeah, if he didn't, I would have to basically just land my whole Dread Legion on his base. My whole army and just try and kill him. We'll see if he does. All right, so we're gonna try and get the trade going again. We're also gonna, I'm gonna take his word for it and I'm gonna invade somebody else. The elephant mercenaries seem like the worst, one of the worst options for sure. Um, okay, so he's moving. It's good. And this looks like, I believe that is a red, that's RPG zombie. I don't even know who's like up there. We should probably take some bills with us so we can, um, so we can actually, like, you know, maybe steal relics or do something on the island. So they're coming. And we will go. Let's go scout here. I, oh, this might actually be where China is, all the way over there. Jeez. So that could be a journey across the, the many great seas. All right, villagers. Dox is gone. GG, man. It was a good scrap we had. Very haggard. Um, still no gold income, though. 
All right, so the Vils can load up in this one. We can take a fishing ship as a forward scout. So our transport ships don't get sunk for no reason. Let's load up in here. Do this. One and two. Okay, he appears to still be guarding trade. Okay, so let's get our trade ships and go elsewhere. Head up here. Go for this. There's Teal. These aren't for you, Teal. Alright, so in the base, uh, we can keep making cannons and artillery with our, our goodies. The trade ships are going for a bit of a longer route. We'll see how that goes. It looks like China's still embargoing that. And that's really annoying. Oh, shit. Is there any, like, ruined docks up here? Okay, let's see if they can actually go up here. Hmm. Gonna be hard to squeak by here. It looks like this middle... Let's see if we can secure this middle island and do something here. So we're gonna send the scout forward first and pull these guys behind. Yeah, the Grenadier tech is cool, but the Kashyyyks are useful. Kashyyyks are definitely a good unit. Um, do we find anything to trade with there? We're finding ruined docks and ruined docks. All right, so here's China. We are trying to go somewhere a little bit more exciting than this. No, though, hold up. There's actually wood on this island. Holy shit. Okay. Sign me up, dude. I brought bills this time. All right, let's go see what's going on here. Transport ships can hang nearby. Oh, oh, this is actually a Chinese base. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, wow. Well, this is going to be something. <laughs> the revenge. Uh, let's get the TC coming. <laughs> oh, those royal cannons are thumping this shit down, dude. All right. So we need to get the TC. I could have sworn I brought more villagers here, but I guess I only brought two, which is pretty potato. Holy shit, dude. We are demolishing this base. And that appears to be going to, which is great. <laughs> this is this is the demo team. Alright, so we... Is this his, like, whole base here? No, because you don't spawn in the middle here, obviously. Dude, we just had a, a absolute steamrolling of that. They weren't even able to get any defenders out. Okay, let's do this. You guys do this. Take that down. Our little corner empire is alright. Um, let's go ahead and delete you guys for now. And the TC is on its way. Alright. The true Viking experience. Except, yeah, maybe except the cannons, right? Uh, I have zero income on all but food. I'm just telling it to him straight, dude. Facts. This is olive oil. Alright, so we've steamrolled uh, uh, all of that. It's good. He's trying to politic his way out of it. We do have more to push with. A um, couple artillery pieces back here at the base. But yeah, we just got control of a nice little uh, nice little repository of goodies. So we're going to set up a second TC here and just try and get the uh, wood harvesting going. Okay, so yeah, China has been completely obliterated off the base. Uh, let's go ahead and get these uh, docks to keep start trading now. They can do that and do this. I believe there's a dock there that they're happily trading with, which is hilarious. And uh, cool. So let's keep guys on trees. Keep clearing. Got to make sure he's fully off the island. Um, Teal is trading, but I, I, you see, Teal has been very good to us this game. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attack Teal until I absolutely have to. And he's not even playing an OP save, is he? No, he's playing HRE. It's fine. Yeah. So let's take down these Chinese docks. Granted, some of them are good trading posts, but we already have like a really good one up there. So we're gonna, we're just gonna torch these down. All right. We don't want anybody else to get them. And Teal is trading, but he's not even trading for that much. Um, this is good. So let's sell some olive oil here. Get some more trade. The Empire needs nothing but olive oil. It's true to an extent, but like you're not going to be able to macro super hard if you're... I mean, if you have a ton banked, yes, you can. But um, yeah, might not be the most like optimal Empire here. All right, let's keep circling around. Um, here comes the bow, Chad, but they're about to meet the French, the French, uh, lead. Oh, yeah, let's go. 
Oh, he does have those nice AoEs, though. It's pretty nasty. Finally, we get rid of those things. All right, let's pull back in. Uh-oh, he's got too much. There's too many of them, Captain! It's a trap! Okay, maybe if they come close to the shore, we can go shield wall and get some damage on them, as the French would say. Let's pull you guys down, repair, and uh, get back, get back, get back, 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 back. And then we need to start shooting them with the old cannons. You guys keep uh, occupying their shots, and we should be able to actually defeat this fleet here. Yeah, perfect. So they lost a lot, and we still have three cannons too, which is great. All right, so now that we're getting a little bit of dough, probably just keep securing trade. Let's get you guys on wood. We have a army of sorts. Let's load up, and uh, we can go pick up some reinforcements from the homeland. So let's go ahead and get some Chad Kashyyyks. And uh, we can get you guys, um, get some archers, and get some more cannons. Alright, back to the back to the homeland we go after a successful, in, uh, successful invasion. Um, we need to go ahead and get towers around the island so we can't re-repair these landmarks. His main base is all the way over there, but... The fact that this, like, sneaky trade is working is, is letting us back into the game. You guys, you see, it's like the Ottoman game, dude. Yeah, you just you just keep scrapping. You can find your way back in. The Olive Garden endures. Okay, we need to sell some food. I'm going to sell some food to get the final Olive Garden, Olive Garden upgrade here in a minute. Greats, greats. Would like to get a keep here soon if we can because he could easily land here if he wants to and let's set up this and this that's right oh that's you know what we can do is we can just build houses yeah and use them as uh, vision outposts so we can see if anybody's landing oh that's so cool that's right because the byzantine houses are like kind of fancy like that okay the transport ships are returning from their conquest should be here soon. Here, there. All right. So, do we have any Varangians in this army? We do, I believe. Do we have any on the ground? Yes. And let's build some ships. And hopefully, our wood economy will get going again soon here. Our eco is pretty big, but so is our military. Um, let's load up everybody and go on a little bit of a Viking invasion of sorts. Glory for High Garden, yeah. Maybe so. Alright, so this will be our core. Uh, these guys can be in Group 1, because they're going to be our scouts, and these guys can be in Group 2. So we're going to go sail over there with the scouts and follow behind with these. I like how there's still roost ships just like casually sailing about and fishing. Olive oil finds a way, it does. It does. Our wood eco is something, but we have a lot of olives. Um... The HRE and myself are still homies. So it's myself, the Chinese, Ezra. Ooh, Ezra's going to just wander. Yeah, Ezra's probably going to wander victory. How it goes... Where is he? He, he has a good point. I'm, I'm going to listen to him on that. Like, that's a, that's a very valid point. See, bottom? I need some logistics. South looks like. Sure. But if attacked, I will respond. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta like know, let them know we have some bite, you know. Oh shit! Okay, so they're they're still they're still battling. Uh, my trade potentially going to be shut down now, so we need to reroute our trade ships. So let's get them over here. It's not going to be quite as pretty, but it is safer. We're going to go down the side of the map and see what we can find. All right, so let's have you guys sail down here. Keep the transport ships behind. And, uh, yeah. Like, I would like to get some stone, obviously, but... I guess it's just going to have to be olive oil. We see buildings being built here. That was my barracks from earlier. Get a little bit of a wood refund. And the houses built all over the island do give us some vision, which is really funny. And, yeah, now we get some trade. It's not as good, but... There still is a... There still is a what's it called? Yeah, like a French player in the game. And they're all 100% right. Like, if the French are allowed to just do their thing, then we lose. Um, so this appears to be Teal. Sailing past Teal. Oh, hello? Okay, okay. It's a joke. I'm just kidding. And it looks like, yeah, a lot of, a lot of keeps going here. You fighting? Oh man, okay, we're gonna we're just gonna lose a ton here. What's in here? Three cannons? Ouch. So I can't go that way. It's not gonna work. You gotta come back and repair these ships. Um, the French are still trolling us, so let's go ahead and get some of the uh, Dromons. 
have them come out here, and we can land over with our navy and take that bad boy down. Because he's just killing our um, trade for now, which is very obnoxious. So how many trade ships do we have? Only six? Uh, looks like 12 at the moment. Okay. We'll switch our trade route right there. This middle island, um, there are some relics there. Otters, are you fighting French in corner? He might be. I don't know. So we're going to sail past and get this guy. Okay. I like how it has the Chinese voice lines. It's great. All right, so let's pop this ship down. This troll-ass ship. So we need to deal with him for sure. The fact that he's being allowed to thrive is really not good. We can cancel these military ships. I wish they could repair the uh, the ships. Yeah, he's entrenching. He's preparing for a wonder. Yeah. Classic French. Classic, classic French. All right, so we are going to have to find a way to be more effective in our pushing here. So probably what we do is we build a, um, a dock network here and just push from this direction. All right, so we're going to do that. Let's grab some view. Cut this. We're going to do like one landing attempt and see if we can land. And we might lose this whole army, but... Uh, we could probably land them there too. All right, so yeah, we still want the olives to be getting gathered, but we're probably going to cut some for now um, in lieu of trade. Look at sacred. Um, yeah, he has a sacred. I believe he literally has a sacred on his island. I'm not sure. Or it could be one of his side islands or something. Uh, too far. The sacred thing isn't going to work. It's not going to work, I don't think. All right, so docks are being set up here, um, albeit slowly. We need to get some more upgrades, so let's go ahead and get just all the goodies. And all the goodies, that's incendiary ships. Yes, let's come down here, see if we can find a way in. We do have really good trade. Like, if this were, if the French weren't in the game, we would be, uh, we'd be pretty good. So bringing a little landing force. So we're going to sail that way. It looks like there's a landmass here, so that's what's abstracting us. And um, gold, though, is flowing. Gold is flowing for sure. We want to get more trade ships going. We need more trade. Okay, here's the Fallen Empire. Man, how do we even get to his base here? Build a wonder, destroy... Oh, is he still building it? It's not done yet? Jesus, that was like the longest wonder build ever. I don't know how good the Dromons are, but they look really cool, so we're going to get a couple of those. And uh, you guys get back to the tree line here. Um, we have good wood now, which is outstanding. And we're going to take this landing force here. And olive oil, so we need to get some. Uh, we need to get a cistern up here. So let's get a cistern and get a cistern over here. And this is where we can do our uh, landing force, which is hopefully going to do something. I suspect he wins, though. It's just like if you don't deal with French cheese early on, you know, this is just usually how it goes. Um, but it is an island map too, so we're going to just land here and demolish this and try and you know make this army at least useful. It is a decent little landing party. Hopefully that cannon ship lands, and it does. Okay, let's take that down. All right, so now we just get inland on his base here before his navy can react. Cool, so we uh, actually got some pressure in on his base, which is great. So we are going to go do this, um, try and get all of his landmarks. He probably has a red palace like back behind his goodies, but certainly this is better than nothing. So let's do that and start getting warships. And the sister network is going to be built, so let's get some mercs going here so we can get the olive oil. Destroying his main base. All right. So that's going to go down. That's going to be what? Three landmarks? So that's going to be three. And then he's got another keep back there. Nothing that our French cannons can't handle. Time is running out, but at least we got a good jump on his main base here. This is, uh, this is quite good. All right. So he's got... Oh, that's the Red Palace over there. Wow. Okay. So he clearly has his Castle Age landmark somewhere else. Let's go ahead and blast this with our cannons. Can you guys get line of sight, please? Hopefully. Oh my god, look at that. That's so haggard with tapping on that. We're just going to roll with it because it's already there. Alright, so the Red Palace is down for the count. That's great. And uh, now that's three landmarks down. I suspect he's got a fourth one somewhere chilling. Let's get you guys over here. Pull these cannons this way. And get these guys to do their thing. And we can get some uh, Kashyyyks and some various mercs here. Let's go ahead and get another cistern up here on the top and uh, get a bunch of units to drop with. All right. Oh, is this really like 
Is it a shared island? No, it's not. Okay. So we're just going to still fully try and fully demolish this. That's going to be pretty good if we can. Um, he's not even building units here, so clearly he doesn't care. Let's take you guys down and um, head this way. All right. So the keeps are going. We'll keep hitting all this. And let's connect the cistern here so we can get fast production and replenish. Uh, let's get some Karax. And good. All right. So all is going sort of according to plan. I don't know how the other players are doing. Looks like a couple of French knights are popping out. He's going to try and salvage his lands. Looks like he is trying to produce units here to save his main base. Obviously planning and uh, for the inevitable. He's going to be able to, too. Because I, I don't have enough troops to, like, drop on it. Yeah, but we're going to get a big navy here in a minute and uh, also have access to uh, pretty good production here, too. All right. Let's get Cistern. Uh, can't go over trees. Can go around trees, though. Do we have anything on the main island anymore? We don't. Just olives. Just olives. All right. So how the hell do we get down here? So let's go over the top. Um, those are going to finish. What is our eco right now? Our military... Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So now the big ships can come and we can start doing this. We did some good damage to his main base, but not enough. Um, so we'll need to plan another invasion soon. So we're going to make some... Uh, elephants, which is going to be really funny, and just drop them in his main base with some Brangians. And hopefully that will do something. Alright, let's sail around. Okay, let's uh, fight the Karaks here. I don't know how good these, like, Dromons are. And the sails. Oh, they can go faster. Uh, it deactivates when dealing damage. Not bad. I mean, it seemed okay. Let's uh, shut down his trade. Obviously, that's a good idea, but we're running out of time rapidly here, so he's just... I don't know if he's just sending those in as, like, a distraction or whatnot, but... Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's going down. Okay, so here comes his navy. We're gonna probably lose this fight, but we're gonna try. And we do have another set of Karax coming out. And, uh, we need to get the transport ships up next, so let's get transports. You guys can come out here. Yeah, it's a decent fight. Overall, I think he's got the numbers advantage, though, so I think he probably gets that. Don't stress it. Go main uh, for his corner. Yeah, hopefully this is buying some time for the other players to, you know, party a little bit, too. I don't know about that, but... All right, so just keep fighting. We got our ships here. Let's get a couple more Karax coming. I don't know if ours are, like, fully upgraded. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. And transport ships are on the way. Um, let's get the elephants popping out soon. And we got a elephant Dumbo drop that we can hopefully keep demolishing his main base. And we'll also take some bills so we can drop a keep in there. And uh, hopefully that'll work. Yeah, the other players might be making some progress. I don't know. I think we probably lost. Um, the, you know, French are just STR on uh, these island maps and on any map, really, um, in FFA. It's going to be hard to crack them. Oh boy. How we looking? Yeah, not so hot here. Uh, bottom, very bottom. Very bottom. It's a separate one. Alright. You guys go over here and do this, and then we can drop here. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and build some more military ships. Let's build some Dromons and some of these and some demo ships too. Should have gotten those, of course. Now we are loaded up and ready to party. Okay. We have the transport ships here. And um, we're going to try and do some scouting. Oh, man, that's a big island. I was, like, looking at the coast of it. Yeah, nice corner island. Oh, that's like a French power fantasy right there. Eight minutes left. Yeah, hopefully HRE are making some, some more progress. Yeah, demo ship spam is good. Yeah, but I'm, I need Karax to deal with the... Um, and I don't even have the upgrades for them. I need demo ships to deal with the what's it called. The accursed um, bases when I get there. So to deal with like the towers and the defensive buildings and all that. All right. We're going to see what kind of damage these elephants can do. Uh, Red Palace on one. Yeah, Red Palace is, should... Well, he probably rebuilt it after I destroyed it. Oh, that sucks. That's really unlucky. Although one of them's gonna one of them's going to land. Come on, come on. Okay, the elephants do land, which is good. Let's get them into the base. At least something got there. And we can build... Um, we do have siege engineering, so we can build rams. All right. The elephants are here. The Brangi and Chads are also here. Got a couple of horsemen, but we should be able to win this with our core of units. We can do the big gulp on all of them, so they can all drink their uh, hydrating juices. And uh, let's start building some rams. Good. All right. You guys keep hustling. Let's keep going down this way. 
Um, in the meantime, we need to just get a big navy. I'm going to try and press his base too, in hopes that he gets landmark sniped also. You know, it could happen. Alright team, just make some rams, get that sweet Greek fire going. Hopefully the elephants can endure with their blasts. Alright, so he's charging, he's pulling bills. We have the gulp on cooldown right now, so I might have used it a little bit preemptively. Come on, buddy. Live, big elephant, live! Alright, so the Greek fire is now spreading all over the base. We have more troopers to load in, so let's get a transport ship here. Pull you guys down, and we need to keep hustling down this way. He's got that red palace. If we can knock that down, that'll probably help the other players a lot. Okay, how's it all looking here? Unfortunately, a little bit of accidental collateral damage. Okay, so he's repairing landmarks. No surprises. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. And, yeah, I don't... It looks like there's a big invasion force coming here, too. I have 200 towers to go through my side. All I can do is ram push. Yeah, well, you do what you can. All right, let's go down and see what his actual situation looks like. Okay, so it looks pretty nasty here. Um, Red Palace is probably back online. Probably back online here. Let's take down the stock. Sure, why not? And, yep, just keep roasting. Got a lot of knights here. A lot of horsemen. Brangians should be able to beat them, actually. I think. We'll have to see. They can always build more rams, too. All right, so transport ships. Um, is there any way we're going to be able to actually land on his shores? I feel like that's going to be very hard. The elephants and the Brangians manage to hold. And then they can just build more rams after that. All right, let's go build those. Go, team. Knock down those landmarks. Uh, Red Palace is back online, so that's not good. We need to stay away from that. And yeah, he's got a lot of cannons here. Classic French. Uh, we can actually land on the northern shores. Okay, that's that's the new plan. Screw this. So we need to get you guys, you guys, and make a good landing force. So let's make some elephants, some kashiks, and some spears, and get a lot of transport ships. And there's a big vulnerability of landing on the north shore, but we only have five minutes left, so it's not looking too good. It ain't looking great. All right, team. Keep building these. Elephants keep going. We got the gulps if we need it. And uh, let's go ahead and delete some of these as much as I don't want to. We are going to delete villagers. I hate doing it. He's got some horsemen coming in, but we got a lot of rams on the horizon. And yeah, so let's get transport ships. Uh, take this drum on down there. And then it would appear it's on this island. I think it's on this peninsula here. Yeah, so we can maybe just land there. That's the play. Okay, so we're kind of learning uh, the angles that we have to work with here. So let's pull some bills, too. It's the castle one, he says. Yeah, he's, he's giving the pro tips to his neighbor here. Okay, so it looks like the Chinese raiders have arrived. We just need to get enough to take down the Red Palace, which will open up a gateway for a lot of players. All right. So let's go. Let's load up, load up, load up. Get all you guys ready to party. Take you guys and keep uh, pushing down here. Let's see how far down we can go. Looks like that's the coast there. So we're going to see how far we can get. That Red Palace could be a problem, though. All right, so we're going to go try and get that with the Greek fire. I think that's enough. So let's go get the Red Palace. Cancel that. Move over here. There they go. Um, we see the Chinese Dread Fleet coming, so let's attack here. And you guys, I believe it's on the same island. If it's not, then, you know, GG to us, I guess. But we're going we're gonna to set up infrastructure as if it is here. Yeah, that's a lot of Greek fire rams. I don't know if they're going to be able to get it. The Red Palace machine gun is pretty nuts. Um, but we're getting a lot of DPS on that bad boy. Hopefully our allies can benefit from that. And let's sail down the coast here, see what we can find. It looks like it's a ruined empire of sorts. And the Red Keep is almost down, but it's going to live. Sadly, it's going to live. I think this is like a spot which is uh, my opponent is, is chilling on here. Yeah, because I think we can head down this way, and I'm pretty sure it's in that corner. If it's not, then, you know, we're dead, basically. Yeah, Ezra's got a nice little spot here. He really does. All right. Let's get this. And uh, in the meantime, we can get our army. Let's leave you so you don't screw up our targeting. And uh, a couple of these guys. Yeah, let's load in. Good. Give me the elephants. Give them to me, precious. And you guys come drop here, too. Okay, bombard cannons. I really hope this is the right way. If it's not, then, you know, it feels bad, man. But, yeah, the other players are pushing there. We got three minutes left. Not a whole lot of time. And, uh, yep, let's just keep going. We're not going to have the... We could get a sister in production here, too, actually. Uh, almost. I almost got the Red Palace, but not quite. Otters is building a wonder. Oh, Otters, why would you do that? 
You know, because now it's like we don't want to help. Otters, if you build that, I won't help. Yeah, I have to... We, ha we can't just let him do that. That's just like... That's just troll. Because then it's just like I have no chance of winning whatsoever, right? All right, let's do this. We're trying to get the faster production of the siege equipment. I have one last push to wonder. Sniping Otter's Wonder would be tough, too. It'd be very, very tough. All right, trying to get the Byzantine network going here. I can get it, maybe. But not if you wonder. All right, so unfortunately, we might not be able to do a whole lot here. Um, let's get this. We got these sister networks coming. Let's go ahead and get some more merc shops here. We're going to let him go first. We got one minute. It's not going to happen, I don't think. Not with the dreaded counter wonder. Did he delete his? He did. Okay, now, I'll, now I will go help him. Yeah, if I had seen this earlier, I could have landed here. That would have been very good. That would have been very nice. All right, let's get some Brangians and Spears coming. He says it's impossible. He's probably right. We got Bombards cruising, but that's going to take a hot minute to get down there. All right, so Bombards are here. His Rams are doing it. Let's just march straight to the Wonder and ignore everything else. So we just need to direct march to it. Bombards are going. His Rams are doing their thing. He's got a fair amount of defenders here, actually. So he might be able to do uh, to hold. All right, let's get you on lumber or whatever. I'm on. I'm on the other side of the map. I know. I feel like we're doing gigantic maps today. This doesn't feel like it's our normal. Um, our normal size. All right, so let's fight here. Whoa, whoa! Attack me, please. There you go. Oh, there's no way we get this. He's been preparing for the whole map. GG, well played, man. I think he's got it. Uh, maybe he's probably got a landmark down here. Like maybe committing to his main base was good. I'm really curious to see the breakdown of the map after this, actually. To see if we had an opportunity. All right, grab you guys. Do this. Otter's building a wonder. I, I suppose everybody gets a wonder at this point. Are we still trading? Yeah. We should have really good trade. I suppose that's how we're affording affording uh, affording all this. Uh, mer mercenary camps are being built. Yeah, pretty rad. Pretty rad. GG. Classic French. Evil. Evil. We'll see if we can break the curse of Japan and French winning all of our FFA games. Oh, look at that. We even have another wonder on the other side of the map. Oh, coming from China. GG, well played. He, 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 he clearly did something right down there. I don't know what, but... How, how come we didn't see Wang on this enormous map? I know, we need it. Ezra said that this was his main island. The play would have been to Demo's main base. Yeah, I'm curious where the relics were. Hmm... Let's see where, not relics, but his, rel his landmarks. Were they all on his main island? That would be really funny if that was the case. Please don't crash. I want to see. Okay. So we have the palace. We have the town center. Uh, we have the guild hall, I believe, which was here too. Yeah, but he's very entrenched back here. Like, this is like only guild hall French can do this. Oh, it's such filth. Such filth, dude. It's such filth. Yeah, guild hall in the corner. I mean, maybe you can land here and snipe that. Like, come down here. But that's hard, dude. That's hard. Holy shit. Yeah, that's filth. Wow, GG. Well played. All right, guys. One more to rule them all. Let me just stretch the old man hands out, and we're going to get one more in there. Island FFAs aren't too taxing. But on the bright side of things, we did uh, we did live. You know, we, were, uh, we did not die to the early aggression. All right, check here. Perfect. Yo, yo. You want in or no? Seeing if we're going to do the uh, Team FFA match. It could be the case. That was nasty. That was very nasty. I'm really liking Byzantines. I don't think they're like an S tier FFA sib, but I don't think they're terrible either. Like, they kind of feel like English to me. Like, you can have good quality armies late game. Granted, England probably still a little better than Byzantines because of the fact that you get the gold. Like, actually, gold. like, olive oil is nice, but it's still not gold. Um, but yeah, I really like Byzantines. They're super fun. My mighty dong towers were needed, it's true. We needed them. So that's probably enough Byzantines for today. So we're gonna do a 2v2v2. So I'm gonna get Pwn as my ally. So let's uh, create a match. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do it. it. Dude, the FFA games are a lot of fun. Let me accept your friend request real quick. 
Um, and we need to do this. Make sure opponent gets in, because he is going to be my teammate here. And invite to match. You guys ready for the dreaded Conqueror Bronze team here of the gods? All right. So the map will... Oh, yeah, we have been playing gigantic maps. Uh, we're going to do a six-player map, just to make it a little bit quicker, because I the old hand is getting a little bit... Although, you know what? Screw it. You guys want the good stuff. Let's do large. I don't want to deny deny more people here. So um, who do we play? Game mode is going to be standard um, with teams together. So let's do standard. The teams should be together. So you guys need to ally with um, double Japan, Pwn and Turin. That would be very evil. Yeah, I'm down for Joan of Arc. Let's do some Joan of Arc. Yeah, we're going to play like a strong tip here. Pwn Silver, dude. He's silver. He's not bronze. Put some respect on that name. Uh, teams together. All right, so the map is not going to be water. So let's find this and let's go for the, um, let's go for like a standard map. Oh, this will be fun. The golden pit, because everybody is going to be fighting over the gold in the middle. Like every team is desperately going to be scrapping in the middle. This will be really fun. All right, so team up. Uh, we got one, one, <laughs> arc in the black. Uh, friend request, yes. And boom, and boom. All right, so pick your teams. It's, it's go time, baby. It's go time. Uh, Joan of Arc is going to be strong. Do we just team with the person next to us? Yes. So team with the person next to you. It's completely random. Uh, let me ring Pwn. I'm going to give him a call. Okay. Let's do that. And it looks like everybody's here. Do we want to do Joan? Or do we want to do a different sieve? Uh... Jushi's legacy is pretty sweet too. There's not actually let's go Jushi's. Yeah, I wanna I wanna get Shaolin monks. It's gonna be very fun. Oh. Hey, what's up, man? Can you hear me? What's going on? Yep. You ready to win this game, dude? Obviously. Dude, we're gonna crush. We have uh, Jushi's legacy, China and Japan here. Now with us spawning together, there's no stopping us. <laughs> yeah. Last time You don't have to be the rat. I know, dude. Last time I spawned in the corner away from Pone <laughs> just got two V1 and just killed all her. Like, oh, that was terrible. Well, this isn't a mega random map either. Yeah. It's good, man. So, are you going to be the Shogun? Uh, yeah, I'm the only Jap Japanese player. I, oh, I have to be the Shogun. The, the other teams are going to use that as ammunition to, like, attack us. They're going to be like, but they have the only Japan <laughs> Japanese player. Uh, they'll probably just attack us because of you, not because of me. <laughs> we'll hold, we'll hold, man. I'm gonna go fast castle and just steal all the relics on the map, or try to. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. And then, you just be the Shogun, dude. Just get a million forges with those relics in it, and just bathe, bathe us in gold, dude. That's, that's gotta, I'm that's gotta be the plan. I'm gonna soak up the sun. Yeah. Dude, you see Wang, <laughs> Wang Enormous in here on the French? Uh, yes, his, the legendary Wang. People are starting to go back to the old civs too, I've noticed. Like you see you see we have an English here, we have a French, we have an HRE. No. It's it's fun. Have you you haven't played anyone but Japan, right? Uh well technically I played the French before Japan came out. Yeah, so you've really only played those bits, huh? I played two games of France. Ah oh, shit. I already screwed up my build order. Damn it. I was like forgot I was playing <laughs> GG. I forgot I was playing Jushi's Legacy. Do you right. want to restart? Yeah, we should restart the game. Just, <laughs> just, just scoop it up. So it's just going to have to be a janky build here. Okay, so we start together, which is good. I like that. That's nice. And um, all is good in the realm. Got to get the OP Meditation Gardens. Let's get you guys to turn in. Bonk those sheep here. Taxes are going to be collected. We must get all the sheep so nobody else can have them put. Nobody. Got teal pretty close. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be a faster game. One way or the other. Who's that? Droz and I was on the other side. Yeah, Maso is here too on his beloved Holy Romans. The, the lord of the... Uh, the lord of the HRE. Alright, so Meditation Gardens probably would go like right here. Because that would hit three resources. Two on gold is going to be adequate. Let's do this. Have you get close. Dude, the Shogun must defend these lands. 
Just watch us get rushed by like a longbow French combo and we just die. <laughs> that would be really funny, actually. It's a hell of a way to go out. I'm going to be begging you for resources for sure. When you're like late game, I'm going to be like, can I get some of that? Oh, I'm going to tell you, no, you pay the Shogun at taxes. <laughs> I have to pay you for it. <laughs> How is Japan stronger than French? Um, Japan is stronger than French because they can get infinite scaling relics. So like they can be getting like four or five thousand um, gold a minute for free in late game FFAs. Like with nothing else required, which will massively outscale the guild hall. Guild hall is still really oppressive, but um, but yeah, that's that's the next level shit right there. Okay. So what you want to typically do if you guys are watching this with Jushi's Legacy is set up your uh, next year TC, like your mill, and just have sheep there, and then you can like have really efficient tax drop offs and stuff. But we would normally be aging up like close to now, but I screwed up the build order, so it's not gonna happen. All right. So who's who's uh, the teal team? Can you check what civs they are if you have a little downtime? Teal is English. Okay. English and Joan. Oh, that's a super aggressive comp. So we got to watch out. They could they could get very aggro on us. Like, okay, I, I think I only found one sheep. I'm I've only got not one. the sheep show gonna. Oh no! Or wait, no, that one's yours. Yeah. I... I am not the sheep shogun. <laughs> Returning back home with my one sheep. It's okay, man. It happens to the best of us. I'll have Zhugnu at the ready, just in case. Alright, so that landmark's going. We see a bunch of relics right now. <laughs> I have to pay the anime tax to somebody. <laughs> yes, we pay the anime tax. Oh, 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 oh. One punch! Okay, let's keep that. Get another official here in a minute. How much are they? 50 gold. Okay. So we need to get a little gold turn in here. We'll have to see who's on the other side too. Just need to survive in the beginning, brother. Get to that next uh, next age. Hell yeah. Yeah, it does feel a little bit naked not having the barbican for sure. That landmark is very, very good for China. Granted, I think Jushi's is just better than China. Like, their late game techs are pretty, pretty disgusting. Damn, you got all the wood by my base. Oh, never mind. I, I guess this one's decently close, but it's not as close as I would like it to be. Yeah, you having some problems? No, they're just going to make me go on a journey. A journey through time and space. Okay, so tax man, collect some taxes. Go down this way. We have that coming up, which is good. We're getting free resources from that landmark. It's so, so freaking good, the meditation gardens. All right, Pwn. The time is on. Okay, we have a neighbor down here who is a, another French player. That's going to be Wang. Good. Blue's already worried about green. Yeah, are they fighting already? Good. good. He, said, he said, what are you doing? Which means he's, <laughs> he's nervous. Surviving? Oh, yeah. <laughs> The politics are working for us at this point. Yes, they must engage each other. Yeah, leave it. It's the only way. The middle is going to be like the bread winning though. That's like, you see all the gold there? Oh yeah. That's where it pops off. Okay, people are reaching feudal age now. Could get wheelbarrow, but I think we're going to skip it. Could go Song Dynasty, but there's not really any point if we're going FC. So, yeah. Gonna have to scout for some aggression here. Yeah, not the fastest age up in the world. It's trying its best. Let's do this. Get you here, and then we can go ahead and get a uh, archery range if we want to. Just in case we get attacked, I want to have something. Dude, have you? I, you know, I think you might like this faction because they have Shaolin monks, which are just so cool, so incredibly cool. Meh. How dare you, dude? The so Shaolin monks are just like karate masters, or kung fu masters. Not karate, that would be Japanese, but... Alright. Exactly. Japan wins again. Yeah, I think I think karate is definitely a more effective fighting form than, uh, than kung fu. Than Shaolin. Well, yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I don't know about... The Shaolin stuff's really interesting. I've seen some interesting demonstrations with all that, but who knows. Okay, so a bit of a slow age up. I could be like getting a six minute castle if I had built properly. 
Um, but we're going to be in the ballpark now, so it shouldn't be too bad. Still should be faster than a lot of the other civs. Are you getting attacked? Oh my god, Pwn. Yeah, Garrison, Garrison. Really? Early aggression coming at us, huh? Gotta admit, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so it's going to be 1020 for that. Can you handle it? Are you alright? I'm fine. It was just like two longbowmen. Right. I think he was just testing the waters. Okay. So we can start making some Zhugnu now. Keep you guys there. Um, let's actually have you guys come and build this, and then you guys can go back. We need the food. That's right. Forgot. Okay, I have a single Zhugnu. We're going to try and grab some relics here with the power of the Shaolin. Probably some wooden palisades would be a good inclusion next to. Pwn is the Shogun, dude. Put some respect on his name. He is. Yeah, the Shaolin monks are very food intensive. 200 to pop. Dude, there's so many relics on this map, it's nuts. All right, so let's move up here. Uh, get you guys onto the straggler trees. You just collect taxes for now. And we just get the Shaolin monks out. Just grab as many relics as we possibly can. Hope for the best. All right, so there's one. The other one's going to grab this one and then come back here. Pwn, feed me resources. I am too weak. Oh my god. Watch your, Watch out, Longbow harass on you. Dude, they're trolling you pretty hard there. Look at that longbow all in on, on poor Pwn. Bullies, I say. You know? Bullies! I'll send a uh, Shaolin monk up there to help you soon, yeah? Okay, let's do this. Have you supervise that. And all's good. And the knights. Whoa, really? They're going that aggro on you? Hey! <laughs> What is this, like, all-in feudal aggression here, dude? Oh, God, the Joan! Is Joan coming for blood? Just turtle in your base for as long as you can here. Okay, so let's grab this. Let's bring this back. We got a little bit of kung fu fighting there. And we see trade. Relics are being grabbed. Oh, poor Pwn up here, dude. Just uh, turtle in your base to the best of your abilities, yeah? For now. This, and then we need to secure this. How many relics have we gotten so far? It looks like two. Flanking around over here. He's, he's looking for stuff. Yeah, as long as they're not getting fully in there, should be alright. There are knights coming out and looking. Okay, so Zhugnu are just about ready. Let's get that, so we can get that. Come on, Shaolin monks. Get those relics back. Okay, let's go down here, grab this. Just uh, hang close to your base for now. I have, I have some good, good units coming up to help you now. All right. People all died. I'm trying to wololo here. I like how they have a different wololo. It's very fun. And bring this back. Yeah, uh, you stopped him? I think them? they're just waiting for me to... No, definitely not. He's just off to do something else. Uh, Probably he's he's hanging out right there outside of vision. Well, good job enduring here. Uh, I have Zhugnu now. I'm going to go keep trying I'm not to... doing well. I've, I've lost... I've taken some villager hits. Yeah, let's do this, and then this, and then this. We only have the one relic so far, which is really not good, considering that was like our whole game plan. Alright, Shaolin monks, let's go grab some relics. Did we... I think that one's like walled out there, so we're not going to get that. And then I need to get some farm eco going. Let's get that, and we can have you supervise this. Come on, team. 
Okay, village. Looks like they got uh, busy here with other people, huh? Uh, oh, someone's gonna get. Oh, he's gonna get well low load. Oh my god, these French knights are just going bananas. So they're denying me the relics on the map pretty effectively. I can't help. No, don't worry about it. You're good. Okay, let's get this relic and try and take it back to the base. Yeah, I, I can't take both these guys 2v1 here, shit. Okay, so let's get some racks up. Pull back. People are now reaching Castle Age, so my window of getting those relics for free is basically over. Uh, let's get on gold. Cool, so we got that. Let's see if we can sneak that one back here. If we can get at least two, I'm going to be very happy. Get some crossies. And uh, soon we need to get the dynasty that allows us to get the granaries. Alright. So we get that relic back? Or did he die too? Okay, no, he's making it. So I only get managed to get two relics after all that. Those the other team on the south really focused hard on denial. So let's save some food here. Age up to the next dynasty. Are you secure? Yeah, for now. Alright, let's start setting up some north to south trade, yeah? Okay. So I'm gonna uh, get some trade going here. Lumber. You need lumber, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be too much. Okay, let's get on this. Got the two! Should have gone spears? Yeah, I should have gone spears. So Juke knew I thought I was going to need to defend with bone, so that would have been a little bit stronger. So most of the relics have been grabbed, but still two relics isn't the worst thing. If we can conquer another team, we can find a way to get some too. Okay, uh, do you want... Should I like try and sneak this in the corner, or am I should? Just yeah, put try it and go to the base. very top corner. Yes. So that is going to be a tax drop-off spot. And then we can get that for food. Our food right now is currently abysmal. Let's go up here. Go to hunt that four down. Get food for a moment longer, but not too much. All right, two relics, baby. That's what we got. Hey, you know, Pone and I are, we're hanging in there. We're enduring. All right, so that's going to be gadded, and this is going to be unlocking the dynasty here. So now we can set up the granaries. One, two, and three. All right, great. So that boar will provide us a little bit of sustainability. I got my market ready for you in the bottom corner whenever you're ready, by the way. Plop it right Get her done! Okay, let's get some close that. And then we can make another one of you guys. And you lasses can go ahead and start setting that up. Alright, Pwn. How's the Shogun doing? Is he recovering from some of the early uh, early drama? Right, bringing it back. Good, good. Just keep, keep echoing. I know there's another relic down here, but it's walled. And um, I'm not going to get that easy. Gonna go triple TC. We're just gonna have to kill our neighbors to get the resources. So, Pone, you just focus on trade and surviving and ecoing, and um, I'll probably get aggressive here soon. Uh, my my uh, my thing's ready. My market. Sweet, dude. Keep it up. Uh, make sure to build a wall in that that gate. Oh uh, my brother. Oh no, that's my border. Okay, I was like. It's like, it's going to block the trade. That was actually mine. So Spear Crossbow is just a very, very good army comp. So we're going to do that. And have you guys do this. Let's move up. I guess one team's dead. One team's dead already, really? He said, well, GG. Hey, I think Blue and Teal are taking them out. Or Blue and Teal. Jones going to be a raid boss already. Blue and Teal might have um, been the ones who uh, got attacked. Because they stopped attacking, right? So... I suspect yep. there's some funny business there. I know, I, I know the relics there. It's probably not there anymore. It's it, there's palisades, and I don't want to start a war until I'm ready to fight. So I'm trying to get my big Chinese eco going here. 
Oh. It's it's no joke, dude. It's it's pretty serious. Oh, we've been walled in the corner here, so looks like they're trolling pretty hard. Getting their jollies off. I like it. I respect it. Okay, they're trading here too, so I am going to take some bills and go wall them off the trade. Masso says, y'all conk three? I don't know about that. They're probably not conqueror three if they couldn't kill you quickly. Um, but I think your predictions might have been right, actually. And then basically be a gold. All right, so take this army over here. Let's go bust this down. Do you have any troops? Can you, uh, do you have any army? I think there's going to be a fight over here soon. Not really. No worries, no worries. I, I mean, I, I have like five guys here. Don't worry about it. You just stay right where you are then. Trying to age up. I need gold. Oh, er, never mind. I'm, I'm in the middle of age. <laughs> trying to deny the trade over here. Um, let's buy a little bit of food. Go triple TC. Keep getting all that going. Could encounter their army soon. We're, we're gonna see. Puff, yeah, Castle baby, let's go. Okay, kill some traders here. Gonna keep trying to secure this land for us. Okay, so so far the fighting here is going okay. And then we can do this. Looking great. So, a fearsome little battle over here, Pun, that I'm in. We, the middle isn't going to be as important on this, considering that we can trade. Still will be important, obviously, but, you know. Alright, so let's get some more farms. Get these nice little granaries all saturated out. Uh, your, your wall stopped my... I trade. Uh, it wasn't my wall, it was their wall. This is a... Uh, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I just destroyed this. So now I'm just, I'm like trying to wall them out of it. So we can trade and they can't. And it looks like it's gonna work. Alright, so that's okay, we're not in bad shape. Definitely gonna be thinking about battling soon. Pwn's looking like he's recovering over here, which is good. And we need to unlock the other dynasty. Um, soon. That's right, so that is the Mount Lu Academy. Yeah, we need to get that one. So we're going to save up for that here. Are we looking up here? Supervisors are doing it, so let's make our fourth supervisor. He needs to just go collect taxes. And good. Alright, so we got secure trade now. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's something. It is hope. We're going to make some Shaolin monks, dude. It's time. Upgrades. Let's upgrade. Supervise. Going to want to probably try and get a foothold in the middle soon. I'm going to go down and okay. start building some towers. Blue is putting a red palace in the mid. That's fine with me. It's, it's, it's way better than if it's in their base. All right, brother. Hey, we're doing good. We're hanging in there, you know? We ain't dead yet. Not yet. <laughs> but it is not this day. It is not. Okay, we're going to go try and get some resources mid, although arguably we do have these safe ones here, so maybe we just grab that. And you can come over here and get this. And now we just kind of work towards the Imperial Age. That is a, a hot trade route, though. That is very, very good. Oh, holy shit. Oh, my God. There's a Dread Legion in the middle, dude. Oh, my God. You seeing that shit? Just pure archers and, cal and knights. Well, yeah, they're both playing civs that, you know, complement each other quite well. Like, one has some of the best archers in the game, and the other, you know, vice versa. So. Right. This is just a prank. You guys can have the mid. 
The wall is building here. Holy shit, they're attacking. Joan of Arc's attacking me, really? Uh, Alright, so we need to make crossies, and hopefully this fight goes okay. Let's take Joan of Arc out, sniper. Uh, I need your help. There's, uh, there's two armies coming here. Okay. Do you have any resources you can send me by chance? Mm, not that rich. Uh, stone? Because we could be dead here, uh, potentially. Send me whatever stone you got. Perfect, perfect. And uh, roll down here when you can. They they have a colossal army. It's very, very chunky. Yeah. Worse, the good thing is, though, um, they are attacking us. Open mid. Trying to politic a little bit. Uh, the Samurai Legion. Head to my base by the keep. Don't engage them in open field. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're okay. backing off. Yeah, I think the politicking worked. I think they got, like, nervous and just decided to flee. Okay. That is a big-ass army. I just noticed the traders are being a meme. And uh, oh, so we're good. Supply block. Uh. Come knock this down. We need to get that going and get this back online. Yeah, those guys are pretty jacked. Uh, they did kill some racks, so I need to rebuild racks. I'm peaceful, I swear. Definitely not peaceful, these guys. <laughs> and it looks like that other team did survive, by the way, Pwn. Keep building up the dreaded Shogun army. They will feel our wrath one of these years in the late game. Okay, so we can do pagodas now if we want to. Nice. So let's get some pagoda action going. And this as well. Thank you for the stone. That was pretty clutch. The keep might have been what drove them back. I don't know for certain, but um, it probably was a big barrier. It certainly pretend. Yeah. No, I think it did. Okay, they're reaching Imperial Age. We probably need to get more trade going. So let's go destroy that. Um, do you have any woodworkers nearby? Farms are looking pretty good. Okay, let's get a little bit of this. Okay, so 60 supply. We need to get our houses maxed out. Looks like one official did die during all that. Let's pull you up here. Have you go collect those taxes. And can we get the other landmark now? Yeah, there's another pagoda right there. Uh, as far as these goes, yeah, we can do that. Keeps an outpost. He's trying to stonewall. Don't wall our trade. Uh, Shank up! Build some yeah. walls. Wall off that northern territory of yours if you can. That's, uh, is that the longbow master? The guy who's like spamming longbows? Uh, teal. Yeah. Er, oh god! I'm coming with some troops. Uh, I, I have some troops. It's just a couple minute arms trying to hunt down my villagers. Make sure they don't finish those walls, though, or if they do, you can destroy them. Um, I, I did kill his guy that was building them. He's gonna try and complete it. Alright, so I'm coming to your base. Um, let's see if we have our, our dude here. You can drop that, do this. Do you have any uh, rams or anything? No. Okay, no problem. That was a nice trade route. We need to make sure it stays online. He's trying to complete the wall over there. Let's go stop him. And uh, He's running troops right past you. <laughs> I don't want him to kill him. Oh, yeah, you deal with those. I'll deal with the wall, yeah. You got a, a free relic there too, by the way. Alright, so it looks like they've chilled out on that. The new age has begun. So what upgrades do we want to do? 
I have to think about this one. They're both really good. The Bombard one is nasty. Um, yeah, we're going to do the that and the Bombards. We're going to switch to mostly cavalry here in a minute. Okay, so Impage is upon us. We have that sweet trade going. Let's get one more official. Okay, so middle is going to probably... They're probably getting a lot of resources mid. Which is okay, since if we have good trade, it can definitely keep par with it. Oh, shit. There he is. I'm here with my army, so I can fight him. Join me, brother. Drive them back! Might do a little bit of raiding, who knows. I'm going to keep chasing him. Going to have spears popping out in a second. Should be able to fight them. I'll keep chasing. Uh, definitely try and get some walls up, though. Like what I'm doing, you see in the front of my base. So this, uh, this ride-by stuff doesn't happen as much. Joan of Arc trying to farm some experience, looks like. Let's pull back into the choke point. Thankfully, there's a keep here, too. So that's going to be helpful. And Yuan Riders, we need the Dynastic Protectors, which we have coming soon. So he's going to lose his whole army here, most likely. But I'm, I'm going to get harassed probably lose a bit, too. Yeah, not sure where he's going. He's getting his jollies off for sure. Joan of Arc with a, her last Desperate Crusade here. Are you being attacked? Oh, the Longbow Master is attacking you. I'll be, I'll be there to help in a minute, yeah? Get ready to defend your Shogun. Uh, okay. He's attacking you. Uh, is he? Okay, yeah, he's... Okay, that's good. Yeah, flank him if you can. Joan of Arc's army is mostly shattered, so, um, so that's good. I found the trebuchet! It's dead! And I drove him off. Good. Keep chasing him, keep chasing him. He's, oh, he's got for your village. I'm engaging on him. It's fine. I have, I have way too many villagers anyways. Oh, he's got uh, rams moving through my base, heading to your base. It's fine. All right, so now we can get the U Imperial Guard Chads and the Yuan Riders. Hell yeah, let's go. Um, any resources in the mid we can jump on? Maybe, we'll find out. Thankfully, this is all still going well. Good, good defense, man. Good job. We've massacred their entire army, but the problem is during all this, the other side might be cackling. The guys who aren't fighting. Although they might be, I don't know. One problem at a time. Yeah, no kidding, man. No kidding. Preach it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the cavalry unit damage augments and start spamming out the Yuan Riders, which are very, very good. You want me to wall your uh, front empire, or do you have enough stone for it? Fine. Oh, he snuck, snuck over and destroyed all my forges. Did he? The ones that had the relics in it? Uh, yeah. Oh, he got you good. Well played. Yeah, he got you. I, I, was, I was like, wait a second, I'm missing some buildings around here. Yeah, something looks different. There used to be stuff around here. All right. Let's get back here. I managed to get my clutches on some gold in the middle, which is very fortunate. How are we looking on eco? We're 130 eco. Dude, Pwn was there, dude. He was there like a, like a wrecking ball. You want to gather our troops and attack them? Let's try it. You down? You see where my army is? Sure. Uh, yep, just gathering all my forces right now. Let's uh, go. No, I don't see where your army's at. It's right in front of your base. Like where you are. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. Definitely get some walls here too and build gatehouses for us when you can. Yeah, you're doing it perfect on the other side. You see how I'm building uh, at the top? I'm building a fence there to make it so they can't wall us in. It's like a pretty common tactic. All right, come with me. Let's roll. Let's see what we can get done. We don't have ram, so this is just... You have some bombards, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I have, I have a bombard. It'll do, pig. We're just kind of we're just kind of checking it out, so don't don't stress it. Okay, let's see what the officials are up to. They're collecting taxes. 
Let's go push mid and see if we can knock their bills off gold and stuff. That might actually be even stronger here. Okay, the dreaded Chinese army is upon us. We're gonna be going like mostly Imperial Guard spam. Oh, there's a Barkshire Palace here. Okay, I need your I need your cannons. Oh, and a red palace. Never mind, screw this. Let's go to their main base. Head to their main base. Screw this shit. Okay. This is just all bad news right here. Once I switch to like a cannon based army, which I will eventually once we have a lot of gold. Um yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, attack that white tower there. Hit that. That's a good spot. We might lose this, but it's all good. We're just kind of trying to put a little bit of pressure on. Okay. See if you can take it down. Fighting's going okay. Kind of hard to tell, to be honest. I think they just have the home field advantage. It's going to be too hard under the keep. Okay, just start gathering troops at the base again. So macro up an uh, army uh, again, if you can. I'm building a wall to secure our trade in the north. I'm a little bit too heavy duty on eco, so my army is really quite small, actually. Oh, there's a random ass relic up here. Do you see that? It's wild. Alright, so they've got control of the middle. They're probably going to go wonder, is what's going to happen. Red and Turin, uh, Red and Turin, you guys keep trade, we keep mid deal. Oh, dude, we ain't making any deals. Come on, dog. What do you think this is? Alright, so now we're at 140 eco still. Everyone does. They're acting all surprised, like, they have trade? It's like the whole map has trade. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> the, the good old group laugh. So I'm going to get a Bombard Legion that will have AoE damage and hopefully will steamroll and then we can push them out of mid. So you just, you focus on like Samurai and Spearmen and stuff, yeah? Okay. Run out of things for my villagers to do. It's okay. There's always going to be wood and, you know, stone outcroppings and different things like that. Um... Okay, let's grab this and bring it back here. Shaolin Monastery, Pagodas are going in full force. I think that's enough. Probably could use a little bit more production here. The Bombards are coming. And our trade is good. How's your wealth looking, by the way? Are you doing pretty good? I'm doing okay. Yeah, good. Excellent, excellent. Let's build a gatehouse here. And we can go ahead and build a palisade here too. I wonder who's fighting who. This is very strange. It's been very, very calm and peaceful here. 110 on each trade route. Nice. Shaolin Monk is hustling for that relic. Um, we need a wall that center area where your like guys are mining. Uh, you, I can I can actually just take care of it. It's fine. All right, so let me get a wall here. Oopsie Daisy. And then you guys come down here. Pink and blue are the tyrants. Pink and blue, they're not even on a team. Hmm. <laughs> that means we got two tyrants to deal with. I mean, they're letting me take gold out of the middle. Um, how many relics do you have stored up right now, by the way? Not many. Like, like you three destroyed or maybe a bunch. Like, maybe like three or four. Uh, yeah, probably about four. Sounds good. That ain't bad, homie. So it looks like there's a vulnerability here. Um, there's an area that needs to be walled. Um, let me go ahead and ping it here for you. So that's their wall, so you need to connect a wall to your wall covering that. Otherwise they can sneak into our base at any time, basically. See what I'm saying? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, here, here they come. <laughs> Sounds good. I'm ready. Yeah, shit, we didn't have a wall. All right, get, uh, head out there with your army. Go, go, go. We should be able to do some work here. Let's get the Imperial Guard and go artillery sniping. So, 
He's gonna keep riding past him. All right, so we're engaged. Grenades are going. Kill those uh, spring alts. Yeah, don't let him get my bombards. Nice, nice, good job. Fight's going okay. I think we're I think we're in good position. Let's take these mangoes out. And uh, we have a lot of elite boys on the way. Might get forced back here, but overall, I think we did enough damage. Pull your bombards back now. We're gonna lose the ground, so we do need to regroup. But yeah, we should be able to push them back, I think. I already have like a decent army remustered. Oh, make sure you don't wall our trade though, whatever you do. Yeah, yeah, I'm... Hey, bombard him, shoot him, shoot him, he's running to your base. All right, can you handle that force, you think? Uh, we'll, we'll find out. Because I already have a full army remacroed. I'm kind of thinking about... Um... Yeah, I'll deal with these. Uh, there's a second wave of English attackers coming. Thankfully, my cannons do AoE damage, which is savage. Target them. Uh, oh, they're in my land. He's right into your base. Just now. keep chasing him. Just keep chasing him. You'll get him eventually. He's well low. Iron body. Body of iron. Oh, I'm gonna. Whoa, no, he got sniped at the last second. Keep hunting him down. It's not a huge deal if I lose those bills. All right, so let's uh, secure the walls. All right, so we we have successfully dealt with them. As long as you can deal with Blue and keep chasing him, then we're fine. Yeah, he's stopping the fight. Good defense, good defense. Kill Joan! She's fallen! Aha! Once again, they learned to cross the Shogun. <laughs> that was the fools! Cool. Yeah, they'll, they'll learn their lesson eventually, dude. Nobody's died yet. It's really, really hard to end these games in like the 2v2 setting. Um, how's your army looking, by the way? Is it rebuilt? Uh, yeah, I'm almost at max cap. Yeah, let's move out to mid and, and do a little bit of uh, action there, yeah? Oh, here we are. Are they really coming back around too? Okay. They will happily farm this army again. They clearly have a lot of resources, though. They do have the middle. Yeah, but they also have French Guild Hall and stuff, so... I'm fighting them at the gate. I might be able to 2v1. Like, the Bombard Cheese with this faction is really disgusting. I'm right here. Cool. Okay, I'm pulling back behind the gatehouse. Um, looks like this is being harried. Can let them, like, poke. Go ahead and attack now. Okay, so we definitely need to focus on the wood. I think we're just in Mortal Kombat, so we just have to kill, try and kill these guys. Because I think they just want blood. But it looks like we're starting to win the fights. So let's just keep the momentum towards them and push in. Um, we have Palace Guard and uh, Spears. Alright, looks fine. Start methodically taking those down. So just keep rallying units and let's try and overwhelm them. I tried the Wolo though, I did. They, have, they will regret cross, crossing the Shogun, dude. The Shogun Prof P. Okay, need to get that relic secured. Dude, look at your Chad Samurai just hanging in there. Awesome. Okay, do we have the other Shaolin Monk? Uh, we need to get the upgrades fully done. Yeah, we're starting to... We can probably push these... Attack! We can push them out of mid. Let's just do that. Nice, dude. Oh, an ambush from the woods! Okay, let's get you guys on wood. Wood is starting. I'm out of gold! Really? Uh-oh! <laughs> How much, uh, you're still trading, right? 
just saw my traders die. Alright, gather on my bombards. I need your support down here against Joan. Oh, those cannons. The juicy cannons. The juicy cannons. Alright, let's get you guys and do this and do this. See if you can get them. Probably gonna lose some bombards here, but it's okay. Okay, we basically traded already there, unfortunately. Um, our trade is still going good. Outstanding. Alright. So yeah, we're keeping the fight going. Um, I think they will probably be able to out endure us on resources. I don't know what their food situation looks like, but it's probably better than ours. It has no taxes in it, so we can go ahead and do this. Let's pull back and just defend for now. Yeah, just pull back. I need to. I want to grab this relic and do a couple other things before we go out and fight again. And we let's get you to. Oh, is it bugs? Oh, the relic is bugs. Yeah, there's been a weird. Uh, see if you can build a prelate or a uh, monk and grab that relic there, the one that's bugged. It's pretty pretty troll. You see where it is though, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so players are starting to die, um, which is good. Gonna start buying some stone here. One team has fallen. The trade is still going. Okay, let's get you guys down here. Do this, get that, find a supervisor to supervise that, and um, we need to build one more supervisor. Alright, so let's just keep playing defensively. Uh, eventually, Pwn, our game plan is obviously going to be Wonder, so we'll uh, we'll try and make that work. Please don't kill me. I am weak. Yeah, looks like one team is about to fall. I, I, I got the relic. Okay, um, take it back and just drop it off in one of your shrines or something. Sound good? I will make it happen. I'm trying to think of any other upgrades I really need here. Yeah, wood is a bit of a scarce resource in these lands. <laughs> Somebody's like, Wang. Hans, uh, what, what is, whose team is Jordan on? It's not the side that we've been fighting. Jor Jordan's with yellow. He's with the dead guy. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Dude, the Iron, the Iron Shogun won't break, dude. Not today. Not ever. It has only just begun. Yeah, I think there's a bug with Shaolin's where they sometimes struggle to pick up relics. I'll try and get that pagoda going. We can just hang here for a minute. Um, it's rank one in the line. Yeah, I'm gonna build some walls here, finish this off, so then at least when they come we have time to prepare. Don't know what our neighbors are like to the south, Wang and company. Who knows what they're up to. Um, no good, I'm sure. And Jushi's legacy is really strong. And they have some sweet music too. Okay, villagers coming to build the walls. I'm gonna go do some raiding with these Imperial Guard, go see what's going on. So, you, you just hang tight here. We'll get our walls going nice and good. I might be able to get a bunch of bills. Although that red palace there is very troll. I like all these damn towers near our base. Dude, these Imperial Guard are nuts. 420 HP. There could be an attack coming our way soon. This might, like... Get an attack out of them. We'll see. Um, Pwn, grab that sacred side on the top, by the way. They're just getting okay. free resources from it. Okay, his army's mass horsemen, which makes me think they uh, are kind of hurting eco-wise. I suspect they have trade. But yeah, send your Shinto priests over there. Okay, here's another keep here. It'd be a shame if those villagers got hunted. Okay, just poking around. Um, 
with these bad boys. Pwn's gonna get that sacred site back. Let's go ahead and do this. Just kind of scouting. What's my army size? It's really small. Oof, my army is small. Mine's only 89. Yeah, it's bigger than mine. I'm, I'm at a 61. Because I have so much eco at this point. Yeah, that's what she said. It is what she said. Look at these guys. How dare they, dude. Yeah, the English army's still decent quality. We could move out and try and fight them, but it's not like my army's very good. And I, I want to be greedy on eco and get a bank. Pwn's getting the sacred site. Oh, they have a priest on that sacred site, so you need to kill him to get it. So it just sound like... Just, isn't that a troll? <laughs> oh, man. My army's so slow. I have 50 traders right now, dude. You, elite samurai, thank you for volunteering. I don't know which side is, like, if anyone's actually dying. Um, so, Pwn, this spot, like, behind our base, I'm gonna, like, start kind of preemptively preparing that for, like, a wonder. Okay. Um, so, yeah, those damn berry bushes are in the way, though. God damn it. <laughs> berry bushes. It's a nice little spot. Should be able to fit there. We got two relics in the pagodas. Did he not put it in the pagoda? Yeah, whatever. You can sit in there and get tithe barns. Okay, they're attacking us again. You ready? Sure. So we need to be ready to uh, deal with this here. Okay. I don't know if, how hard they want to commit, but we'll see. Yeah. All right, fight, fight, fight. Get your bombard shooting. There you go. Apparently, I accidentally unhotkeyed all my production. It's all good. Just chase down that uh, blue army of horsemen. He's just going to try and raid. I'll send some of my own cavalry to go help, too. Seems like the front fight is going okay. Man, it's crazy how quick you can go through your gold with those elite units. Keep fighting in the front, too. Massive. Yeah, I got my elite uh, Imperial Guard helping you out there, so should be alright. Uh, somebody wandered. Who? Arkin. Hell yeah, dude. We need to tell these guys, Wonder Bot. I mean, we're gonna. Uh, their attack has been drove back. They lost everything. And now there's like a couple of haggard knights just running around patrolling. Okay, so Joan is in the base. So we got a, a corner wonder. Pretty nice. Yeah, they've been trading, obviously. So we need to get rid of Joan of Arc in our base. How much eco are we at? 117 right now? Okay, so these guys run back to the base. So now we need to attack the bottom. Uh, the guys in the bottom. Yeah, you're not gonna get kill Joan of Arc right there if you can. He's here. Yep. I my guys on attack. All right, so I'm gonna. We need to start attacking. Um, Preserve the you. The the purple team here. So I'm gonna start attacking from okay. the north. Jordan says I'm 30 bills. <laughs> so every time we look over, Jordan's like, "Help me, I'm too weak." <laughs> Backstab him anyways. Oh, there's no point. I'm, I'm very impressed with how this is going, by the way. Pwn, you're doing great, man. Because clearly these guys are pretty experienced, and you're, you're holding your own versus them, which is, which is awesome. So you might want to bring a lot of villagers down here, Pwn, and build, um, once we penetrate in a little bit, build some infrastructure to push. The other, the other team should push from the mid, but... Um, yeah, this is a ballsy hold. I think, they, I think they'll probably get it, though, considering it's just going to be our two teams, but... Anyways, here we are. Let's get the bombards coming here. Uh, I don't know if I got all the, yeah, get the siege engines. Okay, Bombardo cannons. They're coming. You guys hang tight. We keep moving. And here we are. That was good timing. It was good timing on their uh, backstab there. Very solid indeed. So probably gonna have to cut eco for this. We'll see. 
We're gonna be into this base in just a moment. Yeah, bring your army. We got it. We got we got a tight lock here. Let's just head south, see what we're gonna encounter here. You're gonna encounter an army? Okay, there's some bills here. Cool. We shut down their trade. <laughs> yes, the Shogun arrives. So it's important we just keep moving south um, and grinding that down. In the meantime, um, I'll shut down the trade here. And uh, yeah, kind of block. Or should I be setting up my infrastructure like just here like and just north of their base here, like their main base to the south, like where we're destroying all this shit? Uh, not quite there, but further south. So on our side of the wall still. Uh, you see where my villagers are? Yep. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Like down this way, yeah. Okay. They're obviously fighting a very heated fight versus the other players. But we're denying a little bit of trade here. As a matter of fact, we can just move tower. It's probably better. So this is like all in for them, right? If this doesn't work, then they just lose, kind of. Okay. We're going to supply block them. So let's go through the houses. Do that. Outstanding. Oh, you have the Ozutsu too, that's gonna be nasty. So they're trying to get walls here. So far, we have made good progress. We're almost halfway there, and there's still 10 minutes. Hey, resistance is coming, get ready to fight. There's gonna be the first wave of their attackers, those horsemen. Okay, we can go here, here, and here. Knock that down. Yeah, you fight that army. Good job. Keep it up. Okay, let's gather up. Good job. Keep moving through. So their armies have now arrived. And uh, you'll want to switch your military hotkeys to be um, to be targeting... Uh, yeah, get more of this, more of this, and this. Uh, to select your new uh, closer buildings, because if you're producing from your old barracks, oh yeah, 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 you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, you on riders can make those guys all freaking day. That was good. Yeah, just keep the pressure on. If the other team's attacking them, we should be able to get them. It's gonna be tight, but I think it's possible here. Oh, this wall is so shit. I don't know if that would even fit in here. Oh my god, it's 8,000. Yeah, that's right. I was playing 1v1s. Yeah, they're mustering a nice force here. That's for sure. But you still have a big army. Um, pull back a tiny bit. Let's regroup. Yep. Alright, we can kind of brawl here. And uh, let's get some archery ranges for grenadiers. We're making progress. Keep at it. Yeah, we're slowly winning these fights, I think. Getting a lot of priority here. Holy shit, they, they are just spamming like every expensive thing you can possibly imagine. Nice, just got all those arty pieces. Let's go clean those up. How's the, uh, how's the Shogun doing? It, everything's going according to plan. Yeah, we, we just steamrolled that army. This is good. Good progress. Now we can just keep moving through. Good, man. Good. I did do a wonder in a 1v1 recently. I had a like an hour and a half long grind of misery with this. Um, it was me versus a Japanese player. And I was playing Byzantines and I managed to wonder. It was just the most miserable match I've had in ages. Okay. How is he out of steam? Just keep keep going. Is he lying? Maybe he's lying. He's not out of steam. They are gonna break. Keep at it. We still have seven minutes. We have a lot of time. 
Oh, shoot, come on. Dust them, boys. Pona, move your army to the east. I, I need your help over here. I, I'm right here. Oh, you had some units uh, sitting by my keep that I'm building there? Yeah, those guys are perfect. These are all the new guys being built. Hell yeah, dude, the reinforcements. They're definitely running out of steam. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a keep here. They had a lot of resources banked. Oh god, it's the Dong Tower, dude. Do you see it? Am I supposed to be afraid of that? No. <laughs> Not at this point in the game, no. Just keep keep fighting, dude. We gotta we gotta gotta bring down this hand cannon to your legion. Okay, they're getting worn down. We got grenades. Jushi bombards OP. Man, is the other team attacking them? They, they must be completely all in on supplies. Because they're mustering good ass armies against us. Alright, let's pull these bombards back. Um, buy some wood. And then we need to get more of these bombards coming. Alright, Pwn, keep it up, man. It's a, it's a fearsome battle. And you guys can come, and uh, that keep is not going to fly there, so let's just go do this. If we can keep pressing him, there's a chance the other team might be able to get in, right? Um, okay, keep is up. Let's get you guys to go after these buildings here. Oh my god, it's so much stuff. Make some Ramstein. Okay, they're pulling back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride the Imperial Guard down the side of the base and see what I can find. Okay, so that pressure is working. We're knocking on Heaven's Door, that's for sure, yes. It's a very apt description here. Let's get some of this food eco. Yeah, get in there and harry that a little bit. I think I found their guild hall back here. Make it a ride to it. Okay, so they're pretty pretty well defended here. Uh, Grenadiers and elites. I found the guild hall, so hopefully that will deny them some resources. Oh, dude, look at those bombards you have. That's, that is a legion right there, boss. Five minutes left. Okay, so we might want to start throwing in some trebuchets. Although my, my wood is really, really not very hard right now. You got that. You like that, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm a fan of uh, wiener jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I, too, am an enjoyer of, of the wiener jokes. <laughs> All right, keep the demolition. I think they're running out of gold. They're probably running out of everything at this point. Um, we have been hammering them hard, and we still have four minutes left. The problem is... i going to hit this TC thingy. Hey, by the way, how much wood do you have? Uh, 998. 998? Okay. Okay, shoot. Uh, let's, let's make some Shaolin monks, dude. Hell yeah, let's get those bad boys in here. I'm gonna keep moving down the side of the map, trying to get close to the wonder. Looks like Pinks has got an army coming to push, but I'm heading it straight down the old side here. Okay, let's just demolish these. Destroyed that thing. Good. Get ready to fight Pink's army. We got three minutes left, so a little bit of time, not too much. But we're getting pretty close to the wonder. Oh, this is a very dreaded push indeed. You got uh, a bunch of bombards and units idle. Grab those and add them to your main army. They're up north a little bit. Nice. Get those moving down. The Zhushi bombards sing in the deep. Okay, so we can delete some food bills for now. Accidentally deleted two officials, but it's all good. Making a little bit of progress here. I'm very close to the wonder, dude. Try and just run my bombards down the edge. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, come join me here. This is the this is their like bastion of hell. Okay, 
Come on, knock it down. All, a lot of the trickling in people are trying to hunt down my bomb guards. I don't blame him. I'll protect him here. Uh, he's got cauldrons over there? Cauldrons, yeah. He's probably going to be busy with the other side, though, I suspect. So keep those bombards hugging the side of the map here, and I'll protect you, yeah? Just keep moving. Don't shoot anything. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I'm trying to click. Oh, I know. It's, it's a lot. You're doing great, man. Hopefully, I'll be able to protect here. Let's get you guys moving down here. Two minutes. It's tight. I don't know how close the other team is. They're pulling everything back. Oh, that's the other team. Okay, they're here. So just move towards that, um, move towards the frickin', uh, what's it called? The wonder. the wonder and shoot it. Do not hit pwn stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go dive these. Uh, just right clicking those, just right clicked on it. Good, good. Yeah, right click on it. Hell yeah, kill it, kill it. E <laughs> They're getting body blocked by shit. No, you're doing good, they're still shooting. I got two left. One left. Nope, two left still. I have some random dudes like diving on it. Still two left. Come on, team. It's almost down. It's at like 1%. Oh my god, is it gonna live? No freaking way, dude. Oh my god. Repair. <laughs> Everybody just attack it. I'm trying, but the villagers are, 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 uh, are trolling it. Blue's got a fat knight army. Right? Okay, Blue, we need to support Blue. I'm going to kill as many of these bills as I can. I, I'm just clicking all my units to go attack the Wonder. Yeah, good. I think we just barely get it. Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> yes! Now finish him. Alright. Was there any relics left? I had some traps coming, but... Okay, Pwn. Now we have to worry about fighting the other side. Okay, one of them left. Is there any trade here? Pwn, what are your current resources uh, sitting at? 11,000 food, 2,000 wood, 6,000 gold, 3,000 wood. Can stone. you send me uh, uh, 3,000 stone and, uh, and uh, 2,000 gold? We need to wonder before uh, they do, or else we just to are much, toast. How much stone? Uh, 2,000 stone. And pull all of your armies back to the base. Oh my god. How much wood do you need? Uh, 4,000 if you have it. Nope, I have 2,000. Send it. I, I can only send 1,900. Holy shit. Oh, I... It's just barely... Yeah, about 2,000. Oh my god, they had six relics here. Oh my god. If I can get those, dude, we're just gonna be cackling to the bank. Holy shit. Oh, yes. Oh, the bug. It's, those guys are so buggy. Let's see if you can grab this one. Can I grab this one? Yeah, see, the Shaolin monks are bugged. They can't pick up the relics. Wow, what a bummer. It's like a positioning thing. Well, at least I got a couple. I only managed to get two of those because of the bug, but it could be worse. What are we missing here? Uh, how much gold do you have, Pwn? Can you send me some? Like, like yeah. a couple... Alright, damn. Uh, you can go steal those relics if you want to from the base. Yeah, um, currently my priest is on <laughs> grab all the other relic things duty. Yeah, no worries. Uh, get your army back here and bring it back to the base. We're gonna need them. So this game is gonna just become a wonder race game. So we need to build a wonder pwn and just defend and survive. It's basically all it is, yeah? Yep. Okay. So I'm building it in the middle, so it's kind of in between our two bases. Okay. I'm doing it right now, like we don't have time to mess around. Re-rally my... Uh... Yeah, get your troops back to the base, like stat. They're already at our base. Yeah, so we need to be ready to defend. So get an army mustered here. 
uh, delete those units down in their lands and just start. Um, are we going to win the race? I think we win the wonder race. Yeah, because I'm China, so. Okay, get the army gathered by the gate that they're going to try and break into. Okay, we got the wonder, brother. Now we just defend this and we win. All right. Okay, I just killed all my units down here. Good. And uh, let's get the Shaolin monks. This is it, man. This is all the marbles. And uh, you guys go drop these back here. Okay, gather at the gates. We got to fight them out there. Uh, you know the usual spot they try and push in from. Yep. Okay, so I'm, re the dread I'm really low on resources now. So, um, how much food do you have? Uh, a lot. Send me as much food as you possibly can. Because I, I used the time to build that wonder, so it wasn't pretty. Dude, I have the Shaolin Monk Legion. I have like a whole bunch of them ready to party. All right. So gather up like in front here and we're going to fight them. They're about to break in. So we got to uh, oh, get destroy these stupid trebuchets. Thank you for that food. That's going to definitely help a ton. And uh, let's do this. I wish I could have grabbed all those relics. Hey, gather your army with mine. We need to fight together. I'm right here. Oh, uh, like right next to me. So we have 13 minutes uh, to hold here. My resources are very, very shady right now. Okay, here we go. Fight, 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 fight. We need to crush this army. Yeah. Nest of bees. You guys are coming. Oh, the Shaolin monks are on their way, dude. Shoot those bombards. They're not shooting. Oh. Just shoot them at this point. Yeah. The Shaolin monks are here with their iron bodies. Ho, ho, ho. If we can defend a couple attacks, we just win. Um, but the problem is I might run out of resources. <laughs> oh, the Shaolin, dude. Look at them karate kicking French knights off their horses. <laughs> just karate. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Let the evil flow through you, dude. Nobody can beat the Shogun. All right, uh, so yeah, that's fine. Let's get you on food. Dude, we steamrolled their army, holy shit. Drive them back to the river. <laughs> I'm low on food now. You should be fine. Uh, we just crushed their army. You just stay at the main gate and defend it. Don't let anybody slip by. I'm gonna chase their artillery down here. Good job, good job. Keep it up. Dude, I love using the Shaolin marks, monks in the army. That's so fun. <laughs> Let them come. Round two. So they're the only team left, really. I think there's one person on the other side who could try something funny, but we should see it coming from pretty much every direction. All right. Uh, here's, they're engaging a little bit in the front. Okay, let's farm some of these English troopers. Hey, get ready. Gather your troops with mine. Okay, when they come through the breach, engage. Okay. Those are our eco is 139 right now. Jeez. I think I have like... Uh, hey, do down south, there's a green battering ram legion. Oh, God, dude. That could be a problem. Let's uh, stomp this army real quick, and then I'll try and get some units over there to deal with that, yeah? Okay. It's going to take them a minute to get there, but... Okay, hang, hang back, hang back. I might have to delete bills and just go all in on military to stop that haggard ram push. Holy shit, he's got like 50 battering rams, dude. Oh, dear God. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and then I'm going to make some grenadiers. So I'm going to try and fight that with a, another army here. All right, engage, engage. Oh, yes, dude. Screen that out. Okay, that's mainly just rams. I should be able to handle that with my uh, cab. Joan of Arc. I'm going to throw grenades at Joan of Arc, dude. Show her who's boss. All right, Joan's down. Um, the Ramstein Legion is approaching. I do have some uh, cab here who can probably start uh, intercepting it. So let's go try that. Dude, our, our combined army is disgusting, dude. 
Okay, let's finish off this force. Okay, so these guys can start taking down the rams. Okay, nice. They're farming so many of the rams. Oh, we Are you should. doing okay with the rams? Yeah, they're they're in check for now. My food eco is very questionable, though. We need to get those freaking trebs down there if we can. Okay, the Ramstein Lord is here. I do have a bit of a side army to fight him with, so we're going to try it. Um, it is Jordan. Uh, pull back, pull back to the choke point again. Do you have any extra food, or you uh, food starve yourself? I'm kind of food starve myself. It's going to be an ugly fight, but we're going to have to try it. Unfortunately, it's mainly cab units. Yeah, the grenades should get it. I'm fighting off the Ram Master now. I'm going to keep sending uh, whatever I can your way. Get some nested bees there and stuff. All right, keep to fighting. Once the Ram Legion's dealt with, I can I can reinforce you better. See if you can get some villagers and build some um, stone walls there. Like rewall that middle in between the engagements. Okay, let's shut that down. Let's go get the trebs. Have a couple of you guys. One, two, three, and four. Pretty sure the Ram Legion is done for. Okay. But I'm like straight up out of food now. This is not good. All right, pull back, pull back. We got to get away from their front lines here. The Ram Overlord is done for, I think. Okay, let's get back on farms. Keep fighting here. Keep it up. We have we have time. We have eight minutes left. And Green has basically been thwarted. I think he's done for, the Ram Master. I have more reinforcements coming. Nest of Bees also. Shoot into these archers. I got a big army coming up, and uh, the Rams have been shut down. Okay, crisis averted there. Now we just need to keep holding the front. Come on, tell me, tell me this isn't fun, huh? Good time. If this was Total War, we'd be on like two frames right now. <laughs> Okay, so farms are getting back online. Can spam the cheesy artillery. <laughs> the Ram Master will return in greater numbers at some point, I'm sure. Okay, the Imperial Guard have arrived. Man, they have 100 more HP almost in those knights. All right, let's get these guys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go knock these traps down. Here we go. Dude, look at your Ozutsu up on the hill, dude. Oh, yes. The the Shogun is building keeps to... Drop the fat damage. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can afford one keep. I was like, might as well. Yeah, it's a good call. All right. Who needs walls when you can just have a keep? Yeah, a bit of a vulnerability here. So we need to do this and then this. I don't know if we have enough. Well, anyways. Okay, now Here they're comes starting. the next Ram Legion. The Ram spam. That's how you know they're getting running out of steam. They obviously... Everyone has map wide trade. I'm going to deal with these Rams. Shouldn't be too much of an issue with the Palace Guard and whatnot. Okay, we only have six minutes left to hold. Okay, so let's set up a keep here. Where can we get a keep? That would be helpful. There's not really any room here. He's gonna find that there's no way through if he tries to run. It's walled. Fine, you guys can go chase. You guys fight them. The Shogun endures! Dude, look at this badass samurai running over there, dude. Okay, so we need to get some food bills, come up here, and uh, set up a keep here if we can. Alright, I think there's some trolling back there, yeah, nothing serious, okay. Let's get Nest Bees to keep coming. Keeps coming down here, and Veals can get a keep here, I believe, yeah, good. And then we can get another one right here. Great. Okay, we need to start targeting those rams so they don't penetrate in any further. 
Oh, look who's coming from the south. It's the Ram Lord. He's back. <laughs> There's a, a, like, a small chance that we need to um, pull back and hold at our Helm's Deep position here soon. All right, so let's... Uh, Oh, he's pu they're pulling bills, dude. Holy shit. It's getting real crazy here. Hey, blast that keep. Blast that keep with your bombards. They won't get a refund of resources if it dies here. Okay, their horsemen spamming. Very normal. Trying to dive in. Still getting us to beat a bit. Good job killing that keep. Okay, the bombard king is... The ram lord only has two rams down there, so he's going to be a ways off. How much food do you have? Uh, not a lot. No worries. Spamming more. <laughs> no worries. More units. Keep, keep, keep fighting, brother. You're doing great. Uh, we see Trebs back there, but just the one. Pull in a little bit. We might need to start, like, organizing towards the Wonder a little bit. Um, green is coming, but it's going to take him a minute to get through. Um, I could pull these bills and torch these these rams. We'll wait till he's in, actually. Okay, so let's get a couple of you guys going down here. Get Nest the Bees hustling there. And we fight here. Okay, great. Let's see if we can hold him back. Okay, green's coming from the south side. I'm gonna just gonna torch his rams down real quick. Then that should stifle that push. Oh god, I'm buying food. He's got two more rams coming in. This is one way to do it. The dreaded villager hold. How's it looking over here? Those rams are making some uh, alarming progress. We have three minutes left to hold. This, ac this actually could be hard. Yeah, I'm just like out of food. <laughs> yeah, food's becoming an issue. The, who would have thought food would be the resource that would be so scarce? Now we need to resort to more guerrilla tactics, like um, going after their, um, what's it called? Okay, so I Can I trade for food? Uh, yeah, you can buy food with gold. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was doing. How much gold are you sitting on? A lot. That's good to hear. All right, I still have like 500 nest of bees. I'm just going to start kind of like saturating back by the... Um, by that the... is exactly what I needed. Oh, shit. A couple rams sneaking in the back of the base. I didn't notice them. Oh god, that's really troll. Okay, thankfully I did notice that at the last second. Oh my god. How he got those rams by me, I do not know, but he did. Well played. Okay, so these guys are gonna go here. We need to pull these bills over here and get this. Wow. Oh my god, he's got rams trolling in the back of my base here. I, I'm, I'm running my rally point two in front of the wonder. Yeah, I'm just like in a Helm's Deep back behind the wonder. They're already on the wonder though with some rams. So that's really not good. Oh shit, in the back there, yeah. Yeah, it's very sneaky, very sneaky. Okay, so fight, fight. Okay, so these guys are gonna do it. Um, I need to get some bills here stat. So the bills should be coming, and we should be able to re-secure that wall there. Okay, hunt them down. Keep some of you guys on food, I guess. At this point, what you see is what you got. Shoot some big nest of these shots. Nice, brutal. That is a hell of a lot of rams. And the walls have been resecured. For now, let's get you guys to go after these rams. Yes. Oh, 125 to hold. Um, pull all of your villagers and get them ready to repair the wonder. So hit Control Shift A. Get all of your villagers and pull them down here now. This is all in. This is all in. And use them to torch the rams too. It's like literally our only chance. Okay, I got the walls rebuilt. The villagers are going to have to fight. Uh, if you see an opportunity to go get their um, their trebuchets and stuff. Oh, kill that trebuchet on the north by the keep. My keep is shooting it. it, it it's going to be able to reach. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, God. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. And keep blocking the ramps to the best of your abilities. Okay, let's get this down. Get you back there. So you guys torch that. Let's get this. Oh, God. There's so much. Okay, get all your bills inside by next to the Wonder and get ready to repair it. Oh, the ram has been stopped. Hold! Hold, Pone! Shogun! Okay, I think... She can take it! I think she can, dude. I think we're fine. 
Because use the villagers to attack the rams and stuff. And then, like, bounce back and repair if need be. Okay, let's get nested bees. Keep it going here. I'm just going to use my bills to block and torch the rams. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the torches! I'm out of resources now, bro. Yeah, me too. We're all in. But we got it! Yes! Woo! <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. GG. The dream team did it! The dream team. Undefeated in 2v2 <laughs> Team FFA. As of, as of today, oh. we are undefeated. God damn, dude. That was a sweaty-ass game. <laughs> that was real sweaty, dude. Did you think we were going to get that? Uh, I thought we were going to get it until you said there was three minutes left. I was like, oh, shit. I was like, out of food. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Dude, that was a tense the, one. The king has need of us. The king, the shogun, the emperor had need of you, dude. We both have emperors, right? Yeah, Japan and uh, in China here. Oh my yeah. god, well, that was once mortal enemies, now the greatest of allies. <laughs> yeah. That was tough. Oh man, they have trebs over there shooting. Oh, it was actually getting hit too. Yeah, I didn't notice that. It, it took a couple shots. Oh, down south, yeah, there's one. It's a good thing we weren't the first ones to build the wonder, because if we did that, we would definitely <laughs> would not have held. <laughs> True. If that other team had like had you know been there attacking us, we would have 100 percent been dead. Exactly how we drew it up. Yeah, they they always knew we were going to win. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Pone, uh, if you're around tomorrow, the new Dune Dune update is out. So, did you see that? Uh, no. But my schedule is going to be weird for these next three days. So. I'll ch I'll check in with you. But yeah, Dune's Vice War has got a massive update. Like Landsrad got reworked, oh. and a t it's like it pauses the game now, actually, and like everyone votes, and then it goes back. It's very strange. And then um, yeah, tons of tons of patch notes. So it looks good. Anyways, man, GGs. I'll uh, I'll catch GGs. you later. We'll uh, we'll play yes, we'll sir. play again soon. Goodbye. Catch you later. All right, guys. Undefeated. You heard it here first. GG man, I've been a huge fan. That was my first FFA game. You were teal. Oh, dude. Ozan, you guys were a nightmare, dude. <laughs> it was constant suffering battling your pushes. It really was. You played really well, man. GG. Yeah, really well played to you, man. That was very good. If they rolled a couple fat dongs, we would have suffered. Yeah, if there were some dong towers, it would have had a psychological impact on us for sure. Um, yeah, Pwn was making Ozutsu, and they were pretty close. A lot of horsemen and archers and rams mainly. Trebs, good forward infrastructure too. I mean, they played very well. Those guys almost played like, you know, they, they had practice together. That was very impressive. But Pwn played super well. He played up for sure. I mean, he just started playing this game like a week ago. And I think he placed in silver three or pretty close to gold one. Um, he's just learning too, but he played very well. Everyone had claws. Yeah, everyone did good. Honestly, it was, it was great. It was very, very good. Let's look at the statistics economy. So I had the best uh, gold by quite a bit, actually. Wow, holy shit. Oh, no, that wasn't gold. That was stone. Yeah, I had the best gold by a massive margin. So 140,000. Um, and then we had 18,000 stone. So we crushed it on a lot of the resources. Food was the only one that we were beaten on by uh, the English, which makes sense. I'm looking for blue. Who is he? Butter? I don't know. He might be in our Discord, Butter. Yeah, I don't know who he is. You guys you guys played really well together, dude. It, it, it almost felt as if uh, Dr. Ozan, you and him, like, had played together. You had this, like, nice English-French army comp that was very scary. So, um... Yeah, you can join our Discord, maybe find each other. But if you guys enjoyed the stream, do drop a like on the way out. Um, I am going to go chill out for the rest of the night. We'll be back streaming tomorrow, probably Dune for the new update, and then back to Age of Empires the day after that. So Age is definitely the um, main game I'm going to be covering these days. So we'll continue putting up replays, and eventually maybe we'll do some ranked matches or something. I don't know. Um, some team ranks could be fun. I haven't done that yet. So could do all that. Will be fun. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. See you around. Adios. Dovid Zenya. That's it for tonight. Well played to everyone who played. And to the Dark Lord Pwn for carrying me in that game. And uh, that is going to be it. Take care of yourselves. Adios. Dovid Zenya. And see you on the other side.